Reborn in the year 2010, Lin Qian got a mysterious dormant system. When he turned 18, it gave him money and let him build himself to reach the peak. But, what does system want him to do? Does he keep going like this? When will the system show up again? Let us find out together. Yen Qing. September 2015. In front of the China Conservatory of Music. It's the annual mating season again. Cough, made a mistake, start over. It's the annual school season again. From the early morning, the door of China Conservatory of Music is surrounded by dazzling luxury cars. Rolls-Royce, Maserati, Mercedes-Benz Maybach. People who don't know thought there was a luxury car exhibition being held here. In the chaotic crowd, Lin Qian stood quietly under a green willow tree. He was holding a pen in his left hand and a notebook in his right hand. He kept observing the surroundings with his eyes, while he kept recording in his hands. The boys who walk down from the luxury car are obviously more popular with the school sisters than the boys who walk down from the taxi. Girls who got down from luxury cars are obviously more willing to get close to boys who got down from the same luxury cars. Children and parents of wealthy people usually dress well, and there will be no obvious brand logo on their clothes. Beverages on the roof of a luxury car. Lin Qian, who had been earnestly recording on a small notebook, suddenly stopped. I can't learn this. I am the builder and successor of socialism in the new era. The 16-character proverb bears in my heart. Such behavior must not be studied. Hiss. But the girl who got in the car is a bit pretty. Lin Xian suddenly felt a little dull. He put away his notebooks, sat down on the bench under the green willow tree, and started to think in secret. After observing in the morning, he concluded a general rule, that is, people who drive or get off luxury cars are usually more susceptible to the attention and preferential treatment of others, sister paper. Therefore, if you want to learn how to be a qualified rich person, you should first start with a luxury car. Six years. The other rebirths are all middle-aged, wake up and go back to college days, and then scramble to become Jack Ma who regretted creating Ali. After becoming famous, he pretends to say that he is just a blind face who has never seen money. Strange. As for Lin Qian, he had just stepped out of the university campus and had not had time to accept social whips and abuses. He was kicked in the face by the god of fate and kicked him back to 2010. At that time, Lin Qian was just a young boy who had just entered junior high school. He had nothing but handsome. He is a child of an ordinary family. He neither knows stock funds nor can he remember the lottery numbers. Even if he knows some future investment opportunities, but he has no capital, he can only watch those profitable opportunities missed in front of his eyes, and then continue to develop according to the original trajectory. The dragon enters the sea as scheduled, China ascends to heaven as usual, and the Jiangwo brother of the distant American emperor is still busy campaigning at this moment. Originally, Lin Xian thought that the biggest gain of his rebirth was to get the central yin from the original Chuan Yin. Result? Just a few days before the opening of Huayin school, the mysterious system in Lin Xian's mind that had been in a downstate finally moved. Silently, he directly paid 500 million US dollars to Lin Xian's China Merchants Bank savings card, except for a pop-up box telling Lin Xian that the money came from an overseas mysterious foundation, allowing Lin Xian to feel confident in his bold consumption, there was no follow-up, and the downtime mode was restored again, as if it were only a thousand-year-old turtle. This made Lin Xian very dazed. According to the common routines of online novels, this system that usually pays money hasn't always been holding a small electric whip high and forcing the host to spend money? Then complete the task. Either give someone the body of the gun king, or give a sleeping girl a halo that will increase the value of the face. Actually, it doesn't matter what rewards are, Lin Xian just wants to be spurred by the system. So he is very unmotivated. After a whole day of digestion yesterday, and looking at the 500 million US dollars lying quietly on his account, Lin Qian gradually accepted the fact that he had suddenly become a wealthy adulteress. When there was no money before, Lin Qian was full of money, coughing cough, thinking about making money. After all, where is the sister paper without money, and the girl who has no sister paper? Ahem. Right. However, Lin Qian was a little confused now that he suddenly became rich. It is very simple to give an ordinary person 1 million and let him spend it. Buying a house in a third tier city may not even be enough. It's easy to give an ordinary person 10 million. If you buy a flat floor in a first tier city and then buy a car, the 10 million may be gone in an instant. But what if you give 100 million to ordinary people? 1 billion? There is an old saying, for three generations, you will know how to eat and wear. For ordinary people, whoever gets a fortune of over 100 million suddenly will be lost. 
The wealth that Lin Xian suddenly obtained was converted into Chinese currency, which was as high as 3 billion. What's more, Lin Xian is still not sure what the system is in his mind. No one knows if he will pay Lin Xian another 500 million US dollars or more in a while. Lin Xian didn't understand the rich world. So, Lin Xian felt that he had to observe and learn how to be a qualified and rich person instead of becoming a nouveau riche. Fortunately, the China Conservatory of Music that Lin Xian passed to happened to have a lot of children from wealthy families, so Lin Xian wanted to learn from them and learn about the lifestyle of the wealthy. Therefore, Lin Xian arrived at the school very early today to report. After setting up his luggage and seeing that the other roommates had not yet arrived, he took a small book and went to the green willow tree in front of the campus to start the Sichuan observation mode. After resting for a while under the green willow tree, Lin Xian stood up from the bench, watching the freshmen who were still enrolled in school. Today is the first day to learn how to be a rich man, so let's start by buying a car first. Lin Xian sighed and put the little book in his hand into his trouser pocket. He looked up at the green willow tree above his head, revealing a little bit of reluctance in his heart. No other meaning, simply because it is cooler here. I took out my mobile phone and searched the internet for the place where the fourth son of Yanjing luxury car shop was crowded, and then walked out of the shady place of willow trees, hired a taxi, and drove towards the destination. After half an hour. At the entrance of Yanjing Jinbao Street. Standing in the flow of people in the past, Lin Xian was thinking about a question silently. I took a taxi from China Conservatory of Music to Jinbao Street. The uncle just asked me for 100 yuan. Am I slaughtered? Seemingly. It seems to have been slaughtered. Looking back at the taxi that had long since disappeared, Lin Xian sighed silently, it was sloppy. With emotion, this matter also passed. Lin Xian looked at this Jinbao street where countless famous cars gathered. For car enthusiasts, even if they go shopping on this street for a day, they will not feel the slightest tired. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Rolls-Royce, Bentley and other luxury cars familiar to the Chinese, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Bugatti, Pagani and other men's dream supercars, all have their exclusive sales on this street. The shop is the fourth sun shop often referred to by the Chinese people. In addition, on this street, not only luxury cars gather, but also many international big names take root here. Jinbao Street is a paradise for the rich, a source of hard work for ordinary people, and a forbidden place for the poor. Lin Xian stepped into Jinbao Street, looking at the decorated and magnificent exhibition shops, watching the cars parked in the exhibition shops, which can be called the top works of the automobile industry, Lin Xian's heart was a little ups and downs. After passing the exhibition stores of Rolls-Royce, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW, Lin Xian's pace gradually slowed down. Through the huge French windows, the first thing Lin Xian saw was his reflection. This is a handsome boy with a height of 182. His hair has not been dyed. The slightly longer hair is naturally drooping and his skin is fair. Although he is 18 years old, his delicate appearance still looks a little immature and looks as if he is still just a high school student. A sense of cleanliness exuded all over his body and a pair of clear eyes. If he were to play the boy next door in the youth love idol drama, there would be no violation. Lin Xian didn't pay attention to the reflection of his handsomeness. He never thought he was handsome, because soon a group of shameless readers would say that they are as handsome as him. His attention at this time has been completely attracted by the all-white Bentley in the floor-to-ceiling windows. The flat and smooth body, the bright headlights like diamonds, and the plump hips. Under the sun bathed, the whole car gave Lin Xian the most intuitive sense of sight. Grace. There was a bit of sensuality and wildness in the grace, so that Lin Xian's eyes fell on the car, and he couldn't move it anymore. Lin Xian stood and stared at the floor-to-ceiling windows for an unknown period of time. He did not continue to look at him, but walked in through the front door of the Bentley store. There is a turbulent flow of people on Campbell Street, but the majority of the people in the Bentley showroom are salespeople. After Lin Xian walked through the shop, a young female salesperson in a sales uniform quickly walked over. Hello sir, I'm Tang Meng, a salesperson at the Bentley store on Campbell Street, and I'm very happy to serve you. What do you call your sir? From the full collagen on Tang Meng's face, it's not difficult to see that Tang Meng should not be too old. He has big bright eyes and a standard smile at the corners of his mouth, which makes people feel very comfortable just by looking. Two generations of people, this is the first time that Lin Xian has entered an exhibition shop of this level. Lin Xian was a little timid, but not afraid. The fear is because of the first time, and the fear is because of the bulging purse. It's that simple. My name is Lin. Lin Xian responded with a smile. Mr. Lin, do you want to see the latest Bentley Continental GT? Tang Meng pointed to the floor-to-ceiling window. She was talking about the car that Lin Xian just stopped to watch. How do you know? 
Lin Xian was slightly surprised. Because I saw you stop by the window just now, if you don't come in again, I will go out and ask you to come in. Tang Meng responded with a smile. Tang Meng's words made Lin Qian even more curious, please come in? Look at my age and clothes, the probability of being able to afford this car is very low, right? You can't afford it now, but it doesn't mean you can't afford it forever. Tang Meng led Lin Qian to the side of the Bentley Continental GT, and smiled in response to Lin Qian's question. Lin Xian couldn't help feeling a little dumb when he heard this. Originally, he thought that he walked into such a luxury auto show shop in such a dress, and would not pay attention to him at all. Then two more clowns jumped out to mock him, and finally he slapped his face. Isn't it all written in the novel like this? This plot is wrong. Lin Xian thought about it secretly, and soon the two of them came to the front of the Bentley Continental GT. When they walked into the car, the rest of Lin Xian's mind was left behind. Mr. Lin, this Bentley Continental GT is the latest 6.0 TW12 convertible in 2015. It has a 6.0 TW12 engine, 626 horsepower, aided gearbox, one-button start, and full-time four-wheel drive. Listening to Tang Meng's introduction, Lin Xian stepped forward and stretched out his hand to gently open the door of the main driver. If the appearance of the Bentley Continental GT is elegant, then the interior of the Bentley Continental GT is luxurious. Off-white and black are mixed and matched, just like a gear lever made of crystal material. In 2020, ordinary luxury cars may not be equipped with an oversized LCD screen. Its luxury and exquisiteness are no inferior to several other Bentley models. Here is the convertible button. It only takes 35 seconds to open the convertible. Even during driving, as long as the speed is not higher than 40 kmh, the convertible can be opened or closed. Lin Xian sat in the main driver's seat, while Tang Meng squatted down beside Lin Xian, speaking softly while continuously demonstrating various functions in the car for Lin Xian. How much is this car? Lin Xian asked, stroking the steering wheel. This Bentley Continental GT is the top model for 2015. It has multi-function seat heating, lifting, memory, massage, ventilation, and many auxiliary functions such as ACC anti-collision and reflection. It is also the top model in terms of power. The price is slightly more expensive, plus tax is about 5 million yuan. Perhaps it was in Tang Meng's heart that Lin Xian could not have the strength to buy it all, so Tang Meng said it naturally, and didn't have any expectation. The main reason is that Lin Xian is too young and too young. He looks 18 years old at most, but the price of this Bentley Continental GT is as high as 5 million. However, in Tang Meng, Lin Xian, who could not have the purchasing power at all, silently took out a China Merchants Bank savings card from his pocket, the most common type of savings card that was not even a gold card. Swipe your card, I want this car. Tang Meng was a little dazed, looking up at Lin Xian who was sitting in the main driver's seat stupidly. I didn't lie to you. This card can really get 5 million dollars. I really want this car. Let's go through the formalities. Looking at Tang Meng's somewhat silly look, Lin Xian thought Tang Meng was suspecting that he was teasing her, so he could not help repeating it seriously. Oh oh. Tang Meng came back to his senses, and took the bank card handed over by Lin Xian with a little trembling hands, Mr. Lin, wait a minute, I will get the pose machine and procedures. After speaking, Tang Meng hurried away. As for the entire Bentley store, because of Lin Xian's order, he was shocked. Mr. Lin, this is Wang Pang, the sales manager of the Bentley store on Campbell Street. Just now I heard Xiao Meng say, did you decide to buy this Bentley Continental GT? Wearing the same sales uniform as Tang Meng, but obviously a few sizes larger than Tang Meng's sales uniform, the sales manager stood beside Lin Qian with his waist, his words full of respect. Wang Peng is different from Tang Meng. Wang Peng has been in sales for nearly 10 years. He knew well that there were too many people at the feet of the emperor who did not show the mountains and water, but were inhumane. Obviously, at this time Lin Xian had been classified by Wang Peng into the category of inhumane people. Yes. Lin Xian confirmed again. Wang Peng did not ask anymore, but swiped the bank card that Lin Xian had handed in advance from the pose machine, and then respectfully handed the pose machine back to Lin Xian, Mr. Lin, please enter the password. Lin Xian took the pose machine and was about to enter the password. His hand paused, and he looked up at Wang Peng and said, My commission for this order belongs to Tang Meng, right? Wang Peng was stunned when he heard the words, then looked back at Tang Meng, and he immediately responded, Of course, Xiao Meng served you the whole process of your order. Of course, the commission on this order belongs to Xiao Meng. Tang Meng standing behind Wang Peng, although Lin Qian didn't say the commission still belonged to her, but Lin Qian's kindly opening still made her feel a little warm. This reminded her of a sentence that her respected teacher said, 
you treat people with sincerity, and others treat them with sincerity. Lin Qian sitting on the Bentley Continental GT, after hearing what Wang Peng said, he didn't say much, and simply entered the password on the pose machine. Hey! The receipts were spit out from the pose machine, which means that in the mediocre China merchant's bank card just now, 5 million has been swiped out. Looking at everything in front of him, Tang Meng really felt a little dreamy. Xiao Meng, what are you doing in a daze? Hurry up and invite Mr. Lin to the VIP room to entertain. Wang Peng said to Tang Meng behind him, and then bowed to Lin Xin again and said, Mr. Lin, this car is yours. Are you going to drive away today? Yes. Lin Xian replied, and then said, I will not go to the VIP room. I will be familiar with the car here. Okay, Mr. Lin, it will take about half an hour to complete the procedures, please wait a moment. After Wang Peng finished speaking, he paused and said, Mr. Lin, do you have any requirements regarding the license? If you don't have any requirements for the license, our shop will give you an ordinary license for free. You go and go through the formalities for me first, let Tang Meng tell me about the license. Lin Qian responded. Hearing Lin Qian's words, Wang Peng glanced at the beautiful Tang Meng behind him and immediately said, Okay, Mr. Lin, wait a moment. After speaking, Wang Peng gave Tang Meng a wink and then hurriedly left here, hurriedly to go through the formalities for Lin Qian. Don't squat, take the co-pilot and tell me about the license plate. Lin Qian pointed to the co-pilot next to him and said casually to Tang Meng. Tang Meng heard this, naturally it was impossible to refuse, stepping on her high heels a few centimeters, hurried to the position of the co-pilot and sat in. Feeling the luxurious interior of the Bentley Continental GT, and looking at Lin Xian's clean and handsome face, Tang Meng's heart suddenly throbbed for no reason. Young and handsome, gentle and elegant, rich in wealth and billions. This may be the ideal type in the minds of countless girls. Tang Meng's eyes flickered slightly. Mr. Lin, we currently have two excellent license plates in our shop, one is Jing H11111, the other is Jing E8888, the price of the first license plate is 3.5 million, and the second license plate is the price is 1.5 million, do you think you are interested? Tang Meng asked as usual. In fact, Tang Meng did not return hope for the sale of these two license plates. After all, these two license plates were too expensive. Even the latter is enough to change a Mercedes-Benz Maybach. Um... Lin Xian pondered, thinking back to the grand scene in front of China Conservatory of Music in the morning, it seemed that every good luxury car had a pretty good license plate. You can't go wrong with painting a gourd. The 4.8 license plate is a bit too high key. I think it's still a little bit more low key. I want that Jing H11111. Help me arrange it? Upon hearing this, Tang Meng slowly cast a question mark on his face. Lin Xiao, do you have any misunderstanding of the word low key? Isn't the Jing H11111 license plate more high profile than Jing E8888? But Tang Meng dared to murmur in his heart. She never dared to say this in front of Lin Qian. Mr. Lin, if you want to get the license plate of Beijing H11111, you need to pay an extra 3.5 million, are you sure? Tang Meng asked again, she was afraid that Lin Qian hadn't heard the price. Okay, swipe your card. Lin Xian said calmly, that appearance made Tang Meng feel like she was spending 300 yuan to buy a piece of clothing in a shopping mall. Okay, wait a minute. Wang Peng, the sales manager wearing an oversized size, hurriedly came again, and then hurriedly walked again. The difference between the two before and after is that the extent of the waist of the manager wine was even more 27.69 degrees. Lin Xian walked out after brushing the money from the license plate. Tang Meng, do you know where there are high luxury clothing around here? I want to buy something. Lin Qian took out the notebook he had recorded in the morning and looked at it. After the luxury car was purchased, the next thing should be clothes. So he asked Tang Meng. Mr. Lin, in the carnival on Campbell Street in front, all major international first-line brands have stores in it. If you want to go shopping, I can accompany you there. Tang Meng came to Lin Qian's side and responded with a smile. Okay, then you can come with me. Lin Qian naturally agreed to Tang Meng's escort. After all, there is a beautiful woman who can give women some advice when buying clothes, and there is also a person with a bag by the way. Isn't it a good thing? Just leave. Tang Meng's behavior of going out shopping outside of work, after being known by the sales manager Wang Pang, the other party was very angry. How can you let the VIPs walk, even if they are only a few hundred meters away? Xiao Shang, broken sound, drive that Bentley Mulsan to send Lin Xiao to the carnival. In this way, Lin Qian took Tang Meng and the Bentley Mulsan from the Bentley showroom to the top shopping street Jean Bao Street Carnival. As he walked and stopped, Tang Meng had more than a dozen bags in his hand in a blink of an eye. 
These brands of Burberry, LV, Versace, short sleeves and shorts, as well as polo shirts Lin Chen have all purchased. These big name models he bought are all models with very small and hidden logos. At the same time, he also bought some meeting gifts for the three sons who had never met before. As for why I bought so many brands, it was mainly because Lin Chien hadn't worn them before, and based on the principle of buying all of them and changing to wear them, looking at which brand of clothing is more comfortable, so Lin Chien chose to cast a net widely. As the saying goes, people rely on clothes, horses and saddles, and replaced by Lin Chien, a top-tier international brand, the whole person's spirit has become a little different. The face is still immature, but in the immaturity, a touch of first blooming aura is gradually conceived. At dusk, thick clouds and mist entangled in the sky, and the setting sun rides a little gap, bursting with crimson clouds, like swimming fish in the sinking sea, occasionally rolling with golden clouds. Today, the southeast main entrance of the China Conservatory of Music is extremely lively. There are old students returning to school to celebrate the dinner, as well as freshmen who have just entered the school. In this school where the sun is overwhelming and the sun is declining, the girls are obviously much bolder than the boys. If you see a good-looking brother in front of the school, if you are a little bit shy, you may add other sorrows to the good-looking brother in a blink of an eye. Cheap WeChat. OM. There was a low roar from the high horsepower engine from far to near, and many students who were stopping in front of the school to take a taxi, could not help but be attracted by this sound. Looking along the sound, they saw a white Bentley Continental GT greeted them. Cars, beautiful cars. Even many girls who don't understand cars can't help expressing such emotion when they see this white Bentley Continental. Under the attention of everyone, the car slowly drove to the school gate. The window was rolled down, and a handsome profile face was seen by many girls waiting for the bus by the school gate. So handsome, this is our school's freshman. It's definitely affirmative. All the pretty old students in our school don't have aging mothers. I don't know. He is definitely a freshman in our school. You have a face and money, I love my love, Jime, I want all the information about this man in 10 minutes. The latest Bentley Continental GT, the license plate of Beijing H11111, I am afraid this is not an ordinary rich person. In the blink of an eye, this white Bentley Continental GT and Lin Qian in the car became the focus of the entire campus. The boys who were originally missed by many girls because of their beauty were immediately left behind by these women. Bentley sports car is not important, the main thing is to like to eat tender grass. Lin Qian, who had just explained his identity to the old doorman, suddenly felt like a fat sheep in the wasteland, and around him were hungry wolves with green eyes. Where did Lin Qian go through such a battle? After the old doorman let him go, he quickly raised the window, then stepped on the accelerator and drove into the campus. As long as my car is fast enough, no one can catch me. Lin Qian thought secretly. Less than 100 meters into the campus, Lin Qian turned the steering wheel and drove into the campus parking lot. As one of the art academies with the largest number of second generations of Yanjingfu, the China Conservatory of Music has a large parking lot at the beginning. This parking lot is usually used by faculty and staff to park, and it is also open to students. The price is slightly more expensive, and the charge is 20 per hour. As long as you are a student of the school, as long as you are willing to park, you can park the car to the ground and no one cares about it. Therefore, in this parking lot, there are often many students who really don't need money. They use this hourly parking lot as their own free parking lot, and Lin Qian intends to use this parking lot as a long-term free parking lot. One of the students. The parking lot is very large, and the sky is getting dark. Many faculty and staff have already left work. Therefore, there are a lot of vacancies in the parking lot. As a novice driver, Lin Qian, with the assistance of full reversing images and automatic parking, took nearly five minutes. Minutes, the car stopped steadily in the parking space. Call. After parking the car, Lin Qian sighed slightly. Turning on the lights in the car, he put all the vehicle procedures, driving book, driver's license and car purchase contract in the copilot seat into the storage box of the copilot seat. However, during the placement process, a silver hard plastic business card slipped from these contracts. Lin Qian picked it up and took a closer look. The person on this business card was Tang Meng who had served him all day during the day. On the back of this business card, there was a beautiful line written in small characters, Mr. Lin, my mobile phone number is my WeChat ID. If you have any needs in the future, you can contact me 24 hours a day. Tang Meng will serve you wholeheartedly. Any demand? 24 hours? Lin Qian suddenly smiled playfully. In terms of how to be a qualified rich man, he is indeed a Xiao Bai, but it does not mean that he is also Xiao Bai in other aspects. Regarding Tang Meng's appearance and figure, he is not top-notch, but it is definitely enough to reach the level of beauty in the eyes of ordinary people. He is tall and plump, 
has a pair of beautiful big eyes, and she is slightly pink and wearing a sales uniform. In the previous life, the girlfriend who had been with Lin Xian for four years was Tang Meng's level. But in the end, it wasn't about flying away before graduation. By the way, he almost gave Lin Xian a hat of forgiveness that was a hit all year round. Fortunately, Lin Xian jumped left and right to stop the loss in time, otherwise he would really like to raise the money. So Lin Xian knew about love before he was reborn. If you don't have the money to talk about a chicken's love, the girl does always say that I don't like money, what I want is love, but you don't have to have money. Some people don't see this clearly, they always confuse dog licking with affectionateness. In the end, she licked her wholeheartedly, but the girl sent a nice card with a D sound, and ended sadly. You can only see sweetness if you don't have money, and you can taste salty if you have money. Looking at Tang Meng's business card, Lin Xian sighed inexplicably. Then, he lowered his head and took out the newly bought iPhone 6 Plus, and silently added Tang Meng's WeChat. Don't get me wrong, Ling Xian is just afraid of something wrong with this car in the future, so Tang Meng added, he is not interested in Tang Meng at all, he is not at all. What? Why don't you add the WeChat account of the sales manager Wang Peng? Wang Jingzhe refers to the door expression pack, get out. Sitting in an 8 million luxury car, feeling love for a while, Lin Xian took out the clothes and gifts he bought in the afternoon from the trunk, then silently locked the door and walked towards the boys' apartment of the China Conservatory of Music. Lin Xian's bedroom was 404. Lin Xian arrived at 7 o'clock in the morning. After setting up his luggage, he saw that the other three sons hadn't arrived yet, so he took the notebook to the school gate and stood under the green willow tree. Sichuan Observation as a result, the person who arrived first became the latest. The apartment at the China Conservatory of Music has four beds, five sleeps, and six sleeps. Lin Xian was lucky enough to be assigned to a newly renovated four-seater sleeper. Although there is no separate bathroom, he lives in Yanjing. In the school within the second ring road, on this area of 200,000 per square meter, there can be a four-person bed with air conditioning and bicycles. Riding the elevator straight up to the fourth floor, Lin Qian took the big bag and came to the 404 bedroom. Just as he was about to take out the key to open the door, he heard a hum from the room that made men silent, women afraid shouting. Is it big? Is it big? Am I big? Lin Qian's footsteps suddenly stopped, and a question mark slowly appeared on his face as handsome and handsome as a reader's father. His. Bridge bean sacks. A little panic. Should I knock on the door? If you just push the door and enter, if you bump into something you shouldn't see, will both parties be embarrassed at that time? Click. Lin Xian adhered to the principle that as long as I am not embarrassed, it is others who are embarrassed. He was fully prepared in his heart and opened the door directly. Then. Lin Xian is embarrassed. What about him, do you need to ask others if you play lol and get bigger? Shouting so loudly? Lin Xian broke the door with lightning like a catcher, and all three roommates who had been immersed in LOL looked over. Um. Sand sculpture roommate, identification is complete. Facing the gaze of the three, Lin Xian showed a polite but awkward smile. Hello everyone, I am your roommate, my name is Lin Xian, the Lin of the Green Forester, the modest and low-key Qian. Lin Xian took the initiative to introduce himself. However, when Lin Xian finished introducing himself, the atmosphere in the house suddenly became even worse. The eyes of the three roommates fell on Lin Qian's extravagant bag. Looking at the eye-catching logos of the top international brands such as Burberry, LV and Versace, the three of them couldn't help being filled with question marks on their foreheads. Modesty in Loki, modesty is not clear at present, but brother, do you have any misunderstandings about the word Loki? The atmosphere in the room is a bit weird. After the eyes of the four people crossed for a moment, the three roommates who were addicted to LOL were still very friendly. In this 5v5 ranking showdown, the three people directly hang up and sacrifice to the sky, just to welcome Lin. Qian's arrival. The four briefly introduced themselves to each other, and Lin Qian had a simple understanding of his three roommates, and at the same time arranged generations according to age. The oldest of the four is called Jiang Ningchuan. He is half a head taller than Lin Qian. He is roughly 186 tall. He is dressed in sportswear and looks very handsome. In terms of appearance, he is a bit taller than Lin Xian, mainly because of the two. Handsome has different styles, one is handsome and the other is clean. The second child in the ranking is Ma Lu, a very distinctive name, short and fat, wearing a pair of glasses, he is the one who snarled big or not just now. The youngest person in the ranking is Xin Ming, who is thin and thin, and from a simple touch, he is very skinny, and his funny attributes are undisguised. And Lin Xian is at the bottom, with the youngest birthday. When we first met, I brought you some small gifts. 
As Lin Xian said, he handed out the gift bags prepared in advance to the three of them. Three Burberry wallets, three brothers can pick one. Lin Xian handed out the wallets to the three of them, and said with a smile, little brother looks more handsome and handsome, please restrain the three brothers in the future. The younger brother is male. Love women, brothers please let me go. The dormitory has always been different. I call your brother in front of you, and you call me dad in private. It's a routine operation. Originally, Lin Xian came up to give a small gift, which made the three of them a little bit embarrassed, but when they heard Lin Xian's following sentence, they were immediately ashamed. Damn, what you said seems like we are in the base. Pure men, like pure women, no base. In the past four years, you can pick up soaps boldly, and my brothers will protect you. The three of them laughed and said, and they didn't bother with Lin Xian's small gift, they all accepted it generously. But it's only a 4,000 yuan wallet, just find a chance to pay a gift. For the students who can be admitted to the China Conservatory of Music, perhaps their family's assets are over 100 million yuan is a bit exaggerated, but it is definitely not an exaggeration to say that they have a family's assets of tens of millions. Because there is no family with this kind of family background, if you want your child to be admitted to the China Conservatory of Music, you simply can't afford it. Take the sprint training in the last year of the art exam and find a professional teacher from the China Conservatory of Music. The fee for a single hour can reach 1,500. If you want to find a teacher who often serves as an invigilator for art exams, the class fee can even be reached 3,000 or even higher. The cost of training for a year can easily break through 1 million. Who can stand the ordinary family? Of course, there are special cases, but they are very few. For those graduates from professional music colleges like Lin Xian's previous life, those who have put in the same amount of effort in this life are a little bit reluctant to get admitted to central music. Youngest, you are here. We have discussed it just now. We will go out to have a meal together. I am the boss of the dormitory and a native of Yinjing, so I will arrange this first meal. What do you think? Sample? John Ningchuan suggested with a smile. Lin Xian heard the words, nodded and smiled, no problem, just a little hungry. Lin Xian said that there was no problem on this side, but Melu hesitated a little on the side, it is almost 7 o'clock now, and it is said that at 10 o'clock a teacher will come to check the bed. Second, I have a cousin who is also a new student this year. She and her roommate will also go there. John Ningchuan squinted at Ma Lu and said lightly. F asterisk asterisk K, then you are still grinding a chicken feather, quickly put on clothes to pick up our sister, the teacher is a sling hair, as long as the sister thinks, how about I live out with my sister tonight? Seeing Ma Lu slapped his own woman's chest, which would make him feel inferior when he saw it, his mouth was spitting wildly. It looked like the person who was afraid of the teacher's sleep check was a ghost. The successor of Peking Opera's face-changing family? Lin Xian was stunned by Ma Lu's face change. F asterisk asterisk KU, your sister is going to live outside with you. Jiang Ningchuan scolded with a smile, and then said, since you have decided to go out to eat, let's hurry up, go early and return early, and try not to start school on the first day. Trouble for the dormitory teacher. That's it, let's go. Shen Ming responded loudly. After speaking, several people began to change their clothes and tidy up. After all, at this young age when I don't know how expensive sperm is, the hormones of teenagers are always a little too high. When I heard that I was waiting for a dinner with my sister, I wanted to take care of myself and leave a good impression on my sister. Lin Xian's clothes are readily available, and he hangs all the clothes he bought in the afternoon in his closet. Buzzing. The phone in his trouser pocket suddenly vibrated. Lin Xian picked up the phone, looked at the unknown number displayed by the phone's caller ID, and raised his brow slightly. Yan Jing has five tails. Lin Xian came to the balcony and answered the phone. Hi, hello, who? Lin Qian asked politely. Excuse me, Mr. Lin Qian? On the other side of the phone came a male voice with a more mellow voice. Hearing the voice, he could tell that he should be quite old. I'm Lin Qian, are you? Lin Qian answered, and then asked again. Although the beginning is a bit like a scam call, Lin Qian feels that scammers shouldn't use such a high-end phone number, right? Mr. Lin Qian, take the liberty to call you, please forgive me. After confirming Lin Xian's identity, the tone on the phone side was obviously more respectful, under self-introduction, I am China Merchants Bank Yanjing Branch. Long Wang Xingda, today I heard from my subordinates that you have deposited 500 million US dollars in our branch. First of all, thank you Mr. Lin for your trust in our China Merchants Bank. Secondly, since your savings amount is very large, we would like to sincerely invite you to join our China Merchants Bank's ultra-high-end private bank and customize the exclusive VIP services you need, I wonder if you have time tomorrow. May I treat you to a potluck tonight? 
Wang Shang's German language is gentle and respectful, and he has no arrogance and arrogance as the president of the Yanjing branch. After hearing the meaning of the phone, Lin Qian understood. A large deposit of 500 million US dollars, no matter which bank it is, it will treat you as a father. I thought that in the land of Yanqing, it would at best attract the hospitality of the branch president, but it turned out to be the president of the branch. It seems that he still underestimated the influence of the 500 million dollars, Lin Qian secretly sighed. President Wang, tell me the address and time, and I will be there on time tomorrow. Lin Qian responded softly, without any extra emotions in his tone. Okay, we will see you tomorrow, Mr. Lin, and I won't bother you. Okay, see you tomorrow. There is no red tape, and after an appointment, the phone hangs up. Putting away the phone, Lin Qian looked at the bright moonlight outside the window, with a faint smile on his face. The gentle evening breeze blew, blowing up the skirts of girls. Um. The taste of youth. Walking around the campus, Lin Qian couldn't help but sigh with emotion when he looked at the past sister paper. The student dormitory of the China Conservatory of Music is divided into three buildings, one is a dormitory for boys, the other is a dormitory for girls, and the last is a dormitory for graduate students and doctoral students. The three dormitory buildings are very close, from the male apartment to the female apartment, but a short distance of 100 meters. Soon, the four came to the front of the girls' apartment. Yao Yao. With a distance of more than 10 meters, Zhang Ningchuan raised his hand and beckoned in the direction of the door of the female dormitory, and at the same time shouted loudly. Lin Xian looked in the direction that Zhang Ningchuan was beckoning, and saw three girls standing in front of the girls' dormitory. One is tall and cold, one is youthful and lively, one is cute and soft, all of them are big beauties with superb looks and superb temperament. The three girls held hands and quickly came to Lin Xian. Introduction, this 162 height is my cousin Zhang Yao Yao. Zhang Ningchuan pointed to the lively and pretty girl among the three girls and introduced them to Lin Qian. 165. Zhang Yaoyao corrected a little dissatisfiedly, I'm still going up this holiday. This cousin of Zhang Ningchuan is very handsome. The orange-yellow knee-length skirt wafts gently in the evening summer breeze, glowing with a bright and lively. Although the height of 165 is not tall, it is just right, and the white skin is rippling with healthy pink, which is quite warped. Xiaoxiong's nose, pink lips, and thick eyelashes, those smart big eyes are clean and clear, with slightly long front bangs, and her supplemental length hair naturally falls on her shoulders. The most noticeable thing is the girl's smile. Whenever she laughs, she will show a neat row of small white teeth, and a small pear vortex will appear on her right cheek, which makes the whole person more than three points. Cute. After Jiang Yaoyao angered his cousin, he took the arms of the two roommates next to him and introduced, the tall and big beauty on the left is Zhao Yue, from the vocal department, and the cute girl on the right is Li Xiao Xiao, and I the same as from the piano department. We also have a roommate. He has a boyfriend. I went out to dinner with her boyfriend. I'll introduce you to you next time. Zhang Yaoyao is really lively, and he doesn't feel stage fright in the face of strangers. After Zhang Yaoyao's introduction, Zhang Ningchuan also introduced Lin Qian. After Jiang Ningchuan's introduction, Jiang Yaoyao suddenly stepped forward to Lin Qian's body, raised his head, and looked at Lin Qian with his watery grape eyes and said, Lin Qian, do you have a girlfriend? What do you think of me? It's sweet, cute, and cute. Would you like to think about it? Jiang Ningchuan, who was next to him, saw Jiang Yaoyao's operations like this, and couldn't help crossing a row of black lines across his forehead. Jiang, Yao, Yao. Can you be a little girly? Zhang Ningchuan pulled Zhang Yaoyao away from Lin Qian and said with some embarrassment. Zhang Yaoyao pursed her pink lips, indifferently and confidently said, Senior sister's blood experience tells us that if we want to get a vigorous love in the four-year campus of China University of Music, we must start with a steady and ruthless approach. Otherwise, you can only squat down to guard a group of elementary school brothers. I think Lin Qian is very good. The clean-looking one is my favorite. If I don't start it now, when will I start it? When Zhang Yaoyao was talking, she stupidly got close to Lin Qian. A scent of milk unique to a girl invaded Lin Qian's sense of smell. Looking down at the smiling girl, Lin Qian didn't have any excitement, but thought this girl was a bit funny. Yes, you are reasonable. Zhang Ningchuan was helpless, ignoring his cousin who just wanted to get out of the singles and fall in love, and instead said, let's go to dinner first, and come back before 10 o'clock as much as possible. I drove to the school, let's gentlemen, I'll take the girl, you take a taxi, how about the confluence of the steakhouse on the third floor of the Intercontinental Hotel San Latin Tanjian Center? Zhang Ningchuan said again. Char bar? Ma Lu raised his eyebrows, boss, you're a bit moat. Hey, sprinkle water, I recognize three sons and two beautiful women today, so happy. 
Jiang Ningchuan quietly glanced at Li Xiaoxiao, the soft cute girl, and then waved his hand in an understatement. Depend on. Lin Qian's three neatly raised their middle fingers to Jiang Ningchuan. Sure enough, each other treats each other as sons. There is no need to take a taxi. I also drove. We have two cars and seven people, just right. Then Lin Qian added with a smile. Oh. That's right. Lin Qian had a car and everyone was a little surprised, but the three of Xin Ning thought about the large and small luxury jewelry bags Lin Qian came back today, and suddenly felt nothing unexpected. The seven followed the main road of the campus and quickly came to the parking lot. John Ningchuan took out the car key and pressed it down. In the relatively empty and dim parking lot, the lights of a car flashed. It is a 2015 Mercedes-Benz Grand G. Lin Qian saw it when he was walking past the Mercedes-Benz showroom when he was visiting Jean Ba Street today. The price seems to be more than 2.7 million. I rely on, Mercedes-Benz Big G, Boss Jiang, you are too big a dog. After Xin Ming saw Jiang Ningchuan's car, he seemed a little excited, leaning over to the front of the car, stroking it carefully. The college entrance examination score is good, the graduation gift bought by the family. Jiang Ningchuan said with a smile, although there is no meaning to show off, there is still a little complacency in his tone. After all, he can drive a Mercedes-Benz G at just 18 years old. It is indeed worth a little pride. However, just when Jiang Ningchuan was a little bit complacent, the lights of a certain car hidden in the dark also flashed in two parking spaces next to the Mercedes-Benz Grand G. Everyone looked at the car subconsciously and saw a Bentley Continental GT full of Glacier White parked there securely. The license plate of the Beijing H11111 in front of the car looked even more dazzling. Everyone slowly turned their heads and saw that Lin Xian was holding a Bentley car key impressively in his hand. F asterisk asterisk K? F asterisk asterisk K? F asterisk asterisk K. I just blame the three people for their ignorance, and they walk the world in one sentence. The third child, you just said something that seems to be too early. Ma Lu looked at Lin Xian stupidly, and said, the real big dog family, what's the place here? Ahem, I'll look at what I do. Lin Xian said weakly. Fourth old, the latest Bentley Continental GT, even the lowest is more than 300, right? What displacement is your car? Jiang Ningchuan's eyes widened and came to Lin Xian's car. His performance perfectly restored the performance of Xin Ming when he saw the Mercedes-Benz G. 6.0 T. Lin Xian answered truthfully. 6.0 T? Isn't that the best match? The tax increase is nearly 500. Jiang Ningchuan's eyes widened. Lin Xian nodded and responded. No, you have the budget. If you buy a big bull supercar, it won't be fragrant. It's not more popular than yours. Jiang Ningchuan suddenly said with a pity. Forehead. I heard that the supercar is particularly uncomfortable, and I have not been driving for a long time, so I was afraid that it would be difficult to drive the supercar, so I chose the Bentley Continental GT. Lin Xian said half-truth, he didn't say that he was only attracted by the car's face, so it seemed that he was somewhat superficial. Although. He is such a superficial person. Tisk, you're a layman now. Jiang Ningchuan suddenly glanced at the three sisters who were not far away, and then quietly lowered his voice in Lin Qian's ear and said, it's really uncomfortable to drive a supercar, but when you don't drive a supercar, someone will naturally make you comfortable. The smile on Lin Qian's face gradually solidified. Boss Jiang, you are such a show, does your sister know? Facing Lin Qian's straight eyes, Zhang Ningchuan was a little puzzled. Could it be that the youngest boy is a pure white, and what he said just now was a bit too esoteric for him? Just when Jiang Ningchuan was about to make a ha to divert the subject, Lin Qian, who was silent for a few seconds, said slowly, Boss Jiang, accompany me to Jean Ba Street when you have time. I think you can pick up a supercar. It doesn't matter whether it is comfortable or not, Lin Qian mainly likes supercars. Um. Also like drag racing. Jiang Ningchuan. Damn it, but I thought you were just a pure little white just now. What are you two whispering? Seeing the two men whispering in front of the car, Jiang Yaoyao stepped forward with some curiosity. It's okay, I'm leaving. Jiang Ningchuan said, and gestured to Jiang Yaoyao, you can get in the car, let's go now. Jiang Yaoyao nodded, and then naturally came to the front of Lin Xian's white continental GT, calmly opened the door, and then waved to her two roommates. Jiang Ningchuan? We don't want to take your big black shell, we take the car of Lin Xian's little brother. Jiang Yaoyao squinted Jiang Ningchuan. Big black shell? Jiang Ningchuan suddenly had a snack. Looking at the appearance of the other two sisters who obviously wanted to ride in Lin Qian's car, Jiang Ningchuan suddenly felt a little sad. Oh, woman. 
Okay, let's meet in the hotel. Jiang Ningchuan waved his hand tiredly, then looked at Ma Lu and Xin Ming who were rushing into the car, then looked at Ying Ying and Yin Yin in front of Lin Xian's car. Against the background of the hailing tide, music sounded. Snow fluttering. North wind shao shao. If Jiang Ningchuan wants to buy a Maserati with the Neptune Trident, it will be even better. Not to mention, it's all tears. With a foot on the accelerator, Jiang Ningchuan drove out of the parking lot with two rough men in a blink of an eye. The remaining four people looked at each other. Yao Yao, take the co-pilot, and Xiao Xiao, and I sit in the back. Zhao Yue took the initiative to speak, her eyes wandering around Lin Qian and Jiang Yao Yao, with a little playful ridicule in her tone. Hey hey. Then I won't refuse. Jiang Yao Yao showed a lovely little pear vortex on his face, and his smile was bright and not twisted. Lin Qian didn't have any opinion on who was sitting in the co-driver. It was the same for everyone. The Bentley Continental GT has four seats with a single door, and the back seat is a little cramped, but Zhao Yue and Li Xiaoxiao are both slim and not crowded. After letting Zhao Yue and Li Xiaoxiao get in the car, Lin Qian and Zhang Yaoyao got on. After getting in the car, Lin Qian opened the convertible of the Bentley Continental GT. Without pretending to be compelling, Lin Qian really just wanted to make the two behind him more comfortable. OM. A deep roar sounded, as if the bright diamond headlights were on, Lin Chen drove this Bentley Continental GT slowly out of the parking lot and drove to the school gate. Because they paid on time, Lin Chen delayed for a while when he left school, and in the process, they seemed to become the focus of the eyes of the students in the past. One man matches three women, and all of them are top beauties. Can you do whatever you want with money? Brother, a Bentley Continental GT costs nearly 4 million. If you look at its license plate, it is estimated that the license plate alone will be about I don't know if you can't do whatever you want, but in our school, doing whatever you want is definitely enough. Damn it, what the internet said is true. Women are reality. They would rather cry in a luxury car than laugh on a bicycle. But, they seem to be smiling very happy now. As the focal point, Lin Qian was slightly uncomfortable with the eyes of the people around him. After paying the fee, he drove out of the school and drove to the restaurant location mentioned by Jiang Ningchuan according to the navigation. Lin Qian's speed is not fast, novice driver, everything is stable. Looking at the surrounding lights and feasting, and then feeling the friendliness of the surrounding vehicles, Lin Qian was a little puzzled. Most Chinese drivers are still very friendly, and they are not as evil as the driving school coach said at the time. Suddenly, there is no such thing as a stoppage or another road. Lin Qian thought secretly, Zhang Yaoyao, who had been chatting with his roommate behind him, turned his head back. Lin Qian, you just graduated, and your family bought you such a good car with such a good license plate. Does your family have a mine? Zhang Yaoyao asked curiously. Lin Qian's eyes didn't deviate from the front, and he smiled and shook his head, there is no mine at home, it's just an ordinary person. Puff. Ordinary people's twist binds, regret creating Ali Jack Ma? Zhang Yaoyao chuckles out of laughter and tells a classic tycoon quote. My family is really an ordinary family. I made the money for buying a car myself. I made some investments when I was in school a few years ago and made a little money. Lin Qian responded with a smile. Regarding the source of the money, if someone asks, Lin Qian decides to push everything into the regional chain investment, a huge capital market with a scale of 1 trillion yuan. Fortunately to make some money in it, others can only sigh with emotion Lin Lin Qian is lucky. Real? Real. Man's mouth, deceitful ghost, sister you are still too young, Lin Qian murmured in his heart. Seeing Lin Qian's seriousness that didn't seem to be a joke, the three girls looked at each other, and suddenly Lin Qian's image and their hearts changed. They originally thought that Lin Qian was a wealthy family, but the truth was that they did not rely on the family's ability to make money, which made Lin Qian's image suddenly taller. You are amazing. You are great. You are so strong. Three voices of emotion came from the mouths of the three girls one after the other, and Lin Qian almost didn't hold the steering wheel. The accelerator stepped hard. Driving from China University of the Arts to the Intercontinental Hotel at Tanjing Center, Lin Qian and the three girls became familiar with each other in 20 minutes. The appellation between each other has also become a pattern like Yao Yao, Yu Wei, and Yao Yao. After Jiang Ningchuan knew this, a little bit of sadness appeared in his heart. The steakhouse is a must-have restaurant in a five-star hotel. It is the most upscale restaurant in the hotel, with first-class service and the most advanced food. Nowadays, the steakhouse usually uses French service. The steakhouse Jiang Ningchuan selected belongs to the Intercontinental Hotel, Tanjing Center. The environment is very good, and the night view of San Latin can be overlooked as far as the eye can see. 
There were a lot of people in the steakhouse this weekend. The diners who come to the steakhouse are usually two people. There are few groups of seven like Lin Xian and others, so they were lucky enough to be assigned to a table with a good view by the window. Today's treat is Jiang Ningchuan, so in terms of ordering, Jiang Ningchuan was not polite with everyone. After asking if there were any taboos, he set the focus. One pre-dinner bread, one 1.5 kilograms tomahawk steak, one New Zealand lamb shank, one sea salt combination, one Italian lemongrass lobster soup, one porcini mushroom soup, seven Canadian scallops and caviar, an abalone box with original sauce, and a dessert plate. Zhang Ningchuan is quick to turn through the dishes and order orders, and he is obviously a frequent visitor to such a French steakhouse. That's all. After ordering, Zhang Ningchuan returned the menu to the service staff, his face was calm and calm. The steakhouse serves food very quickly, the first to be served is the pre-dinner bread and the abalone box. The ten South African abalone sitting on the egg tart meringue, poured with overflowing juice, looked extremely advanced under the exquisite plate. Under Jiang Ningchuan's greeting, everyone moved their chopsticks. Lin Qian picked up a fork to fork an abalone, put the tart pastry into his mouth, and lightly bit half of it. The egg tarts are crispy and soft, and the abalones are juicy. Um. It's slightly salty. When everyone was tasting the abalone, the rest of the dishes were also picked up one after another. The tomahawk steak served by the steakhouse is selected from Black Angus grain-fed beef from Queensland, Australia. It is cooked on the spot with rum sauce. Eating a steak looks very ceremonial. You can try it with different sea salt, the taste and texture will be a little different. John Ningchuan recommended to everyone with a smile. How is it? Is it delicious? Good. Everyone nodded in praise. Hearing this, Zhang Ningchuan smiled and said, after eating so many Western foods, I feel that the taste of Western food is actually because the food itself is relatively high level, and Chinese food is completely the craftsmanship of the master. Western food can only be said to eat high-end food. In essence, Chinese food is the art of cooking. Lin Xian jotted down Zhang Ningchuan's words secretly. If it weren't for the crowds around him, he would want to take a small book and write it down. Boss Zhang, it cost you money today, please change me someday. Lin Xian said with a toast with a smile. I'll have my birthday in a few days, I'll have a sex, everyone will come and have fun together. Zhao Yue smiled and answered, with a shallow smile on her face, her demeanor and demeanor. The rest of the people also expressed their enthusiasm one after another. The so-called courtesy exchanges will only last for long periods of time. It's not a comparison. As long as you have the mind and do what you can, even if you ask everyone to eat food stalls, everyone will feel very comfortable. Zhang Ningchuan responded with a smile. Compared to the smile just now, the smile this time was obviously much more sincere. Sometimes the composition of a small circle is so simple. Three beauties, ask for resources. Is there any good-looking sister papers around? WeChat business cards are pushed, my little brother is also eager for the nourishment of love. The seven were all of the same age, and soon became familiar with them. At this time, Xin Ming's turbulent heart could not be restrained. You have to ask Yao Yao about this. As soon as she arrived at the dormitory today, she became involved with several girls in the dormitories around her, holding at least 20 WeChat accounts of our school's freshman girls in her hand, an absolute treasure girl. Zhao Yue went after the broken hair in Wan's ear, the decent lady responded softly. Moment. John Yao Yao became the focus of Ma Lu and Xin Ming's eyes. You want WeChat, then. Then you have to talk about what you want. Compared with Zhao Yue's elegant taste, John Yao Yao is a bit worse. The pink lips are full of sauce, and her shiny mouth seems to have applied several layers of lipstick to Lin Qian, who is sitting directly opposite her. I couldn't help but feel the urge to take a sip. Hearing the words, Xin Ming thought about it seriously, breaking his fingers and saying, be gentle, be beautiful, be considerate, be cute, be better in figure. Hearing Xin Ming's request, Zhang Yao Yao's shiny little mouth couldn't help but opened into an O shape. Xin Ming, you are too greedy, you actually want to ask for the WeChat of five sister papers at once. Xin Ming. Zhao Yue. Lin Qian. Zhang Mingchuan's forehead was also full of black lines, and he was speechless by his cousin, who had an innocent brain circuit. And Li Xiaoxiao next to Jiang Yao Yao, in fact, her thoughts are the same as Jiang Yao Yao's, even when Xin Ming was just talking, she counted with her fingers. If Lin Xian were to let him know, he might sigh with emotion, indeed, all the nutrients that should develop in the brain are developed on Pikachu. But looking at the speechless expressions of Lin Xian and others, Li Xiaoxiao quietly stunned Jiang Yao Yao's weakness, and muttered in a low voice, Yao Yao, Xin Ming just said it seems to be a request from one person, not five people. Jiang Yao Yao was a little suspicious when he heard this. Yes? 
Yes. This response was from Lin Qian's five people in unison. Zhang Yaoyao's big grape-like eyes were stunned, and then looked at the helpless expressions of the five people. Before others could laugh, she couldn't help but laugh. After eating a meal for an hour, the last four boys walked out of the restaurant leaning on their waists. Um. I was eating too much, and my stomach was a little up. Zhang Ningxuan obviously overestimated the appetite of the three girls. The car that is allocated when you come is still the same when you go back. Twenty minutes later, the crowd met again in the parking lot of the China Conservatory of Music. Youngest, you are not good at driving, driving too slowly. Leaning on the front of the Mercedes-Benz Big G, Zhang Ningchuan said with his hands in his pockets a little sulking. Lin Shan locked the car on this side and responded casually, we had a good conversation on the road, and we added each other on WeChat, so it was a delay. Puff. Heartbroken, old iron. Zhang Ningchuan suddenly felt like he was a tool man. He was in charge of the game, and he invited the rice, but Lin Qian received the sister paper. Looking at the appearance of the little nympho of my cousin, it is really not only that there is no grain, but also a smelly sister. Ignoring Jiang Ningchuan, who was heartbroken, everyone began to walk towards the dormitory. Walking out of the parking lot, while Jiang Ningchuan himself was still immersed in the sadness of the tool man, Jiang Yaoyao turned back from the front. Jiang Ningchuan was suddenly moved a little bit, but his sister is better, knowing that his brother is considerate. However, brother, before breakfast tomorrow, I want all the details of Lin Qian, birthday, hobbies, hometown, etc. I want them all. Puff. The wound that hadn't healed was stabbed again by his sister. So she didn't do it for me. It turns out she was for other men. Before the point was reached, Zhang Ningchuan entered the moment of suppressing the cloud in advance. If I get it, I will post Li Xiaoxiao's WeChat to you. After hearing this sentence from Zhang Yaoyao, Zhang Ningchuan was instantly resurrected with blood. You are investigating behind the scenes. If you really like him, you should find out for yourself instead of going through the back door through me. Zhang Ningchuan said righteously, and then followed in the next second, Lin Qian is me. Brother, if you want to go through the back door, you have to increase the price. Zhang Yaoyao Facing Jiang Yaoyao's contemptuous eyes, Jiang Ningchuan glanced at Li Xiaoxiao in front of him, and whispered, Li Xiaoxiao's WeChat plus all the information, exchange of resources, and this deal will be done. It's not fair, you are sitting on the ground and starting the price. I don't care, you can think about it. Tomorrow is the first day of new students. With Lin Xian's desire to look good, to be rich, and to be rich, in our school, which is declining and prosperous, you may be caught in a blink of an eye. Other sorrows seize the opportunity, and your brother is not in a hurry. I am also a hot seller, so I don't have to worry about finding a girlfriend. Zhang Ningchuan was calm and relaxed, and didn't panic at all. Zhang Yaoyao clenched her teeth and thumped Zhang Ningchuan puffingly. Make a deal. When they returned to the dormitory, Lin Qian and the four began a general cleaning of the dormitory. After the check by the dormitory teacher, they went to the public bathroom to wash, and they all went to bed. Certainly. It is basic operation for young people to play with their mobile phones before going to bed. After swiping Weibo for a while, just when Lin Qian was about to put down his phone to sleep, Lin Qian's eyes condensed slightly by the light on the phone screen. I saw a line of small words on the wall on the pillow side. www.com Is it a website? Lin Qian thought secretly, but subconsciously opened the browser in his hand and entered this website into it. His. I'm gonna. Senior brother, good people are safe in their lives. The next day. The morning light filled the entire campus, accompanied by the morning bell, the new semester's study life began. The four people in Lin Qian's bedroom all got up very early today. Zhang Ningchuan slapped his hair slightly, and Ma Lu and Xin Ming also took out their most handsome clothes and put on them. Only Lin Qian is very simple to wear. The plain short sleeved LV on the upper body, the unique logo is only a few spots, and they are all very concealed, not showing any publicity, while the lower body is wearing a pair of Burberry shorts. A pair of Versace canvas shoes. But it may be that this outfit is particularly in line with Lin Qian's original temperament, making Lin Qian look very clean and fresh just standing there, more handsome than Zhang Ningchuan who is a saw bag. When the four people walked out of the dormitory, time was a little tight. There are four people in the bedroom. Lin Qian and Ma Lu are both piano students in the piano department, while Zhang Ningchuan and Xin Ming are violin students in the orchestra department. Lin Qian and Ma Lu belong to the 2015 piano department piano class 1, while Zhang Ningchuan and Xin Ming belong to the 2015 orchestral violin class 1. The first day of class for new students today is in the teaching building. 
The four hurry to their respective classrooms, just in time for the ringing of the first class bell. Lin Xian, here. As soon as Lin Xian walked into the classroom, he saw Jiang Yaoya waving her little white hand, waving to him. Lin Xian looked around at the people in the classroom. After seeing that there was no good place, he and Ma Lu hurried towards Jiang Yaoya. By Jiang Yaoya's side is Li Xiao Xiao, and Zhao Yuwei and the roommate who didn't come yesterday are majors in vocal music and opera. Jiang Yaoya and Li Xiao Xiao each had an empty seat. Ma Lu sat beside Li Xiao Xiao very interestingly, while Lin Xian sat beside Jiang Yao Yao. However, as soon as Lin Xian sat down, he felt a hostile sight lingering around him. Looking sideways, he saw a dark-skinned boy sitting on the other side of him, with bull eyes staring at him, and then frequently raising his left hand with a piece of Omega Seamaster series. Brother, do you have uncomfortable eyes or cramps in your hands? Lin Xian couldn't help but asked. Puff. Zhang Yao Yao, who had originally taken a book from her pink school bag with a full face, suddenly laughed when he heard Lin Xian's words. The bull eye boy was a little embarrassed by Lin Xian's words, he silently put down his hand, then curled his neck, ignoring Lin Xian. Classmates, get acquainted. My name is Zhang Bingyu. I heard that there is a Japanese food next to our school that is very delicious. This afternoon I went to the Mercedes-Benz 4S store to pick up a Mercedes-Benz GLC and I will drive you to try it? Don't worry, I'm not free, I have to practice piano in the afternoon. Students, we are all students of piano class 1. Add a WeChat account to facilitate the exchange of messages in the future. Sorry, the phone is dead. I have a power bank. Oh, then my phone exploded. Looking at the licking dog on the right and Zhang Yao Yao's coldness on the left, Lin Chen found it very interesting. Zhang Yao Yao licked himself, this bullseye brother licked Zhang Yao Yao. Sure enough, the way of heaven is reincarnation, licking the dog to let anyone go. Seeing that the brown candy didn't mean to give up, Zhang Yao Yao said impatiently, Classmates, I didn't mean to fall in love before graduating from college. Don't waste your energy, okay? First of all, the other party doesn't look like what Zhang Yao Yao likes. Hi Kukios, how can Lin Qian's white and nasty look, and he can also wear an Omega Seahorse? Just mention a Mercedes-Benz GLC that's less than 400,000 yuan. It's not good. While Lin Xian drove a Bentley Continental GT with a Beijing H11111 license plate but was too low-key and never showed anything. This makes Jiang Yao Yao's favor with Lin Xian soar several times. From a psychological point of view, this is called the contrast effect. After saying this, Jiang Yao Yao glanced at Lin Xian beside him and whispered in Lin Xian's ear, I just don't want to talk to him. Lin Xian listened to Jiang Yao Yao's special emphasis and then looked at the somewhat gloomy bull eye brothers around him and suddenly felt a little bit emotional, licking the dog, licking the dog, licking the dog, licking nothing at the end, it is indeed a famous saying. The licking dog appeared, but it was an episode in the morning. The teacher who first appeared in the classroom was the instructor of two piano classes in the entire piano department, a slightly bald middle-aged man. The other party didn't talk too much, made a brief and clear self-introduction, and after explaining some precautions, he left the classroom happily. This makes many students in the classroom who have just entered university from high school feel very uncomfortable. In their thinking, the counselor should be like the head teacher of the middle and high school. However, that is simply thinking of eating farts. No one will care about you for four years in college. Jackie Chan is an adult, all in himself. Some indulge themselves and accomplish nothing after four years, and some self-discipline and work hard, and the prospects are boundless after four years. After the counselor left, the bell rang for the second time, and a middle-aged woman walked in from the outside on high heels. According to the order of the courses on the timetable, the first class of their college career was high numbers. After seeing the teacher come in, Lin Xian sighed. Zhang Yao Yao next to him was holding the gel pen in his white and tender little hand, and Pu Tao stared at the teacher with big eyes, as if he were studying hard and being a good child. But Lin Xian was not the case, slowly taking out a copy of the biography of the Chao Gang from his school bag and flipping it through. Lin Xian, this is a high number, don't you listen? When Zhang Yao Yao saw that Lin Xian didn't plan to attend the first class, she gently pushed Lin Xian with her elbow. Lin Xian smiled upon hearing this. Gee. An art student who studies literature wants to learn advanced math? It can only be said to be too young. Lin Xian thought the same way in his last life, but after working hard for a whole semester, exam 49. Lin Xian used to hear some people brag, saying that people are pressing and can do anything. I'm gonna. Come on, take a picture of a high math problem in front of you, and you will do it for lousy. You can't make it to death. Lin Xian thought secretly, and at the same time sighed the cuteness of these children. She doesn't look good, so she doesn't want to listen. Lin Qian responded gently. 
Jiang Yao Yao? 20 minutes later. Welcome to the glory of the king, the enemy has 5 seconds to reach the battlefield. Lin Xian, who was watching the biography of the Chao Gang with gusto, turned his head in astonishment when he heard the familiar sound of the game. I saw Jiang Yao Yao flushing and pressing the down button frantically, just like a big red apple. Lin Xian couldn't help but want to take a bite to see if the apple was tender. I? I do not understand. Zhang Yaoyao's voice was like a mosquito and flies, thinking of her confident appearance before class, she suddenly felt that she was embarrassed in front of Lin Xian. Lin Xian couldn't help being amused by Zhang Yaoyao's cute appearance. Go on. Looking at the fierce operation with both hands, and then at Zhang Yaoyao, who had a record of 0 and 5, Lin Xian did not smile because he was thinking about things. If he remembers correctly, the game Glory of the King was launched in November 2015 in the previous life, but now it is only in September 2015. The timeline is two months ahead of schedule. Is it the butterfly effect caused by your own rebirth? Since his rebirth in 2010, he has never done anything to disrupt the normal progress of the world except for the Huayin exam from Chuanin. Such a step-by-step -step and low-key approach has still caused some things to change slightly. Just as Lin Xian thought secretly on this side, Jiang Yaoyao's annoyed grunt came from beside him. What's wrong? Looking at Jiang Yaoyao who was puffed up, Lin Xian asked with some wonder. Lin Xian, someone scolded me, I. I can't scold him. Zhang Yaoyao's pink mouth was slightly crappy, and the big grape eyes were full of grievances. Oh. Hearing this, Lin Xian glanced at Zhang Yaoyao's record and couldn't help being speechless. Master position, the result is 0-10-1. Not only is it a pit, but it also has no effect. Lin Xian picked up Zhang Yaoyao's cell phone and clicked on the comment record. The scolding was an assassin who played King of Lanling. The scolding was indeed extremely unpleasant, and all his parents greeted him. As for Zhang Yao Yao, the previous comments were all apologies. However, the Lanling king was still reluctant, and the angry Zhang Yao Yao later shot back. It was just that the vocabulary of cursing was a bit lacking, and it was rude to turn over and over again. The words nausea and rascal do not have the slightest strength. Seeing this, Lin Qian silently clicked on the comment and reply. Playing games, you can spray if you don't play well, but please don't bring parents. In Lin Xian's mind, the essence of the game is entertainment. If you lose, you lose. Even if it is a teammate's pit, but who hasn't pitted it? Who can guarantee that you will not pit you when you play the game, and that the super god will carry the audience? Even in the esports competitions that have been hot in the past few years, UZI, known as the number one ADC, can't be super smart. Therefore, Lin Qian has never been accustomed to this kind of person who scolds his father and his mother after playing a game. Little brother. Have you heard of Zhuan people? Today, for my brother, I will let you experience a dimensionality reduction blow from later generations. Zhang Yaoyao next to him watched Lin Qian move his finger, and then his finger hit the keyboard of the phone screen like a storm. That flexible hands, that super fast hand speed. It means that Zhang Yaoyao is a young child who doesn't understand anything. If this is seen by a woman who knows the goods, I'm afraid it will be posted directly upside down. Little brother, don't spray, there is time to spray people, isn't it okay to take a selfie of Zhang family portrait with your phone? You said how lucky you are, you are proficient in all 18 gestures when you first married a daughter-in-law. Lin Qian's hands storm output. And Zhang Yaoyao, who was watching the excitement with his little head leaning on his side, could not help but turn pink as he watched. It's all. What are they all? Jiang Yaoyao is a serious daughter of Huang Hua. She has been very strict in tutoring since she was a child, and has been protected by her cousin Jiang Ningchuan of the same age. But looking at Lin Xian's serious look, Jiang Yaoyao's heart was slightly rippled. He? Is he helping me out? They are both cursing people, but Jiang Yaoyao feels that Lin Xian is not vulgar at all, but has a different charm at this moment. Lin Xian, who was fully committed, did not notice the strangeness of Jiang Yaoyao next to him. But in just five minutes, Lin Qian saw the system prompt, King Lanling has been disconnected. Ah. That's it? Lin Qian put down the phone with disdain. My Zhuan culture just showed off its fur, you can't stand it anymore? Hey, give you the phone. Lin Qian put the phone back into Jiang Yaoyao's hand, and picked up his book again, if you don't want to be sprayed, I suggest you play the auxiliary and play those super cute characters. Then I started to babble when I went online, and no one would spray you. This world. The tolerance for Mengmei paper is so strong. Oh. Zhang Yaoyao obediently responded. Lin Xian, thank you for helping me vent my anger. After Zhang Yaoyao paused, he said again. 
It's okay, I just can't understand that person plays a game and scolds his father and mother. Lin Qian responded with a smile. I will invite you to dinner tonight. I heard that there is a Japanese food store next to the school that is very delicious. John Yao Yao said with a sweet smile on his white teeth. Hey Chocho's big bullseye brother? Why is this a bit familiar? Lin Qian glanced at the brother next to him from the corner of his eyes. Just by looking at his expression, he could feel the sadness in his heart at this moment. This feeling is like knowing that your girlfriend is holding the 520 you gave him and taking other men to open the house. Forehead. Someday, I have an appointment tonight. Lin Xian showed a touch of apologize on his face and softly declined. Tonight, he is going to the appointment with the president of China Merchants Bank Yanjing branch, which was agreed yesterday. Furthermore, Lin Xian was a little afraid that someone around him couldn't think about it. What if he drives the Mercedes-Benz just mentioned if he becomes impulsive? Hearing that Lin Xian had an appointment, John Yao Yao showed a little regret on his face. Well, then another day. Hmm, another day. Lin Xian and John Yao Yao were chatting quietly, and the rest of the classroom was almost the same as the two. As for the high mathematics teacher on the stage, his face was calm, and he taught step by step the high mathematics that was obviously all in Chinese but could not understand even when they were together. Lin Xian was still very satisfied with the first day of life at the university. Regarding Jiang Yao Yao's appearance alone, she definitely belongs to the ranks of top beauties. She is like the innocent girl next door in the idol drama. She has a sweet smile and a lively and interesting personality, which is really unpleasant. In a blink of an eye, time came tonight. Jiang Yao Yao, Ma Lu, and Li Xiaoxiao went to the Qinfeng building together after class. As Huayin piano art students who crossed the bridge, they practiced piano for no less than eight hours a day. The self-discipline of piano practice has been carved into their bones. If there were number 500 million dollars from the mysterious system the day before yesterday, Lin Qian should be like them, practicing piano every day, after all, that would be his job to eat in the future. However, only two days later, Lin Qian's life was turned upside down. With a huge amount of money, it is impossible for him to work in this life. Therefore, the skill of piano has already abdicated and become a hobby in his heart at this moment. The role in the future may be limited to cultivating sentiment and picking up girls. Saying goodbye to the three, Lin Qian came to the parking lot alone. Private kitchen of the national government? Lin Qian looked at the positioning sent by Wang Dishing, the president of China Merchants Bank Yanjing branch. After setting the position in the car, he started his Bentley Continental GT, slowly drove out of the campus, and drove towards the agreed hotel. The traffic situation in Yanqing at dusk is undoubtedly extremely bad. Obviously it was only a 20-minute drive, but it was because of traffic jams that I drove for nearly an hour. Call. Fortunately, it was earlier, otherwise you have to be late. When he got out of the car, Lin Qian looked at the big, round and white moon in the sky and couldn't help muttering a word. After locking the car, Lin Qian looked at the government private kitchen not far in front of the parking lot. The two-story small attic is decorated in an authentic old Yanjing style, which looks antique, quiet, and elegant. The light is bright but not dazzling. The front entrance is two quaint doors with a sense of time. Two waitresses in Changsam stood in front of them. They were exquisite in stature and their appearances were of the upper middle level. Such a restaurant, just looking at it, feels extraordinary. Lin Qian and the two generations are people, let alone go in, even have never seen it before. With a whisper in his heart, Lin Qian quickly came to the front door. Is it Mr. Lin? Before Lin Qian could speak, a waitress standing on the left took the lead and asked. Lin Qian was taken aback for a moment, then nodded. Please. The waitress on the left bowed slightly to Lin Qian, with a gentle smile on her face, and her eyes never exceeded Lin Qian's nose, which made her respectful. After Lin Qian walked into the gate, the waitress who was standing on the right side directly closed the gate slowly. This is? Lin Xian couldn't help but asked curiously. The waitress who was in charge of guiding Lin Xian was a little curious when seeing Lin Xian, and explained with a smile, Mr. Lin, this restaurant only accepts three tables of guests reservations a day. They are lunch, afternoon tea, and dinner. Each time there is one and only one. Table guests. You are the last guest tonight, so after you come, our shop will not receive any more guests, so naturally the shop will be closed. Hearing the explanation from the waitress, Lin Qian couldn't help but smack secretly. It is located in the Chaoyang Business District and occupies such a large area of land, but only receives three tables of guests a day. The price of just a meal is probably far beyond ordinary people's imagination. Lin Qian sighed in his heart, his eyes lingered on the decoration of this private restaurant. 
The pond pavilions are densely covered with green plants. Not like a restaurant, but like a private house. Looking at the flowers all the way, under the guidance of the waiter, Lin Qian quickly came to the second floor of the attic. There is no box, because the entire second floor is a box, and the entire private restaurant has only this box. Celebrity calligraphy and painting, antiques and antiques. All Chinese-style pure wood furniture, everything shows low-key luxury. Lin Qian walked slowly to the center, a round table large enough to accommodate a dozen people, but only two people. One is a middle-aged man in a straight suit, and a young woman in the uniform of China Merchants Bank. What combination is this? Lin Qian secretly poked and guessed. You are Mr. Lin Qianlin. When Lin Qian showed up, the middle-aged man Wang Dixing, president of the Yinjing branch of China Merchants Bank, stood up from the chair with a smile, while the young woman beside him also stood up from the chair with a soft smile on her face. President Wang, hello. Lin Qian seemed quite calm. Although Wang Dixing is the president of the Yinjing branch of China Merchants Bank and his status is definitely a celebrity in the upper class, Lin Qian holds a full 500 million US dollars in cash in his hand. This huge amount of savings alone is enough to make any domestic bank call his father. Don't look at the brilliant scenery of the bosses of certain listed companies, but if you ask him to come up with 500 million US dollars in cash, 90% of the people will not be able to come up with so much money even if they cash in their equity and then sell iron. So, Lin Qian has full confidence. After all, there are so many banks in China, and there are countless presidents who want to welcome half a billion dollars into the bank. Lin Qian understands this truth, and Wang Dixing is naturally clearer. Mr. Lin has such a wealth at such a young age. It is really enviable. Wang Dixing led Lin Qian to the most central position, and then smiled at the young woman and greeted, Lu Ning, it's not impressive yet. Lu Ning is obviously the name of the young girl next to Wang Dixing. Hello, President Lin, from today onwards, I will be your exclusive financial secretary. I will serve you exclusively. If you have any life and financial needs in the future, you can tell me at any time. Standing by Lin Qian's side, Lu Ning slightly bowed to Lin Qian and said, his voice was pleasant, and the whole person looked extremely respectful. When Lu Ning greeted her, Lin Qian had time to look at her carefully. It has a pair of standard willow leaf eyes, the eyes are long and round, pure and pure like the morning dew in the forest, but there is a natural charm in the circulation of the eyes, the small melon face, the delicate and harmonious facial features, and the fair skin. Beneath the pink and daisies, it gives people a first-time surprise, and a close look at the soft and beautiful sense of sight. A China merchant's bank uniform outlines his exquisite and straight figure, and his long hair is tangled up high, making him quite dignified and generous. There was a little glamour and innocence mixed in the dignity, and Lin Qian couldn't help but see his eyelids twitch. What's the matter? Beauty tricks? No wonder the previous life always listened to the big bosses advocating the good service of China Merchants Bank. That's it? Well, Lin Qian is really fragrant. Sit down and talk. Lin Qian said softly, but he spit out in his heart, hurry up and sit down, don't dangle in front of my eyes, I am dizzy. Lu Ning saw Lin Qian speak, and then sat down obediently. President Wang, do we assign a dedicated secretary to each customer? Lin Qian asked curiously. When Wang Dixing heard this, he couldn't help but smile, how is it possible? Only customers of our ultra-high-end private bank can enjoy such treatment, and it is only possible, only truly distinguished customers like Mr. Lin to get this treatment. When he came, Lin Qian checked the standards of China Merchants Bank's private banking customers. Quasi-private banking customers should have assets of no less than 5 million for three consecutive months, and private banking customers should have assets of no less than 10 million for three consecutive months. This is a super high-end private bank. Clients need to reach the 50 million mark for three consecutive months. However, Lin Qian's savings far exceed the standards of ultra-high-end private bank customers. It seems. Not everyone can have an exclusive personal secretary. Lin Qian understood a little bit in his heart. Mr. Lin, I invite you to come today, just to get to know young talents like you, and to tell you what kind of courtesy China Merchants Bank treats top customers like you. We thank you for choosing China Merchants Bank, and we hope you can enjoy the best service in our bank. Regarding your privileges and courtesy, we can see what you need and customize it for you later. Wang Dixing's tone was sincere, and he did not put on airs because of his age, completely placing Lin Qian in the same position. Lin Qian smiled and nodded when he heard the words. The two were chatting, while Lu Ning was listening quietly beside him, pouring tea for Lin Qian from time to time. While Lin Qian and Wang Dixing were chatting and chatting, waitresses dressed in Chong Sam in the private kitchen of the palace entered in file, each holding a delicate dish that looked like a work of art. Mr. Lin, the owner of this private kitchen in the palace is a real state banquet chef. 
Many dishes are carefully developed by him. They taste very good. You can eat more later. Wine dishing said with a smile. The first appetizer is the appetizer. Hello VIP, this black vinegar mustard seed golden crispy meal is the latest appetizer developed by Feng Chu. It is inspired by the famous Wuxi dish Liangxi crisp eel. On top of this, it is combined with ingwa mustard spicy the sourness of Shanghai Junjiang vinegar, sweet and sour taste moderately spicy, I hope you will like it. The disc on the dining table turned slightly, and a woman who looked like the manager of the store introduced to Lin Qian with a smile. As for why it was introduced to Lin Qian, it was naturally because Lin Qian was sitting on the main seat, and the people in the store were very clear about the distinction between primary and secondary. Lin Qian couldn't help but feel a little bit of emotion when he saw this black vinegar mustard seed golden silk crisp meal. In this era, the rice field eel is only the rice field eel, and it is only food. Unlike in a few years, the rice field eel is more than just food. Lin Qian moved the chopsticks to gently pick up a piece and put it in his mouth. The first taste experience is sour. The sourness of Junjiang vinegar is very overbearing, and after the sourness, the spiciness of mustard begins to surge. As for the ingredients themselves, the eel was fried extremely crispy, so crisp that Lin Qian even doubted his life. After Lin Qian moved the chopsticks, Wang Dishing moved the chopsticks, and finally Lu Ning. Good. Lin Qian nodded slightly and said a compliment. Upon hearing Lin Qian's compliment, Wang Dishing suddenly smiled like a daisy. Mr. Lin, would you like to open a bottle of red wine for a drink? Wang Dishing suggested appropriately. Don't worry about drinking, I came by car. It's okay, you can let Lu Ning drive for Mr. Lin later. Seeing Wang Dishing's kindness, Lin Qian looked at Lu Ning next to him, hesitated for a moment, and finally nodded slowly, then have a drink. Upon hearing this, Wang Dishing smiled even more, and gestured to the manager like waitress, who immediately turned to match Lin Qian and the others with wine. Next, a series of delicacies were presented one after another, which was regarded as an eye-opener to Lin Qian, who had lived for nearly 30 years in two lifetimes. Golden Universe 8 Treasure Bag, RB Yuzi Tofu was wrapped in a cloth bag with freshly removed hairy crab powder, which is delicious and makes the taste buds cheer, eating a slice is memorable. A top-notch beauty like Lu Ning is beside her, just like a maidservant serving wine and vegetables, with admiration between her eyebrows and eyes. Three rounds of wine, five flavors of food. Almost eating, Lin Qian picked up the napkin and wiped his mouth. President Wang, I know all the privileges and courtesies you mentioned just now, but I am not really interested in the ones you mentioned, because those privileges and courtesies can be bought with money as long as I want them, and I. It just so happens that the most important thing is money. Lin Qian said lightly, as a reply to the privileges and courtesy that Wang Dishing just said. When Wang Dishing heard the words, the smile on his face remained unchanged. Mr. Lin said that the privileges and courtesies I mentioned just now are just icing on the cake for guests like Mr. Lin. Wang Dishing paused, and then said with a serious expression, Mr. Lin, we are currently super high-end. There are a total of 8,093 private VIP users. If you choose our China Merchants Bank, you will get the resource sharing of the entire China Merchants Bank and the integration of ultra-high-end private VIP users. Hearing this, Lin Qian narrowed his eyes slightly. This. It was Lin Qian who came to the appointment today that he valued most. The ultra-high-end private bank of each bank is actually more like a club in China's top circle. Each member in this circle has a minimum net worth of 50 million. They come from all walks of life, and their careers cover all fields. The bank is like a central hub that integrates the resources of these people in series to serve different VIPs. Customers get convenience. This is what Lin Xian values. His wealth comes from the mysterious foundation mentioned by the system. He is indeed very rich, but here is China. There is still a slight gap between China and foreign countries where money is supreme. If you want to live well here, sometimes there is nothing. Money doesn't work, and you have to have a large enough network of resources and a certain degree of social status. In order to obtain both, the bank can give Lin Qian a lot of help in the initial stage. For example? Lin Qian asked with a smile. Mr. Lin, what do you want? Wang Dishing did not answer, but asked rhetorically with a smile. I want to buy a house in Yanjing, Magic City, Yangchang, Pengchang and other places. Can. I don't have a registered permanent residence in the city, I haven't paid taxes for more than five years, and I don't have any social guarantee. Also, I want to buy a lot of houses. How many? 100 sets started. Hearing the number in Lin Qian's mouth, Wang Dishing fell silent. And Lu Ning, who was sitting next to Lin Qian, was shocked and shocked when he heard the words of 100 sets of starting from Lin Qian's mouth lightly. 
She is just a cute new student who has just graduated from a bachelor's degree and has a desire for a big city. She resolutely stayed in the Yanjing branch of China Merchants Bank and became a teller. The administrative level is only sixth level, which is only better than a non-staff temporary worker. Two levels higher. She is eager to stay in the big city, and the most basic condition for taking root in the big city is the house. Within the Yanjing Fifth Ring Road, even if you want to buy only a house of tens of square meters, you need a minimum of five million to start. She dreams of buying a house, and her dream is that the young man next to her is of the same age and younger than her, but she has 100 houses. Such a gap caused Luning's mat and tender values to suffer a crazy impact. Original. In the eyes of the rich, the house is just a simple number. Lin Xian didn't know what he said, and almost shattered Lu Ning's values beside him. Even ordinary people are not unfamiliar with the house. In Yinjing in 2015, the general housing price has reached 40,000 per square meter. As for the housing prices in bustling areas and school districts, ordinary people are even more desperate. However, only Lin Xian, who was reborn, knew that this was not the culmination of housing prices. Just next year, first-tier cities such as Yanjing, China Shipping, Yangcheng, and Pengcheng will successively introduce purchase restrictions. At the national level, migrant workers are encouraged to buy houses in cities and talents are encouraged to buy houses. It was thought that the national macro control has lowered housing prices. However, since the introduction of the purchase restriction policy in January 2016, housing prices did not fall but rose by the end of 2016. Among them, Pengcheng was even at the beginning of the year. Housing prices have risen by 60%, and housing prices in other major first-tier cities have also risen. In the next five years, housing prices in major first-tier cities have almost doubled. So if you want to buy a house, for Lin Qian, now is the best time. After the purchase restriction policy is introduced in various places, and then want to buy a house frantically, the level of difficulty is far from the current level. In the past, Lin Qianming knew that housing prices would increase substantially in the future, but Naiha had no money in his hands. He had no choice but to watch housing prices rise steadily. Now it's different. Lin Xian has money in his hands, so he naturally doesn't want to let go of this last opportunity for housing prices to skyrocket. Just last night when Lin Xian had explored the new continent left to him by his senior brother, and his mind was clear, Lin Xian thought about his future carefully. After six years of rebirth, the mysterious system gave him $500 million for the first time. He doesn't know whether he will make money in the future, and he doesn't know. It may or may not. So just last night, before going to the appointment, Lin Qian roughly planned two major plans for his future. Hoarding houses is a crucial step in Lin Qian's first big plan. With a stable real estate, Lin Qian will have no worries. Even if the system no longer spends money in the future, and even if there is a problem with the second largest plan, the exploitation plan, the real estate in hand is enough to ensure that he can live a boring rent-collecting life of mixed food and death. The house will become the foundation of Lin Qian's future. Therefore, Lin Qian gave his first plan a very apt name. Robust plan. Mr. Lin, you have such ample funds in your hands. Is it too wasteful to buy a house? Now that the property market in China is at its peak, it is better to buy some funds and stocks to get a lot of returns. Wang Dishing persuaded slightly. Lin Qian heard this and smiled lightly, I'm sorry, I don't know much about fun stocks, and I always don't like to do things with blind spots and knowledge. People have self-knowledge, and Lin Qian has always been very close. China's stock market is too deep, and the funds he is currently holding are not enough to affect the direction of the stock market. If he enters the market rashly, he is purely going to be leaks for those capitalists, and it is still thick, big, and long. Chinese chives. The main reason is that he doesn't know much about the stock price of the fund at this time. If it is two years later, in 18 years or so, he may invest some money for fun. He still compares the direction of the stock market and the fund after 18 years. Understand. When I was a junior in my previous life, I spent too much money on the subject. I read a few books and wanted to enter the stock market to make some quick money. Naturally, I lost my money and lost money. But since then, Lin Xian has started to pay attention. Start the trend of China's stock market and funds. When Wang Dishing saw that Lin Xian had no intention to invest in the market, he didn't say much and continued to talk on the original topic, Mr. Lin, if you really want to invest in the property market and want to buy a lot of houses in first-tier cities, I can help you operate it. It just takes some time, and it may also require some expenses. Speaking of the final expenses, Wang Dishing gave Lin Xian a look, and Lin Xian understood it with his heart, and naturally understood what Wang Dishing's so-called expenses were. If you want to take a shortcut, there must be some price. The cost is not a problem, 
but in terms of time, I hope that the sooner the better. The house purchase plan is completed by 2016 at the latest. Can it be done? Lin Qian asked. Wang Dixing did not reply immediately, but made a careful estimate, and then nodded in response, it should be completed by the end of the year. In fact, if Mr. Lin you only buy a large number of houses in Yanjing, I can let you buy it the day after tomorrow, but you want there are too many cities to buy houses, so it needs to be operated a little bit. Okay, then this matter will trouble President Wang. After the matter is completed, I will send President Wang a small gift to show his gratitude. Lin Qian thanked him with a smile. Eh? It should be, Mr. Lin, you are our distinguished customer of China Merchants Bank. It is our business to provide you with convenience. Wang Dixing waved his hand, and at the same time raised the red wine glass and said to Lin Xianjing, with a sincere smile on his face. Lin Xian picked up the wine glass and touched Wang Dixing with a smile, then took a sip of the red wine. President Wang, in addition to buying a house, I have something else I want to trouble Governor Wang. Upon hearing this, Wang Dixing smiled and said, Mr. Lin, you speak. I plan to set up a film and television media investment company in the near future. I wonder if President Wang has a good headhunting company to recommend me? The establishment of a film and television media investment company is the first step in Lin Xian's second largest plan, the exploitation plan. As an ordinary college student in his previous life, Lin Xian's college life was actually very monotonous. Studying at school on weekdays, playing games and chasing dramas in my free time, while on weekends I take my girlfriend to go out, watch the latest movie on Saturday night, and then go to the hotel with my girlfriend's waist. The artillery fire continued. Life is plain and boring. In the four years of college, Lin Xian read countless movies, such as idol movies, romance movies, action movies, science fiction blockbusters, etc. He has seen more than 100 movies in theaters. There must be dozens of TV series chased. He is very familiar with the famous actors and some overseas teachers in the past four years. Therefore, Lin Xian has a deep understanding of the film and television dramas from 2016 to 2020, and the box office of each movie and the ratings of each TV drama are deep in memory. Investing in film and television, with Lin Xian's forward-looking vision, as long as he is cautious and don't let people take the lead, basically it is a trade that makes a profit without losing money. It is far better than investing in some unfamiliar stock markets and funds. And in the next five years, it will be a period of time for China's film industry to blow out. The billions of box offices that were once out of reach for many filmmakers will appear frequently in the next five years. The return on investment of dozens of times is by no means an assumption. Film and Television Media Investment Company? Wang Dixing was stunned, and then said, Mr. Lin, forgive me, the current water in China's film and television industry is quite deep. According to a friend of my radio and television, the number of film and television projects established in the radio and television every year there are thousands of them, but there are no more than a hundred that can really make money, and the rest is not worthless, it is not much difference. Even those big productions that hire famous actors don't necessarily make a steady profit. Just take the Dynasty Woman that was released some time ago. The big celebrities gathered, the big productions, the big scenes, and the investment of nearly 200 million. In the end, the total of the box office was only more than 100 million points, and the investors almost lost their money. Listening to Wang Dixing's words, Lin Qian's somewhat long-lasting memory was hooked up. President Wang. You are talking about the unprecedented, unprecedented movie in which Ma Jun was blatantly shown on the big screen? Lin Qian still remembered that that horse was really white, cough cough, really handsome. Wang Dishing was kind, Lin Qian accepted it, but he couldn't talk about some things. President Wang, I know what you said, but I think the film and television industry is quite interesting, and I am also curious about the entertainment industry. Anyway, the money is still thrown in the bank. Why don't you start a company and have some fun? When Lin Qian came to the end, he pretended to be a little frivolous. When Wang Dishing saw Lin Qian's appearance, he said nothing. It seems that Mr. Lin is simply a drunkard who doesn't care about drinking, he cares about the big legs in the entertainment circle, and he cares about the whiteness and bigness of the beautiful girls in the entertainment circle, not the money. Young and frivolous, with a good kidney and a good waist, this kind of thinking can be understood. If you have money and don't bother, Wang Dishing has worked in the bank for so many years, and he really hasn't seen it before. The red flag at home does not fall, the colorful flags are fluttering outside, and there are countless things that the husband and wife play with each other. Thinking of this, Wang Dishing couldn't help but glance at the dignified and graceful Lu Ning beside Lin Qian. He suddenly felt that he had made the right move. Mr. Lin, since your idea has been decided, then I won't say more. Wang Dishing paused, and then said, as for you need a headhunting company, you can contact Lu Ning directly in the future for this kind of thing and ask her to help you. 
deal with. As an ultra high end private customer of our bank, we have a large team of butlers who specialize in serving high end users like you, such as machine wine reservations, tickets for major concerts, international shows, international first line fashion shows, etc., they can do it all. When it comes to this, Wang Dishing seems quite proud. Lin Xian heard this and nodded to Wang Dishing, then looked at Lu Ning next to him and said, Then you can handle this matter. Please help me contact a reliable headhunting company. Many are also fine. I need one. A professional manager proficient in entertainment needs a top-level accounting team and multiple project managers who are good at entertainment investment. As for the highest salary in the industry, as long as you have the ability, money is not a problem. Lin Xian said on this side, while Lu Ning quickly took notes on the other side. Slender and light white, there is no decoration on the nails, which looks pretty good. Such delicate and white hands, if. Lin Xian's thoughts gradually went off track. And feeling Lin Xian's gaze lingering on her, Lu Ning's face could not help but gradually climb into a layer of crimson. Pushing the cup and changing the cup, Lin Xian always kept the drink volume within two cups. After eating the whole meal for nearly two hours, Lin Xian mainly listened to it. Listening to Wang Dishing's idle talk gave Lin Xian a lot of insight, and he has a lot of knowledge about the life of the once out of reach of the top wealthy circle. A vague concept. It is beyond imagination. In the whole process, Wang Dishing did not show any purpose, as if it was really just a mere banquet. In fact, what Lin Xian didn't know was that Lin Xian's large savings directly exceeded Wang Dishing's entire fourth quarter savings task of the Yanjing branch. What's more, being so young and sitting on such a huge wealth, whether it is given by the family or earned by himself, is a big customer worthy of Wang Dishing's 100% energy to win over. At 8 o'clock in the evening, after the dinner was over, Wang Dishing personally sent Lin Xian to the parking lot. Chen Jingwan asked Lu Ning to take care of Lin Xian. He did not leave until he watched the two leave the parking lot. In the claustrophobic interior, Lin Xian was sitting in the co-pilot, Lu Ning was carefully driving the Bentley Continental GT, and the bright neon lights of Yinjing were outside the window. Very beautiful. Whether it is the scenery inside the car or the scenery outside the window. Mr. Lin, where is our car heading? Lu Ning slightly asked in a low voice cautiously. Upon hearing the question, Lin Qian turned his head to look at Lu Ning's flawless, white jade face. He was funny, it should have been back to school, but now I don't want to go back to school. Lu Ning, who was originally focused on driving, heard Lin Qian's words, the bare hands holding the steering wheel suddenly tightened, and a little nervousness appeared on his face. Lin. President Lin, then you, then where are you going? Lu Ning's little heart was beating like a drum, and the powerful thinking diffusion power unique to a woman made her think of countless possibilities in an instant mainly because Lin Qian's words were a bit ambiguous. Looking at Lu Ning's slightly nervous and pretty appearance, Lin Qian found it quite interesting. I ate a lot just now, so please accompany me to exercise after a meal. Exercise after meals? When Lu Ning heard this word, the original thinking that went astray was more like a wild horse running away and never looking back. Mr. Lin, you, how do you want to exercise? Lu Ning looked at Lin Qian a little stumblingly, her eyes full of tension in those willow leaves. What do you mean? Lin Xian couldn't help being playful, and asked in a voice full of magnetism and deep voice, and at the same time, his body slightly moved closer to Lu Ning. Fragrant. A scent of gardenia came out, I don't know if it came from her fragrance or body fragrance. Lu Ning's body couldn't help being a little stiff, but at this moment, her heart was caught in a strong struggle. Yes or not? Young and more golden, handsome and temperate. Such conditions made Lu Ning really irresistible. But at the same time, she knew very well that a man like Lin Xian would never be the only woman in the future. Left-handed matter, right-handed love, which one to choose? Lu Ning, who had just entered society, was really at a loss at this moment after her pink and tender values were ravaged by Lin Xian's output tonight several times. I? Lu Ning was speechless. Looking at Lu Ning's slightly dazed little face, Lin Xian didn't push it anymore, mainly because the woman was holding the steering wheel in her hand, she was pushing hard, and it was easy for one car to kill two. I'm missing a watch, wait for you to accompany me around, and take me back to school after shopping. Lin Xian leaned back on the chair and said with a light smile. Call. Hearing Lin Xian's words, Lu Ning's originally struggling heart calmed down and took a long breath. But for some reason, Lu Ning felt a sense of loss inexplicably. Original. It was just my own passion. Lu Ning quietly glanced at Lin Xian beside her. White and pure, it looks really good looking. Lu Ning thought for no reason. As for Lin Xian, he suddenly wanted to buy a watch, which was reminded by the big brother Hei Chocho Bullseye this morning. 
The three major accessories for successful men, watches, leather shoes, and belts, among which watches rank first. Moreover, the watch is an item worn daily, and it is most conspicuous when worn on the wrist, which can show a person's wealth and taste to a certain extent. So Lin Xian suddenly wanted to buy a watch, mainly because there was Lu Ning by his side, who could accompany him to stroll around and give some female aesthetic suggestions. But Lin Xian really didn't have much research on watches, so after thinking about it, he took out his cell phone, found out the phone number of the boss of Jiang, and dialed Jiang Ningchuan. It took a long time to answer the call. Hey, youngest, what's the matter? Jiang Ningchuan's voice came through the car stereo, and Lin Xian remembered that his mobile phone's Bluetooth was bound to the car. Lin Xian glanced at Lu Ning. He didn't deliberately unbind the Bluetooth. He just asked something, and there was nothing to avoid. Boss Jiang, I ask you. F asterisk asterisk K, F asterisk asterisk K. This dog like ice girl shoots me so much. Second, you F asterisk asterisk king don't play wild, go down quickly, put your big dun into the ice girl's ass, and F asterisk asterisk K lousy to death. Zhang Ningchuan's roar full of irritability resounded throughout the car. Lin Shen glanced at Lu Ning, and saw that Lu Ning's white and tender face could not help but become a blush at this moment. Ding. Bluetooth deactivated. Lin Qian silently lifted the Bluetooth binding. What a shame F asterisk CK. Hey, youngest, what did you ask just now? About 10 seconds later, Jiang Ningchuan resumed the sage mode and asked Lin Qian again. Boss Jiang, I want to buy a watch, do you have any suggestions? Buy a watch? Jiang Ningchuan was a little surprised, and then asked, I don't have a lot of research on watches, but my friend has a watch, can I give you some suggestions? Do you want to buy a high-end one, or a mid-range entry-level one? High end. Hearing Lin Xian's answer, Zhang Ningchuan was not surprised. From Lin Xian's car, it can be seen that Lin Xian is definitely a wealthy native, and it is normal to want to buy a high end watch. Then do you have any requirements? For example, the value retention rate and the craftsmanship of the movement? Zhang Ningchuan asked again. Lin Xian heard the words, pondered for three seconds, and said silently, It's good to look good. Zhang Ningchuan. Your request. Jiang Ningchuan was a little speechless, the high-end, high-value ones include Audemar Pichuet, Patek Philippe, and Vacheron Constantine. These three models have very high appearance values and are more suitable for young people to wear. If you want to be high-profile. Pack some, I recommend Patek Philippe and Audemar Pichuet. The all-diamond dial will make you blind the eyes of those waves. If you want to be low-key and calm, I recommend Vacheron Constantine. It is very suitable for dressing up with shirts and formal wear. Of course, this is just my suggestion. The specific choice is still up to you. The choice of watches can also be viewed and tried in offline stores, as long as you like them. Zhang Ningchuan gave his own views and suggestions. Okay, then I will figure it out by myself. Lin Xian had some thoughts, and then thanked him, thanks, Boss Jiang. You are polite, please come back quickly, I will show you what a god-level sword master is. Roll. Lin Xian and Zhang Ningchuan talked a bit, and then hung up the phone. Men's dormitory, this is normal. After Lin Qian put down the phone, he smiled at Lu Ning. Lu Ning smiled, understood, in fact, the dormitories for boys and girls are almost the same. Sometimes girls are more open to chatting with boys. Oh? Lin Qian raised his eyebrows, for example? Hearing Lin Qian's rhetorical question, Lu Ning was silent for a moment, and then silently uttered a word, no. Lin Qian, oh. Lu Ning's face was blushing, looking at Lin Xian's slightly awkward expression, she couldn't help but smiled, pursing her lips and chuckles. Looking at Lu Ning's beautiful smile, Lin Xian laughed dumbly. What Zhang Wuji said his mother was right, the more beautiful the girl, the more deceitful she was. You think that a girl who looks innocent and beautiful is just a piece of white paper, and she can get people to bed with random routines. In fact, people are not acting with you. If you don't want to, you won't be drunk if you step on three boxes. Brother, I just pour a glass. It's a routine, you greedy her body, and she greedy your body too. At the same time, Lin Xian searched nearby luxury watch stores and found that the nearest luxury watch store was Vacheron Constantine in SKP, CY area. After calling up the navigation route, Lin Xian asked Lu Ning to drive towards SKP. Yanjing SKP, positioned as high-end luxury and popular fashion, is one of the world's most iconic fashion luxury department stores. There are many international brand flagship stores, boutiques, and concept stores here. As a veteran high-end luxury department store, even if SKP has been in business for eight years, the luxury of decoration does not appear to be low-end at all. 
Each floor has a ceiling height of 5 meters, and the entire SKP is almost an international flagship luxury store. The top international brands such as Hermes, Chanel, LV, Dior, Gucci, and Prada are all exclusive double layers. A female salesperson in a black suit and white gloves stands quietly in front of the brand's flagship store. Taking Lu Ning into SKP, with the experience of purchasing at Jinbao Street yesterday, Lin Qian looked quite calm when facing these female sales eager eyes. Looking at Lu Ning, who was a step behind him, Lin Qian suddenly stopped. Facing Lin Qian's attention, Lu Ning was a little dazed, looked down at her body, and touched her face, what's wrong? You wore the uniform of China Merchants Bank to accompany me shopping, which is somewhat nondescript. Lin Qian squeezed his chin and said. The hip skirt of this China Merchants Bank is good looking. It is especially attractive to wrap Lu Ning's round buttocks, but it is indeed a bit inappropriate to wear this body for shopping in SKP. Then. Then, should I wait outside for you, President Lin? Lu Ning Blu was a little aggrieved, is he disgusted? Lin Shen looked around with his hips akimbo and saw that there happened to be a Chanel flagship store next to him. Then his eyes lit up, come with me. Lu Ning didn't know what Lin Xian was thinking, and obediently followed Lin Xian into this Chanel flagship store. Soft carpets, luxurious and bright crystal chandeliers. Under the spotlight, the extremely luxurious and beautiful bags are quietly placed on the showcase. As an ordinary person, Lu Ning is eager to take root in Yanjing. She has never entered such a luxury flagship store. She didn't have the courage to come in, nor did she dare to come in. Because she was afraid that she could not resist the temptation here, she couldn't help impulsive consumption. Which woman doesn't like beautiful bags and clothes, Lu Ning is no exception. Looking at the exhibits on the showcase, there is a sense of desire in the depths of his eyes. Lin Xian did not notice the emotions in Lu Ning's eyes. He entered the Chanel flagship store, and Dama Jindao sat on the central sofa, and then beckoned to the young female salesman, give her a matching outfit. Looking at Lin Xian, who looks like a pair of rich and young people, the female salesmen in the store are all people with vicious eyes. Just sweeping their eyes around Lin Xian, I can see that Lin Xian's set is full of top luxury. The brand's new season, and they are not the cheap general version. Okay, wait a minute. The female salesperson who first greeted Lin Xian and Lin Xian bowed slightly, and then greeted Lu Ning with a smile on her face. Seeing this, Lu Ning was a little at a loss, while Lin Xian waved his hand casually, hurry up with her to change clothes. You don't need to pay for it. After buying the clothes, accompany me to buy a watch. Hurry up. Seeing Lin Xian's tone a little impatient, Lu Ning didn't say much, and obediently followed the women's sales to the women's clothing section and selected them. Lin Xian sitting on the sofa, other female salesmen serve tea and water, and the service is meticulous. What is purchasing power, what is just for shopping, their vision has always been more accurate. Although they will greet any customer with a smile, the level of service is definitely different. When Lu Ning went to change clothes, Lin Qian was playing with the China Merchants Bank app on his mobile phone, looking at the exclusive exclusive page that he had upgraded to a super high-end private business, and looking at the dazzling rights and interests on it, Lin Qian was bored. Looking around. For about 10 minutes, there was a sharp sound of high heels hitting the marble floor from far to near. Hearing the sound, Lin Qian put down the phone. The first thing that came into Lin Qian's line of sight was a pair of straight and slender legs, stepped on a pair of suede black high-heeled shoes made of suede. Behind it is the double C crystal pattern marked with Chanel. A pair of beautiful legs are tightly stitched, and further up is a black sling dress with a slender sling loop around the neck, and then from top to bottom to 4 centimeters above the calf knee. The outline of Luning's slender waist and the big cuteness is undoubtedly, and the back of the dress is designed with a backless design, revealing about one third of the high shoulders. At this time, Luning's long hair that had been curled up had already been put down, and her long hair, which was as dark as a waterfall, was naturally scattered on her beautiful white back. Such a costume was something Lu Ning had never experienced before. Facing Lin Qian's scorching eyes, Lu Ning was a little shy, and her nervous hands sometimes narrowed the hair around her ears. Swipe your card. Lin Qian didn't say much, but calmly took out the ultra-high-end private bank card of China Merchants Bank that Wang Dixing had just replaced for him from his pocket. Sir, this lady wears our high-end ready-to-wear series, so in terms of the price. The female salesperson who helped Lu Ning choose to change clothes, when facing Lin Qian, half heavy wanted to tell Lin Qian the price, but Lin Qian interrupted before she could finish. Swipe your card, I'm in a hurry. Lin Qian said lightly. Upon hearing this, the female salesman suddenly knew that she was really rich today. For them, they don't care about the price. Please wait. The female salesperson took the card handed over by Lin Qian with respectful hands, and then quickly processed the payment for Lin Qian, and handed back a few handbags to Lu Ning, 
which contained her China merchant's bank uniform and the original high heels. At the same time, they also presented Lu Ning with a set of Chanel cosmetics, and finally the free female sales in the shop, Chi Chi sent Lin Qian away. Lin Qian glanced at the receipt when he received the card and handed it back to him. A dress, a pair of high heels, a total of 136,969 Chinese dollars. Among them, high-heeled shoes are 26,969 Chinese dollars, and the dress is 110,000 Chinese dollars. Lin Qian doesn't know what high-end ready-to-wear women sell. With his current net worth, he can hardly cause any internal disturbances for consumption of less than 1 million. Walking out of the Chanel flagship store, the tall and beautiful Lu Ning instantly became the focus of passers-by. Many men's eyeballs are eager to grow on Lu Ning's body. Even if the jealous female companions around him pinch and pinch, they can't stop their desire to see beautiful women. Very beautiful. Lin Qian complimented him sincerely. Lu Ning was a little shy and narrowed the broken hair in her ear, it's too expensive. Just treat it as a reward for you to accompany me shopping and buying a watch, and there is a big beauty by my side, so that it can satisfy my little vanity, which is very cost-effective. Lin Qian said with a chuckle. Lu Ning looked at Lin Qian's gentle smile, and Lu Ning's heart throbbed for no apparent reason. If you can become his woman, you should be very happy. Lu Ning was a little stunned for her thoughts. When she came back to her senses, she found Lin Qian was staring at the high heels under her feet. She couldn't help but smiled a little wittily, I can bear 12 centimeters the most. Yo! Lin Qian seemed to be looking at the shoes, but in fact he was looking at the feet. These days, being a protagonist is really difficult. Just being handsome can no longer satisfy the basic sense of substitution of reader's fathers. Seeing Lin Xian not answering, and then looking at Lin Xian's increasingly weird expression, Lu Ning was dumbfounded, recalling what he had just said, suddenly his face flushed. I? I'm talking about high heels, where did you want to go? This time Lu Ning was really embarrassed to find the ground and got in, and Lin Xian was also blushing. Ahem. Next topic, buy a watch and buy a watch. The first floor of SKP is full of top international brands, and all major famous watches also have showcases in flagship stores here. Longins, Rolex, Omega, IWC, etc. Lin Shan led Lu Ning around in the flagship stores of major brands. In Omega's flagship store, he also saw the watch worn by the Big Brother Black Autumn and Autumn Bullseye this morning. It's only 70,000. So cheap. After Lin Shan inquired about the price, he touched his nose and muttered in a low voice. When Lu Ning next to him heard Lin Xian's words, she couldn't help being a little speechless. 70,000 yuan for a watch is already very embarrassing for ordinary people. However, thinking of the wealth of the man next to him, Lu Ning immediately understood that the ranks between each other are really a bit big. After coming out of the Omega flagship store, Lin Xian did not wander around, but went straight to Vacheron Constantine according to the guide. As for Patek Philippe and Odomar Pichuay, he did not see Lin Xian in SKP. Compared with other flagship stores of famous watches, Vacheron Constantine's flagship store is undoubtedly more luxurious. The decoration style combines modernity, simplicity, and elegance. The store uses elegant and soft decorative tones, and the style is elegant. The sales and display areas are scattered with glass showcases with simple and clean lines. The watches are displayed in them, like pieces of exquisite art. Taste There are very few sales staff in the flagship store, only a few people. Hello, sir, madam, do you need me to introduce you to all kinds of Vacheron Constantine watches? A girl who looked about the same size as Lu Ning, with a smile on her face, asked Lin Qian and Lu Ning in a soft voice. Need. Lin Qian answered calmly. The female salesman heard the words, her eyes lightened slightly. As a top-level watch, people who are curious often walk in, but most of them have no purchasing power. Therefore, when the sales take the initiative to ask questions, most people wave their hands timidly and then take a quick stroll. Just go out. Only those who really have the intention or plan will need to sell indifferently. Sir, madam, who is going to buy the watch? I. Okay sir, then I can ask, what is your budget? The price of our Vacheron Constantine watches ranges from 100,000 yuan to 1 million yuan. Knowing your budget allows me to better serve you. No budget, as long as I like it. Lin Shan responded indifferently, making the sales girl a little dazed, but soon her eyes turned a little hot when she looked at Lin Shan. Is it possible that the legendary father of the king is finally willing to take care of me once? Is this one of the legendary top-notch women in the Beijing sales circle? Zhang Meng shot the deer randomly in her heart. Mr. Madam, we have a VIP lounge on the second floor. Let's move to the lounge so that you can choose your favorite watch more comfortably. Good. 
Lin Chen didn't refuse, why should he stand when he can sit, why should he sit when he can lie down, and why he should move by himself when he can be moved by others. In this way, Lin Chen took Lu Ning and followed Zhang Meng to the VIP lounge on the second floor. Sir, do you have any requirements for the table selection? Succinct and generous, Loki, don't be too ostentatious, and don't dive watches. After Lin Chien said a few conditions, he finally added, the most important thing is to look good. No way, Lin Chien is such a superficial face control. Cars like beautiful ones, watches like beautiful ones, and sister paper also likes beautiful ones. For a good man, Lin Chien felt that he was talking about himself. The hedging rate and movement craftsmanship. Zhang Meng asked carefully. The value retention rate doesn't matter. I don't plan to sell it anyway. Don't make the movement too heavy and tiring. Lin Qian answered casually. Understood, wait a moment, I will fetch the watch for you. Zhang Meng bowed respectfully to Lin Qian, then quickly left the VIP area and went downstairs to select a watch for Lin Qian. In the VIP room, when Lin Qian was talking with Zhang Meng just now, Lu Ning was flipping through Vacheron Constantine's catalog. At this moment, he was staring at the page of a lady's watch with a barrel-shaped case, pink. The crocodile belt and the pink gold case complement each other. The price is 157,000 which seems to be the cheapest watch Lin Xian has ever seen here. Like it? Lin Xian suddenly spoke. Lin Xian's voice made Lu Ning regain her consciousness. Faced with Lin Xian's question, she hesitated and nodded honestly. Take things out of my account for you, and this cousin will send you to you. Lin Xian said with a smile. How old are you, so embarrassed to say that you are brother? Lu Ning murmured in a weak voice, along the way, the two gradually became more familiar with each other, and she dared to be a little bolder. 20 ah. Lin Qian answered broadly. 20? There was a doubt in Lu Ning's big eyes, aren't you just going to college? Shouldn't you be 18? Oh, you originally asked about age. Lin Qian responded with a smile but a smile. Then what do you think I asked just now? Lu Ning asked subconsciously. Lin Qian smiled without saying a word, and Lu Ning looked at the smirk at the corner of Lin Qian's mouth and suddenly understood what Lin Qian was talking about 20, and then his face flushed. Little pervert. Lu Ning couldn't help but murmured. It is clear that Lin Qian is only 18 years old, and she is 23 years old this year, but along the way, she has not been molested by Lin Qian, but... But it didn't make Lu Ning disgusted. Is this the power of the double prejudice of beauty and money? Lu Ning's thoughts couldn't help but diverge again. At this time, Zhang Meng, the female salesperson who had just left, returned quickly, with two more female salespersons behind him, each holding a few watches in his hand. Sir, these watches are the 43175 Heritage Series, the Heritage Series Moon Phase Calendar Limited Watch, and the Historical Masterpiece Series Bullhorn 1955. The prices of these watches are all around 500,000 yuan. After quickly introducing the models of these watches, Zhang Meng finally said the prices, and at the same time carefully looked at Lin Qian to see if Lin Qian had any reaction. However, Lin Qian didn't react at all. He didn't even blink his eyelids, as if Zhang Meng just said it was 50 yuan. Lin Qian's gaze quickly flicked across several watches, and finally stopped on the 43175 watch that Zhang Meng first introduced. Take me a look. Lin Qian pointed to this watch and said. Upon hearing this, Zhang Meng was about to pick up the watch and took the initiative to try it on for Lin Qian. The sleek basin-shaped case, the arch dial and the sapphire crystal form the entire watch. The hands on the dial are slender and the design is avant-garde and modern. The overall look is subtle and elegant. People never get bored, and the more they look, the happier they become. Sir, this watch is the latest watch in the Patrimony Heritage series. It has four subdials on the dial, with month display, calendar display, moon phase and leap year display, 36 jewels inlaid in the movement, and power reserve. Up to 40 hours. Zhang Meng tried on the watch for Lin Qian while introducing this watch to Lin Qian at the same time. It's a bit loose. A little tighter, I like a tighter one. Lin Qian said casually. Hearing this, Zhang Meng responded repeatedly, and immediately helped Lin Qian wear the watch again. But Lu Ning next to her had a slightly lame eyebrow. Why do you think this is a bit wrong? But what's wrong, I can't tell. It's not right anyway. The dark brown Mississippi alligator leather strap buckled on Lin Qian's wrist, very tight, light and comfortable. Lin Qian's skin is very white, and when paired with this watch, it can be said to complement each other, making his original gentle temperament more prominent. Does it look good? Lin Qian casually asked Lu Ning beside him. It looks good, it suits you well. 
Lu Ning's heartfelt response was not flattery, it was indeed very good looking, and it matched Lin Qian very well. Lin Qian was also satisfied. The white ivory dial looked pleasing to the eye. Just looking made Lin Qian feel good. How much? Lin Qian raised his eyes and asked. Sir, this Heritage Series 43175 sells for 600,000 yuan. Zhang Meng's heart is beating a bit. This watch is definitely the top watch in the showcase of their flagship store. She has been working here for almost four months in terms of craftsmanship and price. I have never seen anyone buy this watch. Swipe your card. Lin Qian took out the card casually and said lightly, without any hesitation or reluctance in his words. Zhang Meng's eyes widened suddenly, and with a little trembling hands, he took the bank card handed by Lin Qian, and he was so excited that he couldn't speak. Sir, wait a minute. Zhang Meng took the bank card and quickly walked downstairs. After getting the pose machine, he returned to the second floor. After Lin Qian had entered the password, he directly transferred 600,000 yuan from the bank card. Taking the bank card back again, Lin Qian frowned slightly and said, Lu Ning, does China Merchants Bank offer a small amount payment-free service? It is very troublesome to swipe the card with a password. Yes, it's just that the secret free payment limit of our bank savings card is very low. If Mr. Lin you want to pay a large amount without secret, I suggest that you can apply for a Centurion Black Gold credit card of our bank, with a high limit and benefits. Many, so that your shopping will be much more convenient. Lu Ning responded quickly. Oh, then you can get one for me tomorrow. Lin Qian answered casually. Mr. Lin, the Centurion Black Gold credit card is our bank's highest-end credit card, with an annual fee of 38,880. However, due to your status, I will help you apply for the waiver of the annual fee as much as possible. Good. Lin Xian and Lu Ning were chatting with each other, while Zhang Meng next to him had been squatting by Lin Xian's side, preparing watch boxes and other things for Lin Xian. The conversation between the two gradually made the two people understand each other's identities, which made Zhang Meng's heart alive. After putting the watch box and warranty card into Basharan Constantine's bag, she handed the bag to Lin Qian with a sweet smile, and then took out a business card from her chest pocket. Sir, this is my business card. You can add me to WeChat later. If you have any needs or questions about the watch in the future, you can contact me at any time. The delicate Zhang Meng, when handing Lin Qian's business card, Lin Qian suddenly felt itchy in his palms. It was naturally Zhang Meng who caused the card. When she handed the business card, her finger gently scratched Lin Qian's palm. Zhang Meng's small movements did not hide Lu Ning's eyes. Looking at Zhang Meng who looked like a fox Maisie, Lu Ning was blocked for no reason, but she could only look at the other party's upright teasing Lin Qian. Sure enough, there are rich people, there are beautiful women everywhere they go. Lu Ning sighed softly in his heart, then turned his head, as if he hadn't noticed all this. Lin Qian didn't respond to Zhang Meng's little hint. This female salesperson does look good, but compared to Lu Ning who was next to Lin Qian, there is undoubtedly a big gap. After buying the watch, Lin Qian and Lu Ning left SKP. Lu Ning drove Lin Qian back to China University of Music and parked the car in the school's parking lot. The evening breeze made Lu Ning's skirt rippling slightly. You are ready to go to Anxiang with me this weekend. Before leaving, Lin Qian ordered Lu Ning. Go to Anxiang? Lu Ning was a little surprised when she heard this. I plan to enclose a plot of land in Anxiang. After my entertainment media company is opened, I plan to build a large training base. The land in Yanjing is too expensive to buy. Anxiang is close to Yanjing, and the land price is cheap. Lin Qian casually said nonsense. It is naturally impossible for him to tell Lu Ning that in two years, the entire Anxiang will be listed as a new area by the government, which is another new area of national significance after the Pengcheng Special Economic Zone and the Zhanghai PDX area. Although the Anxiang New District had just been developed before Lin Qian was reborn, it is still unclear what the future situation will be. But now that you buy a plot of land and circle it, you will definitely not lose. This investment must be as fast as possible, otherwise it will be difficult for Lin Qian to buy land again after waiting a few months for the will of the country to be communicated to the place. If Lin Qian didn't see such an opportunity, he would be born again in vain. Lu Ning seemed to understand something, but as Lin Qian's exclusive financial management secretary, any orders from Lin Qian were her job, so all she needed was obedience. Okay, I will prepare it in advance. Lu Ning immediately responded. Okay, you can take a taxi home, and Wang Dishing will reimburse you for the taxi money tomorrow. Lin Qian put his hands in his pockets and said with a smile. Lu Ning smiled, did not say anything, waved with Lin Qian, and then they parted. Walking on the campus in a top-quality Chanel suit, the little boys from the past were sneaking at Lu Ning, 
while the little girl looked at her with envy. Campus and Lin Xian, why don't the two match so well? Lin Xian tonight is calm and calm when facing Wang Dishing, some is frivolous and cynical when facing her, and some is domineering when facing sales staff. Hundreds of thousands of clothes, hundreds of thousands of watches. Life tonight is an experience Lu Ning has never had in 23 years of living. Hey! With a faint sigh, Lu Ning left countless boys and girls with a graceful and infinite fantasy back, and then gradually walked out of the campus and disappeared into the vast crowd. Back to dorm. It was past 10 o'clock, and Lin Chen knew that these three sons must have lost the whole night in a row, looking at the three people with their faces full of love. I passed by Niujiao village when I came back and brought you some croissants. Lin Xian put the lunchbox in his left hand on Malu's table. Youngest, I love you, I will pick up soap together later. Go away, disgusting. Lin Xian cursed with a smile. The dormitory became alive again, Zhang Ningchuan got up from the chair and came to Lin Xian's side, did you buy the watch? Bought it. Lin Xian raised his wrist. Vacheron Constantine? Zhang Ningchuan knew Vacheron Constantine's watches, but he was limited to this. He who doesn't play watches and doesn't know much about the watches, he asked curiously, how much? 600,000. Lin Xian answered casually. Cough cough cough. Just after Lin Xian had finished talking about the price, Xin Ming, who was chewing on the croissant behind him, coughed violently and drank a few sips of water before he barely calmed down. How much? 60. Lin Xian is weak and weak. Xin Ming and Ma Lu looked at each other, their brains buzzing, and even the expensive Jiang Ningchuan couldn't help but secretly smack. A long time. Xin Ming suddenly sighed, faintly said, youngest, if you are especially gay. Lin Xian? The next day, early morning. Public ladder classrooms in the teaching building. Yao Yao, do you have breakfast? I just bought you a breakfast specially. Milk, soy milk, and big meat buns are all available. Eat some. As soon as Jiang Yao Yao sat down with a small pink school bag, he saw a whistle in front of him, and a black chocho bullite boy sat down beside Jiang Yao Yao, carrying a delicate bag in his hand. Lunch box. Jiang Yao Yao did not speak, but stared at where Zhang Bingyu was sitting. Zhang Bingyu's smile solidified on his face. About five seconds later, his expression was a little bit resentful, and he reluctantly moved his buttocks to free up the place beside Jiang Yao Yao. Seeing Zhang Bingyu leave, Zhang Yao Yao's face showed a touch of satisfaction. Thank you, but I ate it in the morning, so you can eat it. Although she didn't catch a cold with the suitor, she still had the politeness that she should have. After thanking her, she pushed the lunchbox placed in front of her back in front of Zhang Bingyu. The breakfast I sent by Zhang Bingyu, is there any reason to take it back again, you can either take it and eat it, or you can throw it away. Upon seeing this, Zhang Bingyu thought about his roommate's knowledge of popularizing his sisters last night. He felt that he had to be tougher at this time and showed his masculinity, so he pushed the lunchbox back again. When Jiang Yao Yao heard the words, a word of silence flashed in those big grape eyes. Hey, Lin Xian is here. Just when Jiang Yao Yao was about to say something, Li Xiaoxiao, who was sitting next to Jiang Yao Yao, gently slapped her with an elbow and reminded in a low voice. When Jiang Yao Yao heard the words, his big eyes lit up, and he subconsciously got up from the chair and waved to Lin Xian. Lin Xian today wears very casual clothes. Flip-flops, shorts and short sleeves, a white LV show style backpack on the back, dark circles are slightly heavy. And Ma Lu next to Lin Xian also looked a little sluggish in spirit. Well, I will let Boss Jian play ADC in the future. I'm a dog, damn it. There will be no one losing 10 games in 10 games in a row. Lin Xian put his hands in his pockets, and while walking towards Jiang Yao Yao, he whispered towards Ma Lu in his mouth. That's Lin Xian, he is the one who drove the white Bentley Continental on the day of school. If you have money and beauty, you have a lot of money and billions. If you don't pretend to be secretly forced, my old lady wants to sleep with him. Would you like to start, but it seems to be in charge, like the one named Zhang Yao Yao. Fart, that little fairy is at best a licking dog, that is, sister has no chance, otherwise it must be better than her licking, I promise Lin Qian will lick it comfortably. Listening to the whispers behind him, Zhang Yao Yao pursed her mouth slightly. Really? The big pig's hoof I was finally attracted by Sa Lang Jian. At the same time that there was a sense of crisis in his heart, Zhang Yao Yao's heart flashed with fortune. Fortunately, this girl listened to the senior sister's experience, and she started firmly and firmly, and seized the opportunity. Lin Xian must be mine. Zhang Yao Yao Xiao Fen clenched her fists, shouting in her heart. Soon, Lin Xian and Ma Lu came to Zhang Yao Yao and Li Xiaoxiao's side, they still sat down according to yesterday's sitting method. Lin Xian, have you eaten this morning? No, I got up late, I didn't have time. 
Hey, I have milk, soy milk, baked meat buns and handcakes here, which one would you like to eat? Zhang Yaoyao seemed to be offering treasures, pushing the exquisite lunchbox in front of him to Lin Qian, with a shallow pear vortex on his sweet face, which looked extremely pure and pleasant. Gee! Another day of wandering. Lin Qian was a little dazed by Zhang Yaoyao's bright smile. In fact, Lin Qian's willpower for beauty is still very high. It can only be said that men are more angry at this time in the morning. Milk and big meat buns, these two go well together. Lin Qian grabbed the milk with his left hand and the big meat bun with his right. He was not polite with Jiang Yao Yao, so he sucked left and right and started to eat. Call. 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 Just as Lin Qian was eating Jing Xiang, he suddenly heard a heavy gasp from the side. Lin Qian looked up in surprise and found that he was sitting next to the big brother Hei Chiu Chiu's bull's eye. He was staring at Lin Qian with his bull's eyes, his eyes seemed to be killing people. Brother, what's the matter? Would you like to take a bite? Lin Qian was a little confused, if I ask you, you are welcome, or I can't finish eating so much. Puff. Zhang Bingyu felt only 10,000 points of critical damage. And it's the kind that even if the reader's father gives artificial respiration, it can't be saved. If it was said yesterday that his girlfriend took the 520 cent by him to find another man to open the room, then today he opened the room in person and watched his girlfriend and other men roll the sheets. F asterisk asterisk K. So cruel. Zhang Yaoyao looked at Zhang Bingyu's face a little purplish, and muttered in his heart, I'm really full. You bought so much. Wouldn't it be a waste not to eat? It's wrong to waste food. Tolerate. Hold back. Zhang Bingyu put a seal on the anger that was about to burst out in his heart, and he decided that he would use his hard power to make Lin Qian know the man to retreat. Snapped. Zhang Bingyu suddenly took out a brand new Mercedes-Benz key from his pocket and patted it on the table. Brother, what do you think of my key chain? Can you see it? Zhang Bingyu asked proudly. Looking at the key Zhang Bingyu slapped on the table, Lin Qian blinked, put down the milk in his left hand, then slapped his left hand on the table, exposing the dangling Vacheron Constantine in his left hand, and then said lightly, Brother, look at me don't your hands be blank? Show off your wealth with whom? I'm so low-key, I didn't even ask for the 8 for the license plate, so I actually came to bully me? Lin Xian fought with a groan in his heart. Zhang Bingyu looked at the watch in Lin Xian's hand, completely stunned. F asterisk asterisk K. Damn it! This is the 43175 of the Vacheron Constantin Heritage Series? The watch that sells for 600,000 yuan? Zhang Bingyu is a person who knows the goods. He really likes watches, so he recognized this top model of Vacheron Constantine at a glance. A watch is more expensive than his car. Zhang Bingyu was sluggish for a long time, and suddenly a tragic smile appeared on his face. He realized. It turned out that even though I was very handsome, I still couldn't resist the charm of money. Oh, woman! Looking at the big brother Hei Chiu Chiu Bullseye who seemed to have been hit, Lin Chen felt that he needed to comfort him, so he picked up a big meat bun and handed it to Zhang Bingyu's eyes and said, Brother, don't you have a big meat bun? It's big and soft, and it's super delicious. Ha! Huh? Zhang Bingyu's aura has changed a bit, turned his head heavily, and squatted directly on the desk, pretending to be dead. He meditated on the stable aura in a frantic mood. He was really afraid that he could not help but shake his fist. Lin Xian was made inexplicably by Zhang Bingyu, and he couldn't get better. Only Jiang Yaoyao and Li Xiaoxiao next to them knew what was going on. These two Nizis had already laughed at this time. What's his situation? Lin Xian asked with some wonder. Possible. It's not very comfortable. Jiang Yaoyao really didn't know how to say it, so he casually said the most commonly used excuse in his daughter's family. Lin Xian. God is so uncomfortable. In the morning, there are two classes of English and foreign music history and music appreciation, and there is only one physical education class in the afternoon. The sunshine in September is like a woman's temper, sometimes gentle like water, sometimes bursting with anger. Unfortunately. Today Lin Qian and the others caught up with the day when sister's son burst into rage. There is no cloud in the sky, and the sun seems to be able to roast people. Originally, Lin Qian was quite interested, but after playing basketball for 10 minutes, he seemed to be hollowed out, and he retired directly to rest under a shady, green tree. Don't care whether the top of the head is green or not, it's really cool. As soon as Lin Qian left the field, a group of young girls from Inying and Yin Yan soon surrounded him, and there were people who gave Lin Qian water and fruit. What nutrition fast line, peach? Gee? Uncle police, I suspect that these women are seducing me, but I have no evidence. 
It wasn't until Jiang Yaoyao stuck her waistline, glaring at the group of Sa Lang Jin, and forced the 162 height out of 172 Zora, before he drove away the Sa Lang Jin who was around Lin Qian. Lin Qian, drink my freshly squeezed banana milk juice. I just bought it from the cafeteria. It is nutritious and healthy, with ice in it. Jiang Yaoyao wore a cute ball head, and wore an oversized women's jersey very playfully. It matched the jersey on Lin Qian's body very well. I didn't know that they thought they were wearing couple clothes. Lin Qian took the banana milk juice from Jiang Yaoyao and took a sip through a straw. Well, this milk juice is really delicious. Lin Qian flattened his mouth and praised truthfully. Drink it well, I'll buy it for you every day after it's delicious. When Lin Qian liked it, Jiang Yaoyao smiled. And Ma Lu, who was next to Lin Qian, was not so well treated. He could only silently pick up the nutrition express next to him and drank two sips. Then, under the murderous eyes of some girls, he took a bite of their peaches. Did you practice the piano in the Qin Fine building yesterday? As the piano room of China's top music academy, isn't it very nice? Riding in the shade of the trees, Lin Qian casually asked the three friends around him. It's very nice indeed. Li Xiaoxiao answered, and a touch of depression appeared on his face, but I can't get the piano room at all. The seniors and seniors of our school are so good, some can be in. Playing in the piano room from morning to night, and even if they leave, they will give their piano room to someone they know. We Munshin want to grab the piano room, it's just a dream. And this is not the most annoying, the most annoying is those foreign students. Hearing Li Xiaoxiao's complaint, Zhang Yaoyao couldn't help but began to complain, the school has allocated 40 piano rooms for those foreign students. For their use only. However, the group of people who have poor piano skills can't tell. They don't use the piano room very much at all. Some people even hook up girls with the right to use the piano room and make blatant transactions. My classmates in the bedroom next door, yesterday I ran into a black student studying abroad, and the other party actually thought. When I heard about it, Xiao Xiao and I were really going to get sick and throw up. Zhang Yaoyao didn't continue speaking, but Lin Qian couldn't understand what happened. I just want to take this opportunity to happen. Who manages the school piano room? Lin Qian raised an eyebrow and asked. The Musical Instrument Management Center, the 40 piano rooms specially allocated to international students, was also their idea. There was a dog's tail grass in Malu's mouth, and his tone was also a bit bad. As a music student, there is no piano room to practice, which is simply unbearable for them. If everyone robbed it together and competed fairly, it wouldn't matter if they couldn't grab it. There might be 40 piano rooms available, but they could only look at it. How could this not make people angry? Hearing this, Lin Xian slowly got up from the bench and patted the ashes on his buttocks. Go, go to the Musical Instrument Management Center. Youngest, what are you going to do? Theory theory with them. Ma Lu, Jiang Yaoyao, and Li Xiaoxiao looked at each other, and immediately reacted. Lin Xian is going to meet the Music Management Center who is just facing him. Ma Lu, go and call our classmates. If you can pull a person, you can pull a person. There are so many people that are powerful. Zhang Yaoyao instructed Malu, and then hurriedly ran towards Lin Qian. Soon, the entire class one of the 2015 piano department knew what Lin Qian was going to do. Many people ran away after hearing the news, chasing Lin Qian's direction, and some people curled their lips with disdain. After cursing innocent secretly, he ignored him. On the basketball court, after hearing this, Zhang Bingyu, who was sweating like rain, showed a tangled face on his face. Finally, he smashed the ball in his hand to the ground. What's so special, labor and management are not because of that dog like Lin Xian, labor and management are for my Yao Yao, and simply can't understand the group of foreign hairy brave and majestic. Brothers, let's follow too. Zhang Bingyu raised his arms, and the people in his dormitory who followed him to play, followed him and ran towards Lin Xian. Outside the music management center, Wang Chengshan was a little scared looking at the crowded students outside the window. What are you doing? You freshmen are going to rebel? The purpose of dividing the piano room for foreign students is to show the mind and spirit of our big country and to promote friendly exchanges between China and foreign countries. What do you students know? Wang Chengshan scowled and scolded loudly. Then he looked at Lin Qian, that's the thing you stabbed up with, right? Get your classmates away quickly, otherwise I will ask the teacher in the teaching office to come over and give you punishment. Director Wang, some people kneel for a long time, and their knees will become softer and softer until one day he can't stand up anymore. I don't care about the old students. But I, Lin Qian, and my friends and classmates of Lin Qian, will never accept such an unequal system. The piano room is open and fair competition is acceptable to everyone, 
but if someone can enjoy the privileges, we will never accept it. You don't have to frighten me. Lin Qian will order these 40 piano rooms today. Teacher Wang asks you to prepare the keys. I will get them later. Lin Qian faintly swiped a word, then turned away without hesitation. Wang Chengshan stared at Lin Qian's back in a daze. He didn't react until Lin Qian walked out of his office. He? He was actually stunned by a little boy? And also being threatened? Not only Wang Chengshan, but Lin Qian's classmate lying on the bedside was also stunned by Lin Qian's words. Sister, are you wet? It's kind of. Too handsome, too manly, too cool. So masculine, I dare to be so rigid with Wang Chengshan, even if he has no money and is not handsome, I love it too. Zhang Yaoyao looked at Lin Qian's back, her complexion crimson. Thump. Thump thump thump. She could feel her little heart beating faster and faster, the sound in her ears seemed to disappear, and only Lin Qian was in her eyes. If before this, she was a little confused whether she really liked Lin Qian, but at this moment she can say with certainty. She likes. Tatoda. Walking in the corridor of the complex, Lin Qian did not rush in his footsteps. What happened to Jiang Yao Yao and others yesterday, Lin Qian also encountered in his previous life. A certain group, who is clearly incapable of strength, quality, and grades, is above the Chinese students. Why? After Lin Qian and his former dormitory brother drank, they scolded more than once. However, Lin Qian in the previous life had no money and power. After scolding him, he could only endure who would make people friends and who would make people golden. But in this life, Lin Qian did not intend to get used to it. Hey! You can only try Xiao Ma and the others with their talents. Standing in front of the dean's office, Lin Qian sorted out his clothes, then reached out and knocked on the door. Please come in. Soon, a deep voice came from inside. After getting permission, Lin Qian opened the door and walked directly into the dean's office. Qin Wenhua, dean of China Conservatory of Music, is nearly 60 years old, with white temples, and has been engaged in music education all his life. Looking at Lin Qian as he opened the door, Qin Wenhua, who was working with glasses, flashed a suspicion in his eyes. He originally thought he was a faculty member of the school, but when he looked like this, he looked like a student? Hello, Dean, I am Lin Qian, a student of the 2015 Piano Department Piano Major. Lin Qian stood in front of Qin Wenhua and introduced himself politely. Student Lin, what do you want? It's nothing, but the students feel that the facilities in the piano building are a bit rudimentary. There is no air conditioning. The summer is hot and the winter is cold. I also heard that the school recently plans to rebuild the auditorium. Since the alma mater is my home, the construction depends on everyone's original intention. Myself, I would like to donate 10 million Chinese currency to the school for the construction of the campus. Lin Xian said concisely, and opened the door to let go of the dad's big tricks. After speaking, Lin Xian took a step forward and placed the check that had just been written outside the door directly in front of Qin Wenhua. Qin Wenhua. This. This is pretty bald. Originally, he was still worrying about the money shortage for rebuilding the auditorium, but the next second, Lin Xian came from the sky and directly slapped a check for 10 million on his desk. There will be such a good thing? Isn't this kid taking the old man to F asterisk asterisk Kami? Faced with Qin Wenhua's suspicious eyes, Lin Xian spread his hands and said, Dean, this is a check from China Merchants Bank. You can call China Merchants Bank to inquire. Let's play with fake checks, not to mention it's illegal to write fake checks, and I'm not insane. Hearing Lin Xian's words, Qin Wenhua believed it temporarily, mainly because he noticed the watch in Lin Xian's hand. Vacheron Constantine's Heritage Series, it seems that every piece is very valuable. Thinking of this, Qin Wenhua's face suddenly showed a flowery smile. Student Xiao Lin, you want to donate to the school, do your parents know? Qin Wenhua asked gently. My money is at my disposal, and my parents won't bother, let alone if they know that I donated the money to my alma mater, they will definitely support me. Lin Qian said confidently. At this moment, he felt that his body must be shining, and it was still the kind with flashing special effects. Qin Wenhua smiled even more when he heard the words. He stood up directly from the chair, leaned forward slightly, and patted Lin Qian on the shoulder, good boy, I can be so enlightened just after entering school, I am very pleased. The Dean. Hey, what is the Dean's name? Uncle? How much is the Dean? A touch of dissatisfaction appeared on Qin Wenhua's face, correcting Lin Qian's title. Lin Qian. It's worthy of being the strongest combat skills of Dad Ma, how strong it is. Uncle Qin. Lin Qian's face was thick enough, Qin Wenhua opened his mouth, and Lin Qian directly climbed up. 
If it wasn't for Qin Wen's age, he actually wanted to be a godfather. Lin Qian, rest assured, your donation will be used by the school in an absolutely open and transparent manner. I will personally supervise the work. After the rebuilding of the auditorium is completed, let's call the Grand Auditorium Number、no. One Lin Qian Auditorium. Then I will erect a monument for you at the entrance of the auditorium, and then there will be a whole school meeting. Qin Wen was words arising, but Lin Qian's side feels more and more wrong. This is so. Why does it feel like you are going to give it away? Don't, don't, don't. Lin Qian stopped Qin Wen was thinking divergence in time and hurriedly said, "Uncle Qin, let's keep a low profile on this matter of my donation. Just forget about naming, setting up a monument, and holding a meeting. I am a relatively low-key person. I just want to do something for the school. No need." Qin Wen Wu looked regretful. Then how about I hang your entire big picture on the wall of the auditorium? Big picture? The black and white one? Don't, don't use anything. Keep a low profile. Just keep a low profile. Lin Qian is really scared. This damn sense of ceremony, Dean Qin. Bah! Why is my uncle Qin so passionate? Okay then. What else do you have? Qin Wen was slapped his lips and suddenly asked back. Lin Qian was stunned. Damn it, old fox. Forehead. If there is something, there is really one thing. Lin Qian said truthfully. Tell me. Qin Wen was sat down again, then pointed to the chair in front of the table and motioned Lin Qian to sit too. Uncle Qin, I hope that the school can withdraw the right to use the forty piano rooms that have been allocated to foreign students separately. Lin Qian sat down and said concisely, "That's it. That's it." Looking at Lin Qian with clear eyes, Qin Wen Wu pondered, "What's the reason?" Fair. Fair. Yes, it's fair. Ten million is just a backbone. If Lin Xian from the previous life was allowed to choose, he might choose to stay away. But for Lin Xian, who has billions of huge assets in this life, it's worth it. He did not want his friends and classmates to experience the humiliation and humiliation he had suffered. So, the money Lin Xian spent was very comfortable, and he didn't feel distressed at all. Tatoda. Lin Xian walked down the stairs and happened to run into Ma Lu, Zhang Yaoyao, and others who were looking for Lin Xian everywhere. Lin Xian, where have you been? Jiang Yaoyao's white and pink face was full of healthy blush. Her lips were slightly open, and she was slightly panting. The youngest, I see Director Wang's attitude. It is unlikely that we will pay attention to our request, or why don't this matter just like that? Don't put a penalty on the beginning of school. It's not worth it. Ma Luyu said with some worry, with concern in his eyes. Li Xiaoxiao and others also followed the Dao. Everyone was kind, and Lin Qian treated them with a smile. And he smiled. I said, I have to fix the keys for the forty piano rooms today. Go, follow me to get the keys. Lin Xian smiled and finished, then looked at Jiang Yaoyao, who was piercing the meatballs with his head up and his small head open, the pair of grapes and big eyes looking at him. He raised his right hand in a ghostly manner and gently squeezed Jiang Yaoyao's white tenderness, tender face. Ha! Jiang Yaoyao was stunned, and Li Xiaoxiao, who was next to him, made a roaring noise. Ahem. Lin Xian coughed lightly, then greeted Ma Lu and hurriedly continued walking downstairs. Really slippery, so tender. This is the thought that flashed through Lin Qian and Zhang Yaoyao when they passed by. As Zhang Yaoyao's face was pinched after Lin Qian left, his face turned red with hindsight. Ayo, don't get mad. Let's go quickly. It seems that Lin Qian is going to Wang Chengshan again. Li Xiaoxiao looked at Zhang Yaoyao's shy and twitchy look and couldn't help but sigh with her forehead. Oh, then hurry up. When Zhang Yaoyao heard this, he was a little bit eager to protect him and hurriedly dragged Li Xiaoxiao down. Yes, yes, yes. Dean, what you educated? You calm down your anger. You calm down. This matter is my misconsideration. Open. I will immediately open the forty piano rooms. I promise that this will not happen again in our academy in the future. In the office of the director of the musical instrument management center, Wang Chengshan didn't have the hard breath he had just now. While answering the phone, he wiped the cold sweat on his forehead with a tissue. However, the water on his forehead kept flowing more and more, just like gurgling streams, pouring out one after another. Lin Qian stood quietly not far from Wang Chengshan, and the rest of the classmates lying outside the window watched all this in amazement. What did Lin Qian do just now? How could the dean give Wang Chengshan a curse of dog blood spray? F asterisk asterisk K. It turns out that what Lin Qian just said before leaving was not just as simple as ruthless words, but also expounding a fact that was about to happen. Snapped. Wang Chengshan hung up the phone on the landline. His face was pale. 
The dean was dissatisfied with him, and he was very dissatisfied. And all these changes happened within 10 minutes after Lin Xian left. Director Wang, keys to 40 piano rooms. Lin Xian slowly raised his hand, with slender and white fingers, which is definitely not a small attraction for girls with hand control addiction. Where did Wang Chengshan dare to be arrogant at this time? He went straight through the box and found the spare key of the piano room originally allocated to 40 foreign students, and then handed it to Lin Xian. Director Wang, I hope that the school's announcement can be posted as soon as possible. The students in our school cherish every minute and every second of their piano practice time. Okay, I will make arrangements as soon as possible. Wang Chengshan responded in a low voice. He is now deeply jealous of Lin Xian's identity, and various speculations surfaced in his mind, but no matter what kind of speculation it was, it was a role he couldn't afford. If I should be counseled, after all, it is at the feet of the emperor. There are too many ruthless characters. He is just a small director. For ordinary people, he is still a bit of weight, but for real ruthless characters, he is a fart. Lin Xian nodded slightly, said nothing, turned and left the office. Oh. Lin Xian, awesome. Lin Xian, you are so handsome, I want to give you a monkey. When he watched Lin Xian walk out of Wang Qingshan's office with a bunch of keys, the classmates outside Lin Xian's door suddenly burst into great cheers, and many girls flirted with Lin Xian in public. Now holding the key, open all the 40 locked piano rooms for me, and then throw the locks away. From now on, there will be no privileged students in our college, and no one will want to ride on our heads anymore. Shit and pee. Lin Qian said loudly. Brother Qian, atmosphere. Although our class leader has not yet been selected, I don't think anyone is worthy except Brother Qian. Seconded. Agree. The crowd shouted loudly. Lin Qian's actions today can be described as extremely domineering. It was originally young and vigorous, and no one was convinced by anyone, but today's Lin Qian was convinced by all these people. Wang Changshan, who had a tough front, actually just won in the end. This can be described by more than two words. In the blink of an eye, he harvested a group of fans, and somehow became the default monitor, which made Lin Qian a little confused. But since it has become a fact, Lin Qian did not twitch. Since everyone recognizes me as the monitor, I will organize it today. It's been two days since school started. Let's find a food stall to gather in Long Street outside school tonight, please. Lin Qian said loudly. Brother Qian, there must be all the staff in the 403 dormitory. Women's Bed 309 is guaranteed to have all the staff. Women's Bed 306 is also a duck. Everyone responded happily. Looking at the jogging students outside, Wang Changshan in the office was almost vomiting blood. Even if you want to celebrate, can you stay away from my office and celebrate? What is the difference between you guys and Bengdi at Fumtu? The China Conservatory of Music was just that big. Soon, the freshman Wang Chengshan asked to remove 40 piano rooms exclusively for foreign students, and the news that it was successful spread throughout the school in the blink of an eye. Countless Chinese students boiled over, and within a few hours, Lin Chen became a man in the school. In the school forum, countless students, whether they are in the lower grades or the upper grades, clapped their hands and cheered on the forum one after another. For Lin Chen, they all have the same two words, awesome. After that, there were gossip circulating. After Lin Xian came out of Wang Chengshan's office, he knocked directly on the door of the dean's office, which made Wang Chengshan lower his head. After the news came out, Lin Xian's name was completely equated with the four words peerless mighty. In the hearts of many music students, they are somewhat grateful to Lin Xian. The circulation of 40 piano rooms can relieve the pressure of at least 200 music students' piano rooms. Many people no longer need to get up early and return late to grab the piano room. They don't dare to drink water in the morning to avoid urination when practicing the piano. Lin Xian. Inadvertently, he became a hero in many people's minds. Brother Qian, come to root Huazi? Ah, uh, no more. Huazi is so smoking, everything else chokes his throat. Really not, I won't. At 7 o'clock in the evening, there were nearly a dozen tables outside a barbecue restaurant on Changjie Huayanhu Street, all of which were rounded up by Lin Xian and others. They were assembled into four large tables, each with more than ten people. Huayin Long Street is only a few hundred meters away, but there are dozens of restaurants and restaurants. On weekdays, the main objects are Huayin students. Every night, it always becomes very lively. The barbecue restaurant selected by Lin Qian has number one in the school forum's popularity index. The owner of the barbecue restaurant is a northeastern couple. The skewer is good and there are many kinds. It doesn't matter whether it is barbecue or crayfish, they're all here. 
Sitting outside the food stall, following the classmates to make fun of it, Lin Qian found it interesting and familiar. For high-end restaurants like Steakhouse and Wangfu Private Kitchen, the high-end is high-end, but it is less local. In his previous life, Lin Xian's favorite was sitting in a food stall in the summer, drinking a little wine with his brothers and friends, and then bragging and cozy. Really? Boss Jiang, when will Yao Yao arrive? Although it was a class dinner today, Lin Xian still called Jiang Ningchuan, Xin Ming, and Jiang Yao Yao to sleep. Although the department is different from the class, they are all new students of Huayin, the same age, many topics, and a lot of people. They have already come here, girls, it's slow to smear and smear them. You order first. When they arrive, the dishes will come. Zhang Ningchuan held the root huazi while talking to Lin Qian. Bragging, while responding to Lin Qian. Although it was a food stall, Zhang Ningchuan did not have any discomfort, perfectly integrated, and did not have the air of a rich child. Okay. Lin Qian nodded, then opened the menu and shouted into the barbecue restaurant, Madam Boss, order. Here is my brother. As soon as Lin Qian's voice fell, a loud female voice came from inside. Brother, what do you order? The proprietress has a wide waist and a round waist, and looks extremely rich, with a full smile on her face. First, give me 30 bunches of big waist, and then 60 bunches of small waist. I don't know anything else, just to the loud voice of the boss's wife, her waist is definitely not bad. Oysters come three dozen per table. Lin Qian quickly ordered the order. Hey, brother Qian, what you ordered is enough to make up. If you get us up tonight, how can you fix it? The little boy sitting opposite Lin Xian interjected with a grin, and the other boys also showed smirks that you know. As a school where the Yin is prosperous and the sun is declining, Lin Xian's class has 15 boys, but 35 girls. If you get angry, go back and flick, fight the fire thief. Lin Xian responded without raising his head. Squad leader, you are GHS, I want to sue the teacher. A certain lively girl was not shy either, she joked with a smile. When Lin Qian heard the words, he raised his head and looked at the girl with those natural-looking eyes that were extremely clean and clear, Joey, what are you talking about, why can't I understand it? I'm talking about League of Legends. LOL. Yo. The boys immediately looked at Joey with eyes that you know a lot, and laughed and joked. Squad leader, you secretly changed the concept. The girl looked a little shy and anxious, and yelled at Lin Qian. The two laughed and teased, Lin Qian continued to lower his head to order. Four flavors of crayfish come one for each table, 30 skewers per table for soy sauce, 30 skewers per table for cooked ribs, and 10 skewers for grilled sausages per table. Lin Xian's barbecue food stall is rich in thieves and he can order orders very quickly. Brother, what to drink? The lady boss also recorded it very quickly, and asked Lin Xian after finishing the recording. Lady boss, do you have craftsmanship in your house? Yes. The lady boss answered, and then looked at the people around her eyes. She leaned down and said, brother, craftsmanship is expensive, 15 yuan a bottle, so many of you have to drink several boxes of beer, you a treat is not a good deal. Listening to the boss's wife's whispered reminder, Lin Qian was stunned, and then couldn't help feeling a little warm. If someone else hears that they want to drink craftsmanship, I am afraid they will be very happy, how could they even remind you? Just like this, this store can come often in the future, Lin Qian thought silently in his heart. Madam boss, let's come to craft brewing. A dozen yuan and a few dollars are no difference to me. Lin Xian responded with a smile. Seeing Lin Xian's words, the lady boss looked at Lin Xian's lighthearted portrait and didn't seem to be aggressive. She knew in her heart that this kid might be a master of money. That's okay, how many boxes will you come first? You can return it if you don't open the bottle. Let's get ten boxes first, half at room temperature and half cold. Okay. Today, there is a big order of Lin Xian, and the wines are all crafted and the proprietress is obviously in a good mood. Wait a minute, the skewers will arrive soon. Just as Lin Qian and the proprietress were talking, the four Zhang Yaoyao's bedroom finally arrived. Hey! Zhang Yaoyao patted Lin Qian's shoulder with his tender white hand. Lin Qian looked up and saw that Zhang Yaoyao was clearly dressed up tonight, a blue short-sleeved shirt with a short sleeve, a white pleated skirt underneath, a pair of white and tender straight legs exposed outside, stepping on her feet. Wearing a pair of canvas shoes, the whole person is full of youthful breath. And Zhao Yue and Li Xiaoxiao and others all have their own charms. Even if Li Xiaoxiao wears loose short sleeves, she still can't hide the amount of milk that she made, while Zhao Yue wears a beige dress with a pair of big the long legs made Lin Xian couldn't help but suck his saliva. Except that there was no ups and downs somewhere, it looked perfect. As for the girl who had never met, she must be another roommate of Zhang Yaoyao. 
Wearing a small dirty braid and wearing a fashion forward, he looks a bit hip-hop style, holding Jiang Yaoyao's waist, looking at Lin Qian with a smile. Just so, see if you have anything else you want to eat? Lin Qian handed the menu to Jiang Yaoyao and others. The four of them quickly looked over and asked a few questions, and Lin Qian had a little bit of it. Have you ordered fried instant noodles? I really want to eat fried instant noodles. Turning to the last staple food, Jiang Yaoyao asked. Order two fried instant noodles, I want to eat two. Lin Qian turned around and said to the lady boss. What kind of flavor do you want, brother? I want sweet and sour. Zhang Yaoyao responded immediately. Lin Qian said silently, I want salty. Okay. After ordering, the proprietress smiled and quickly walked into the barbecue restaurant to place the order. What kind of weird taste is yours? There is no salty taste when you eat fried instant noodles. John Yao Yao couldn't help but vomit. It may be that I ate too much sweet in my previous life, and I want to eat some salty in this life. Lin Xian said straightforwardly. But after Lin Xian finished speaking, he suddenly felt that the little girl with braids beside John Yao Yao had a smile on her face, as if she had seen everything. Ahem. Being stared uncomfortably by the girl, Lin Xian changed the subject. Yao Yao, don't you introduce your roommate? Oh oh. Hearing Lin Qian's reminder, Zhang Yaoyao reacted, This is my roommate Tong Yan. I didn't come for dinner with my boyfriend last time. Get acquainted. Upon hearing this, Lin Qian stood up and shook hands with Tong Yan generously. It's a coincidence that we both have the same taste, and I like to eat salty. Children like to eat sweet. Adults like to eat salty. F asterisk asterisk K. This is probably a high rank. Definitely a skilled role. What? What does eating sweet and salty have to do with children and adults? Zhang Yaoyao was said to be a child, she stood up her cute little steamed buns a little unconvinced, and murmured a little dissatisfied. Hearing this, Lin Chan wanted to reach out and touch Zhang Yaoyao's little head. You are so bearable. What's so awesome about them? Brother, I do business with Jack Ma all year round. Have I ever boasted? That is, Jack Ma, Penguin and Yi the King and I have supported half of China's economy. Have I mentioned it? Ha ha ha. Looking at Zhang Bingyu, who was drunk and red, and a few boys, stepping on the beer crates and bragging about where they were, Lin Qian hiccuped. They are so funny, ha ha ha. Zhang Yaoyao, who was sitting next to Lin Qian, was so happy that his big grape eyes were bent into two crescents, and his whole body was planted on Tong Yan's shoulders. The little face was slightly red, and the little girl drank some beer, but after two glasses, her little face was ruddy like an apple, and Lin Qian's obsession with a sip was getting heavier and heavier. Can you stop bragging, especially you Zhang Bingyu, you can't learn from me and keep a low profile? I, Peng Yuyan and Hugu, in order to support China's beauty, do you know how hard I have been supporting for so many years? Did I say something? Lin Qian laughed loudly and cursed. Ha ha ha. Everyone thought that Lin Qian was going to say something, but it turned out to be so shameless. It's over, after hearing what you said, I suddenly felt that the male god Peng Yuyan, who I have been a fan of for five years, is so low. Zhao Yuwei turned a ball of paper towards Lin Qian and jokingly scolded. Depend on. On the other hand, Zhang Bingyu raised his middle finger to Lin Qian in an angry manner. He bin, take the wine bottle and accompany me to give Lin Qian a bottle. Zhang Bingyu patted his roommate Dong Habin next to him, lifted a bottle of beer next to him, and motioned for him to join him. A bottle? Dong Habin was a little dazed, he pushed the frame of the glasses on the bridge of his nose, second brother, how can there be a bottle of toast? Just respect a bottle, the hatred of taking away a wife is not shared, it is not him or me today. Zhang Bingyu stared into his bull's eyes and looked at Zhang Yaoyao next to Lin Qian not far away, and his heart ached. What a lovely sister paper, it's a pity that it doesn't belong to me. All right. Seeing Zhang Bingyu in such a posture, Dong Habin had to stand up from his seat, but before he could pick up the bottle, he heard a clang, and saw Zhang Bingyu, who was originally going to pay a toast to a bottle, with the bottle in his hand. Suddenly slipped onto the table. His. It's a feeling of heartache. Looking at the scene of Zhang Yaoyao carefully sending the scallops into Lin Xian's mouth, Zhang Bingyu felt that he had lost. Second brother, don't. Tons, tons. Second brother. Tons, 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 tons. Looking up, Zhang Bingyu blew a bottle directly. He bin, don't ask me what it smells like. I can only tell you, this is the bitterness of love, you don't understand. Zhang Bingyu muttered with a blurred look in his eyes. Dong Habin, who was standing next to Zhang Bingyu, scratched his head, I didn't want to ask you what it tastes like. 
I just wanted to say, the bottle of wine you just drank, it seems that when the eldest brother vomited just now, he accidentally vomited a bit. What? Zhang Bingyu looked at Dong Habin silently for three seconds. Vomit. I'm eating here on the long street next to Huayin, so I'll have to trouble you to bring it here. Okay, if you can't find me when you arrive, just call me. Um? Lin Shen answered the phone and hurriedly said a few words, and then quickly hung up. Lin Shen, the crayfish is here, do you want to eat it, I'll peel it for you. Zhang Yaoyao next to him, looking at the crayfish on the table, said excitedly to Lin Shen. Sitting on the other side of Zhang Yaoyao, Tong Yan rolled his eyes helplessly. The sister he newly recognized seemed to have a strange attribute in his bones. Looking so good looking, so kawaii, I am actually keen on being a dog licking, and I still enjoy it. Although Lin Xian has money and looks a bit masculine, he is indeed a popular item in Huayin, a school where the yin and the sun are declining, but you can't lick it so hard, right? Is my Jimei an M? While biting the big sausage, Tong Yan tilted his head and wondered what Zhang Yaoyao's hidden attributes were. I peel it myself, you eat your own. Lin Xian is not so cheeky yet, mainly because Zhang Yaoyao's cousin Zhang Ningchuan is sitting next to him. Just now when Zhang Yaoyao said he was going to strip him, he obviously felt a slight cold in his neck. Oh. Zhang Yaoyao was a little disappointed when she saw that Lin Xian didn't use her to peel it, but seeing the crayfish of various flavors placed in front of her, her big grape eyes suddenly showed a little excitement. When she stretched out her white and tender hand to grab a crayfish peeled, her hand was suddenly caught by Lin Xian. Feeling the temperature on his hands, Zhang Yaoyao was stunned. Lin Xian is holding my hand. Does he want to confess to me? If he waits to kiss me, should I agree or not? What if he sticks out his tongue? Should I be shy, or should I take the initiative to cater to it? With a flick of the Buddha's finger, it took 60 instants. John Yaoyao's thinking at this moment is a bit of a Buddhist meaning, and the divergence of his thinking is unprecedentedly strong. Don't worry. Put the gloves on. This is safer and healthier. Lin Xian slowly put the disposable gloves on Zhang Yaoyao's white tender hands, reminding him. Oh oh. Zhang Yaoyao only reacted at this time, it turned out. Just remind me to wear a condom. Zhang Yaoyao was a little disappointed. Accompanied by the summer evening breeze, just barbecue beer, life is simply not too comfortable, in Lin Xian's mind, this is the correct way to open the university. Today, there are a total of 50 students in the first piano class of the 2015 piano department, and there are 40 people in total. As for the remaining 10 people, it is not embarrassing to come. Because when the whole class followed Lin Xian to find Wang Changshan, they did not follow, and even more dismissively scolded Lin Xian as a fool. They did not expect that in just one afternoon, the pattern of the entire class in the next four years was determined. Lin Xian became the best candidate for the class leader recognized by the vast majority of students in the entire class. After the National Day holiday, before the military training of the new students, and the class election, Lin Xian can basically be regarded as an internal decision. For those people, Lin Xian didn't have any ideas. It was human nature to seek advantages and avoid disadvantages, and to protect oneself wisely, but since there was no willingness to share adversity, naturally there was no share of commonwealth. Everyone ate lightly, but just halfway through the meal, suddenly several people broke into the table of Lin Xian and others. Who is Lin Xian? The leader is a short-haired girl with a better appearance and a very capable temperament. Seeing the opponent's posture, everyone was stunned, and then a few boys frowned. It turns out. Lin Xian thinks too much. Sister Liu Yu stepped forward, picked up a bottle of craft beer, and slammed it toward the corner of the table. The beer bottle cap bounced out with a bang. Tons, tons. The little girl is not very big, but she plays really well. In a blink of an eye, a bottle of 500 milliliters of craft beer hits the bottom but the little girl has nothing to do. Seeing Lu Yu finished blowing, Lin Xian felt a little entangled. Other girls gave you a blow. Do you have to blow one back to others? Lin Xian, I respect you for this bottle of wine. Thank you for helping the classmates of our department snatch back those 40 piano rooms. We are all a little ashamed to say that we have let the foreigners show off for so many years. It's for you to solve it, my younger brother. I came here this time not only on behalf of me, but also on behalf of all the 47 students in the piano first class of our 2013 piano department. Thank you. Liu Yu spoke very sincerely, and the smile on his face was obviously from the heart. Also with us, I am Wang Liang, the monitor of class 2 of the 2014 piano department, and I am also here today with the gratitude of all 49 students in our class. I'm class 1 of the 2014 piano department. After Liu Yu finished speaking, several men and women behind him also stepped forward to express their gratitude to Lin Xian. 
Everyone looked at it roughly, and it seemed that all the class leaders of the piano major of the Huayin piano department had arrived. Senior brother, senior sister, you don't need to say thank you. If you can look down on my brother, just sit down and let's eat and drink together, just as a celebration for the 40 extra piano rooms we will come out in the future. With a smile on Lin Xian's face, he sincerely invited Lu Yu and others. Even though Lin Shen didn't do it to get everyone's approval and gratitude before doing this, he just wanted to make up for the regrets of his previous life and brought out the evil anger that had been suffocated in his heart for many years. But after working hard, he was unexpectedly recognized and thanked by everyone, and Lin Xian was also very happy. Good. Lu Yu is very refreshing, without the slightest tweak of a girl, on the contrary, it is three points more cheerful than a boy. Shuedi Lin, after the discussions of many of our monitors and the opinions of many students, we have decided to hand over the 15 piano rooms on the left side of the second floor of the piano room building to your 2015 piano class 1. In the next three years, that we will not grab the 15 piano rooms, nor will we move. This is the common meaning of all our piano students. Thank you for your contribution to many students in the Huayin piano department. The 40 piano rooms you asked for from the school can really relieve the pressure of practicing in our department. N.S. Please don't refuse, this is what you deserve. Lu Yu spoke again. When she said that, the monitors behind him also nodded frequently, without the slightest reluctance on their faces. This. Lin Xian hesitated, but looking at the expectant gazes of his classmates next to him, he finally nodded. Okay, then I am here to thank all the elder sisters and brothers for our classmates. Lin Xian clasped his fist and thanked him. Thank you, you don't forget to dig the well. Brother Lin Xian, you are willing to help everyone. Our Huayan students are not white-eyed wolves. This is what you deserve. A boy behind Lu Yu responded with a smile. He Bin, Ping Song, asked the lady boss to bring some more stools, and then you watch to order some dishes. Lin Xian greeted Dong Habin and Xiao Ping Song at the table next door, and then picked up the wine glasses, let's drink together. 1. Welcome the arrival of senior sisters and brothers, our piano department is originally a family, and we will always keep in touch and move around in the future. Yes, yes, elder sister and brother. Senior sister Lu Yu, you were blowing too sassy just now, can you teach the little girl how to blow? The little girl wants to blow so sassy too. Brother Shui, sit down with me, look at your belly, and I know you are definitely the wine king. Everyone stood up, responding to Lin Xian, and toasted to a few senior sisters and brothers who had just arrived. Looking at the lively scene, Zhang Ningchuan, who was standing next to Lin Xian and following Zhang Luojur, said a little enviously, Youngest, yes, from now on, you will definitely be a figure in your department. Your kid is hiding so much. It's okay, it's just a little joke. Don't envy you boss Jiang. In the future, you will scream at the father-son relationship between the two of us. Dad will definitely cover you. Lin Xian joked with a grin. Damn, youngest, are you floating? Zhang Ningchuan reached out and picked up the wine bottle directly, believe it or not, I won't let you go back to the dormitory today? It's okay, Yao Yao is here, Yao Yao will definitely be able to send me back. Lin Xian was not afraid of Zhang Ningchuan's threat. When he responded with a smile, he leaned against Zhang Yao Yao, and at the same time put his arm on Zhang Yao Yao's incense shoulder. On that side Zhang Yao Yao was chatting with Xiao Yue, suddenly felt her shoulders sinking, and when she turned her head, she saw Lin Xian who put his arm on her shoulder. Her small face flushed suddenly, and then pretended that nothing happened, and continued to chat with Zhao Yue and the others, but the white and tender face was getting redder and red. Yao Yao, why are you blushing? No. No red. It's really red. Then, that might be hot. Is it hot by Lin Qian? It's, not. Tong Yan looked at Zhang Yao Yao's ruddy face, and she couldn't help but always want to tease him. It was so cute. This girl's face was definitely the best temptation for some copper smelters. More than 40 young people were laughing and laughing together. Sometimes middle-aged people passed by. Looking at these youthful young people, there was a flash of envy and nostalgia in their eyes. This is the best time of youth, and it is also the time that countless people want to live again. The dinner lasted from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and everyone was almost drinking for two hours. Players like Zhang Bingyu who were arrogant in the early stage, clamored in the middle stage, and pulled their hips in the late stage, had already leaned on the back of the plastic chair to play dead. At the beginning of the 10 boxes of craft brews, the 10 boxes of craft brews added in the later stages are almost ready to drink. The main reason is that there are too many hidden female men, and sometimes two boys can't drink one girl even after stepping on the box. Looking at the girls who drink heavily, Lin Xian always feels that Zhang Yaoyao next to him is acting with him, so he takes two cups in succession, 
and this little girl starts to shake her feet and feet, and he is sure that this girl is true. Can't drink. The lively scene continued, but suddenly, the scene quieted down inexplicably. F asterisk asterisk K, so beautiful. Is lousy drunk too much and hallucinated? Fairy sister. If my future girlfriend can be so good looking, the child is not mine. Seeing everyone looking behind him, Lin Xian was a little surprised, and then looked back. It was not someone else standing behind him, it was Lu Ning who called just now to give him the black gold card of the Centurion of China Merchants Bank. A small v-neck high-waisted short skirt, French style, pure white on the left and light gray on the right. A belt-shaped belt outlines Lu Ning's waist extremely slender. Lu Ning's hair was naturally scattered, and the tips of her hair were slightly wavy. The delicate melon seeds had light makeup on her face, and her facial features were delicate and soft. His exposed calves and forearms were shiny and clean, and her face was professional. A light smile. The hearts of many boys who have watched have changed. Lu Ning, who had just entered the society, had a little girlish feeling on her body, and she also had the charm of a light mature woman. Compared with the first ripe peaches like Lu Ning, Zhang Yaoyao's immature little apples are undoubtedly a disadvantage in the aura. It can only be said that there is a big difference in style and temperament. Yeah, you are here. Lin Xian was stunned, and soon recovered, and then stood up from the chair. Let's go to the side and say. Lin Xian came to Lu Ning's side and motioned her to speak next to her. Lu Ning nodded, and before leaving, she gestured to Lin Xian's colleague with a smile. That shallow smile captured the hearts of many boys. His gaze swept over, and finally Lu Ning's gaze stayed on Zhang Yaoyao for a moment. Under his scorching gaze, Luo Luo nodded generously towards Zhang Yaoyao, then turned and followed Lin Xian. Lin Qian, who is this dog, why does he like to commit peach blossoms so much? Zhang Bingyu, who had feigned death when he heard beautiful women, looked at Lu Ning, who was slender and tall in the distance, his envied eyes were red, and his tone was three-point jealous and seven-point helpless. When Dong Habin heard this, he patted Zhang Bingyu's shoulder comfortingly, it's good to be used to it. Anyone who looks as handsome as the author likes to commit peach blossoms. Zhang Bingyu? On the roadside about a few meters away from the barbecue restaurant, Lin Xian and Lu Ning are separated by about half a meter. It looks pretty. Lin Xian looked openly from head to toe, and then he didn't tweak in praise. Really? As long as it is a beautiful girl, there is nothing bad about clothes. Zhang Yaoyao is like this, Jia Yue is like this, and Lu Ning is like this. Although the dress on Lu Ning may not be expensive, she was shocked to wear it with a high-level feeling. It can only be said that she is naturally beautiful and looks good in everything she wears. Faced with Lin Xian's praise, Lu Ningwan brushed the hair beside Wan's ear, and said a little bit shyly, it's okay. Actually, when she called Lin Xian, she had just got off work. She wanted to wear her uniform and hand the card to Lin Xian, but when she heard Lin Xian partying outside and heard a female voice beside Lin Xian, she suddenly the ghost came back home first, selected decent clothes, and put on a new makeup before rushing over. Lu Ning couldn't tell what kind of psychology this behavior was motivated by. Maybe it's the inborn nature of women who like to compete for beauty? Or maybe. Lu Ning didn't know. President Lin, this is our Centurion Black Gold credit card, made of pure titanium. President Wang ordered someone to make it for you overnight. The starting credit limit of your card is 20 million, and it also comes with many rights and interests. There is a rights manual in it, you can read it slowly. Lu Ning did not forget the purpose of coming here this time, and handed Lin Xian a handbag from China Merchants Bank, which contained a completely black box. Lin Xian stretched out his hand to take it, and said with a smile, I would like to trouble you to take a trip, if you want to sit down and eat? Lu Ning shook her head, and then said with a faint smile, forget it, I still don't bother Mr. Lin to accompany her little sister. If I sit in the past, it will inevitably make some little girls think about it. With that said, Lu Ning also intentionally or unintentionally glanced at Zhang Yaoyao, who was not far away, who had been peeking at this side with his light. Lin Xian coughed lightly, and then said straightforwardly, that's right, the impact of hugging left and right at the beginning of school is not very good, and it won't hurt the hearts of those fragile boys anymore. I want to hug the left and the right, it really is the little scumbag. Facing Lin Xian's ridicule, Lu Ning whispered. What did you say? Nothing. Lu Ning's small mouth pursed slightly, unexpectedly revealing a little girlishness. How are the things I ask you to do for me? Has the headhunting company contacted? Lin Qian asked casually. Lu Ning nodded, contacted, I just wanted to tell you about this. Yesterday, Mr. Lin, you mentioned the requirements and the main development direction of the company in the future, but you did not say how big the company you plan to open. 
The headhunting company called in the afternoon to ask about the estimated registered capital of your company. Where's the money? Because the level of the company's registered capital relates to your company's scale, strength, and risk assessment, it has a great influence on the selection of talents for you and the attraction of talents for you to join. Lu Ning explained the reason in detail. When Lin Xian heard this, he pondered for a moment and said, the company's registered capital is estimated to be 200 million US dollars. Subscribe? Paid. Hearing that Lin Xian intends to pay 200 million US dollars as the company's registered capital, Lu Ning's little mouth can't help but grow up slightly. Mr. Lin actually paid 200 million US dollars. In fact, you can fully subscribe to it. Lu Ning was a little puzzled. I don't have any other companies under my name. Opening a company that subscribes 200 million US dollars can easily be regarded as a foreskin company that intends to empty the white wolf. The actual payment of 200 million US dollars is more sincere and easier to reassure. I plan to do business in film and television investment, and I have nothing to do in the film and television circle. Without the Phoenix tree, where does the Phoenix habitat come from? The actual paid 200 million US dollars will be on the company's books. People from the Qing dynasty come to the door to ask for investment, and the talents and business will kill two birds with one stone. Why not do it? Lin Xian asked with a smile, and then briefly stated his thoughts. Lin Xian currently has 500 million US dollars in his hands. The prudent plan sets aside 200 million US dollars, and the development plan estimates 200 million US dollars, and the remaining 100 million US dollars is used for daily expenses. In the development plan, Lin Xian's other plans are basically inseparable from the entertainment industry before 2020, whether it is the short video outlet at the end of 2016, the e-commerce live broadcast outlet after 2017, or 2018 the women's team draft of the year. Therefore, the entertainment media investment company founded by Lin Xian can be said to be the cornerstone of many subsequent plans, and there are only three months left, and 2015 will pass, and there is not much time left for Lin Xian. If you want to quickly become famous in the industry, you naturally have to be high profile. The company's registered capital of 200 million US dollars is enough to start Lin Xian's reputation to a certain extent. After all, in the current period when the entertainment industry is about to blow out, there are too many film and television projects. Even the top entertainment companies in the industry have to consider the risk when investing in a film and television project and seek for the remaining capital when forming the market. The parties enter the market and share the risk. When composing a market, big companies must first consider those companies with strong capital. With the 200 million US dollars paid on the company's books, Lin Qian will undoubtedly have more opportunities to enter the market. With Lin Qian's forward vision of the future film and television industry, it is definitely not that I want to double the 200 million US dollars within four years. What is difficult? What's more, in the next few years, there will be many more outlets for the entertainment industry. Ordinary people can soar up to 90,000 miles by grabbing it. In the past, Lin Xian had no money or capital, so some investment opportunities could only be given up. Now that Lin Xian has a huge cash flow in his hand, there is naturally no reason to give up. Although even if he eats and waits for death now, the money in his hand will not be spent for several lifetimes, but after all, no one will dislike the amount of money in his hand. If he wants to eat and wait for death to enjoy life, Lin Xian will have opportunities in the future. The actual payment of 200 million US dollars, if the headhunting company needs capital verification, you can ask President Wang to provide them with a capital verification certificate of 200 million US dollars. Let it go. Lin Xian put his hands in his pockets, watching the boy who was passing by and couldn't help but sneaking at Lu Ning, silently mocking a single dog in his heart, and instructing Lu Ning. Good. All that should be explained was finished. Lin Xian didn't want to stay with Lu Ning much, and said directly, okay, you can go home sooner if there is nothing to do. It is not safe to wear such a good-looking dress too late. Oh. Hearing Lin Xian's last concern, Lu Ning's heart warmed slightly. However, before the warmth stayed for a second, I heard Lin Xian's faint words, no. The familiar conversation made Lu Ning suddenly think of what happened in the car yesterday, which made her white and tender face flush. I'm leaving, Lin. President. Lu Ning pronounced the last two words extremely hard. Bye, little secretary. Lin Xian put his hands in his pockets and responded with a slightly frivolous smile. Watching Lu Ning get into the car, Lin Xian returned to the wine table carrying the box. Then, Lin Xian was stared at by everyone. Brother Qian, who is that? Could it be a sister-in-law? Brother Qian, what does it matter? Tell my brothers. The youngest boy, you can't hide it, so you like this bite. 
Tell your third brother, isn't the big sister's chest warm? At this restless age, boys seem more excited to see such a beautiful girl. Can you say one by one, if you intervene, I intervene, who should I respond to? Lin Qian said helplessly at the messy interruptions of the brothers. I, I, I. Zhao Pingsong at the next table raised his hand and stood up, and asked first, Brother Qian, is that sister-in-law? No, friend, next one. Lin Shen didn't say that Lu Ning was his exclusive financial secretary, mainly because he was afraid of irritating these young people. Besides, the word secretary is easy to make people think about it. If there is something to be a secretary, it's okay. Brother Qian, are your friends in a pure relationship? Nonsense, if it's not pure, I can stay here and drink with you single dogs here? After speaking, Lin Qian smiled deliberately at the lovely Jiang Yao Yao next to him. However, he said silently in his heart, it is still very pure now, but it will be hard to say in the future. Everyone asked a few questions one after another, Lin Qian's mouth was very tight, and basically nothing came out. Next, everyone wrangled for another half an hour. Seeing that many people's combat power was almost exhausted, Lin Qian got up and came to the boss to pay the bill. Young man, a total of 7,143, the sister will wipe you zero and charge you 7,000. Standing in front of the cashier counter, the wealthy proprietor said to Lin Qian with a smile, and at the same time handed Lin Qian the long receipt that was typed out. Lin Qian glanced roughly, only to see the last wine money. For 20 cases of craft beer, the money for the wine alone cost 3,600. As for the money for other dishes, Lin Qian didn't bother to look at it at all. A few thousand yuan, and only a few of the leaders of the mother's money, not even a big silver alliance. When it was time to pay, Lin Qian suddenly remembered the credit card he had just arrived in his hand. He took out the box. After opening the box, he saw a black metal card in the center of the box. Lin Qian took it. It is slightly cool and very hard. Sister, swipe your card. Lin Qian handed the card over. Hey, my brother, your card looks really advanced. My sister has never seen such a card in so many years. The lady boss secretly exclaimed as she brushed it. China Merchants Bank's Express Centurion Black Gold Card. Lin Qian smiled and answered casually. The lady boss sounded a little unclear, and the card didn't have a password, so she quickly finished swiping it. After swiping the card, surrounded by many classmates, a large group of people walked towards the school lively. The boss and the wife of the barbecue shop are outside to clean up the mess left by the people. In the process of cleaning up, the wife of the boss suddenly asked the husband next to him, my boy, his father, China Merchants Bank's Express Centurion Black Gold Card is what, do you know? What is that, I have never heard of it. The boss answered without looking up. A kid just took that card, oh yeah, it's incredible, it's hard and cool, it's completely different from the card we took. The lady boss straightened her waist inside, and then continued, check it with your phone, what kind of card is that? What kind of card can a kid get? The boss murmured impatiently, but looking at his wife's body not far away, he obediently took out the phone from his trouser pocket. What black gold card of China Merchants Bank? CMB Express Centurion Black Gold Card. What black gold card does China Merchants Bank carry? CMB Express Centurion Black Gold Card. The lady boss walked steadily to the boss's side and yelled in the ear of the boss. The boss smiled at his wife, and then clicked the search on the screen. Then, the boss was stupid. My wife, I said that I want to apply for this card online, and China Merchants Bank must have a deposit of at least over 100 million to have a chance. How many? Over 100 million. How many? Billions. After that, the lady boss was also stupid. After a while, the lady boss suddenly covered her heart in silence. Wife, wife, what's wrong with you? I just wiped a hundred odd yuan on a billionaire. I'm so stupid, really. For the next few days, Lin Qian lived very peacefully. In the morning, with Zhang Yaoyao's love, come early, either the big fried dough sticks with white steamed buns, or the big meat buns with milk. In the afternoon, he went to his exclusive piano room to practice piano. In the evening, he and his three eldest sons were in the dark in the bedroom. Life was pleasant and comfortable. A few days passed in an instant. Buzzing. On Friday morning, in the English class, Lin Qian, who had just finished reading the biography of the Chao Gang two days ago, is now watching the biography of Buffett with relish. If you want to learn how to be a rich man, watching the life biographies of these big guys can undoubtedly give Lin Qian a lot of enlightenment, and you can also learn some knowledge from these books, which can be described as a double hit. Lin Qian, your phone rang. Zhang Yaoyao, who was studying English seriously, gently tapped Lin Qian with her white elbow, and then whispered a reminder. 
When Lin Xian heard the words, he answered, put down the book in his hand, picked up the phone, and the caller was Lu Ning. I'll go out and take a call. Lin Xian greeted Jiang Yao Yao, then stood up from his seat, made a toilet gesture to the English teacher on the stage, and walked out of the classroom. Hey, what's the matter? Standing in front of the window outside the classroom, Lin Qian answered the phone. Mr. Lin, the headhunting company called me just now. They have found a very good general manager candidate for you, and after communication with the headhunting company, the other party is also very interested in you. I have sent your information to your email address, if you think you can meet, the headhunting company can help you make an appointment today. Lu Ning said straightforwardly. I see, I will check the information, and I will call you back later. Good. Lin Xian hung up the phone, then directly opened the Penguin mailbox, and saw an email from 10 minutes ago at the top of the mailbox. When he clicked on the email, Lin Xian looked at it carefully. Li Xiaoman, 27, graduated from Stanford University with an MBA and returned to China. In 2011, he served as the deputy director of the Personnel Department of China Culture Communication Group. In 2012, he served as the director of Personnel Department of China Culture Communication Group. In 2014, he served as the vice president of Hanhai Pictures. This resume. A bit awesome. Seeing the end from the beginning, Lin Xian couldn't help muttering with emotion. Almost without even thinking about it, Lin Xian called Lu Ning back and asked her to notify the headhunting company to arrange a meeting as soon as possible. China Culture Communication Group, people may not be familiar with it, but if you talk about Ali Pictures, no one should know it. China Culture Communication Group is the predecessor of Ali Pictures. In 2014, China Culture Communication Group acquired by Ali, renamed Ali Pictures after reorganization. And Hanhai Pictures, ranked among the top 10 in China, is a comprehensive entertainment giant that integrates production, distribution, and production. After graduation, Li Ziamanning served successively as the personnel director of China Culture Communication Group and the vice president of Bohai Pictures. His ability is absolutely beyond doubt, and the headhunting company gave very detailed information. During his tenure, his work all aspects of the data are very beautiful. With such a talent, if Lin Qian chooses to miss it, it would be a thunderstorm. When he returned to the classroom, Lin Qian was in a good mood, and he quickly pulled away the busy licking dog Zheng Bingyu, and in the other's resentful eyes, Lin Qian sat down again. Lin Qian, why are you so happy? Something at work. Work? I am going to start a company recently. Wow, you are amazing. Zhang Yaoyao's big grape eyes were full of admiration, and his mouth was praised. Lick the dog. The girl sitting behind Lin Qian and Zhang Yaoyao whispered. Zhang Yaoyao's eyes slanted at the other party, not caring at all. Humph, as long as I lick fast enough, there will be no chance for other licking dogs. Lin Qian casually chatted with Zhang Yaoyao, and Lu Ning's efficiency was also very fast. At 3 o'clock this afternoon, the other party will come to your school gate to meet you. Looking at the news from Lu Ning, Lin Qian responded well, and then paid no attention to it, picked up the Buffett biography again and watched it with gusto. Friday afternoon is undoubtedly a blessing for many college students who have a target. Looking at a couple of lovers walking out with dog food, Lin Qian had no idea how many eyes had been rolled along the way. Soon, he walked to the school gate. F asterisk asterisk K, Rafa, the first of the three great cars. Miss Rafa is kind of cool. Say, is she waiting for someone? Linen brown short hair, black plaid shirt over, white round neck short sleeves, charcoal black denim shorts. F asterisk asterisk K. Comparing the photos on the phone, looking at the young lady in front of Rafa not far away, and then at the classmates watching the excitement around the school gate, Lin Xian couldn't help but explode in the end. Open Rafa for an interview? That is to say, your brother Qian has a solid foundation, or I am afraid it will be embarrassing that the boss has no money from his subordinates. Hey, I wanted to travel the world with a low profile, but my strength doesn't allow it. Lin Xian sighed, carried the phone in his pocket, and then, under the attention of many onlookers, slowly came to Miss Rafa's body. I am Lin Xian. There was no extra foreplay, Lin Xian directly showed his identity in one step. I am Li Xiaoman. The girl who has been ignoring the attention of everyone and playing with the game console by herself raised her head at this moment. If Zhang Yaoyao's appearance is pure and pretty, and Lu Ning's appearance is dignified and soft, then Li Xiaoman's appearance is exquisite and advanced. The girl had a lollipop in her mouth, she raised her eyes and looked up and down Lin Xian, then didn't say much, and patted the Rafa under her ass. Boarding. After speaking, she turned around and raised Rafa's scissors door and sat directly in the driving position. Lin Xian was a little surprised by the girl's refreshment, but did not twitch it. 
She went directly to the position of the co-pilot and cut the co-pilot's scissors. The door lifted. Facing the scorching eyes of many girls around, Lin Qian sighed silently. It seems it's time to start a supercar. No wonder a certain young master Jiang wanted to make a supercar without eating or drinking. His ability to harvest fungus, cough cough, and harvest the hearts of many girls is indeed superb. Lin Qian thought secretly, but he got into the co-pilot. Looking at the interior of this Rafa car, which cost more than $20 million, Lin Qian was amazed. In fact, just talking about the luxury of the interior, the interior of Rafa is really better than that of Lin Qian's Bentley Continental GT. The reason why Rafa is really sought after by countless people is the super horsepower engine. This is like a girl choosing a boyfriend. Some men may be of poorer nature, or even a scumbag, but because that man is handsome, he also has a super powerful waist and a kidney that is not bad. So the girl easily ignored the inherently poor shortcomings. OM. If Lin Qian's Bentley Continental GT is a quiet cheetah, then this Rafa is a wild lion. The super horsepower engine made Lin Qian feel quite obvious pushing his back, and then in a blink of an eye, the school gate just now disappeared, and the car rushed into the traffic like a fish. After about a few minutes, the speed of the car slowed down. Came down. The girl parked the car on the side of the road and turned her head around. Little boss, do you have a lollipop? Don't eat. Real men never eat lollipops, and those who eat lollipops are all idiots. Lin Xian muttered to himself. Oh. Li Xiaoman heard the words, spit out the stick in his mouth, and then happily dialed a lollipop again and put it in his mouth. Little boss, find a place to chat? Li Xiaoman leaned on his side and looked at Lin Xian with a smile. Yes, coffee shop or tea house? What's the age? There are also coffee shops and tea houses, it's a bit new and unbreakable. Li Xiaoman spit out mercilessly. Lin Xian. MMP, was actually despised. Then you say a place. Does the little boss fencing? Fencing? It's the exercise in which two people took an iron rod and you pierced me, and I pierced you? Will not. What about horsemanship? Nor. Forehead. Lin Xian didn't know this or that, which made Li Xiaoman a little headache, and the lollipop in his mouth was forgotten. That. Ahem, don't ask, you can find any place. Lin Qian interrupted Li Xiaoman's question a little awkwardly. He knew it. The sports that Li Xiaoman said were basically social sports that were common in upper class society. Those who can play and understand these are not rich at home. That is expensive. And these? Lin Qian has only heard of it and never seen it before. All right. Seeing that Lin Qian was not very interested, Li Xiaoman lowered his head for a moment while talking about the lollipop. How about going to the archery hall? Do you know how to shoot arrows? No, but I can try to learn. Lin Qian answered truthfully. Okay, then let's go to the arrow museum. Li Xiaoman answered, then immediately shifted gears, a kick of the accelerator slammed down, and Rafa reintegrated into the traffic. Looking at the traffic flow outside the window that I was afraid to avoid, and then at Li Xiaoman next to him, Lin Xian's stomach was full of questions. Li Xiaoman is obviously the one who doesn't need money. With his net worth, he still needs to find a job? Why look at me that way? Conquered by sister's beauty? Li Xiaoman held the steering wheel with his left hand, took the lollipop out of his mouth with his right hand, looked sideways at Lin Qian, and joked with a smile. No, I'm just a little puzzled. You seem to be not bad for money, and your original job is also very good. If you leave Han Hai Pictures as a good vice president, why do you want to jump to me? Lin Qian expressed the doubts in his heart. I really don't need money. The purpose of my job is very pure. I just want to find some sense of accomplishment in my work. As for why I want to quit Han Hai Pictures, it's very simple. Because my future career is limited, so I switched. Li Xiaoman shrugged and said in a relaxed tone. How to say? Because the president and chairman of Han Hai Films is my dad, my dad is only 45 years old now, at least he has to work for more than 10 years, so I switched my job. Lin Qian? This reason really leaves me speechless. The most important thing is that my dad actually looks down on me, saying that my management ability is the best in the industry, just because my investment vision is too bad, saying that I am an excellent manager, but by no means an excellent steer. That's why I am very unconvinced. Why is my investment outlook so bad? This is also a reason for me to switch jobs. Speaking of this, Li Xiaoman put the lollipop into his mouth again, with a little dissatisfaction and stubbornness in his voice. Then tell me which movie do you prefer in the film and television market in recent years? Lin Qian asked curiously. 
Have you heard of To Youth So You Are Still Here? It is the love idol movie starring Lu Tianxian and Wu Chaofan. I think this movie will definitely be explosive. First of all, the two leading actors are current traffic stars, and the plot is also very touching, and the two are emotionally entangled. Li Xiaoman was talking about the rise, and Barabolas and Lin Xian talked a lot, from the cast to the plot setting, and how to do promotion and marketing in the follow-up. Facing Li Xiaoman's long talk, Lin Xian was speechless. He was a little impressed by this movie, because many of the top-notch Wu Chaofan's later emojis were from this movie. As for the box office. It is said that the investors behind it seem to be losing their pants. Apart from this one, which movie do you like? Lin Xian decided to give Li Xiaoman another chance, maybe they just made a mistake? Um. I think Zhang Wishers' The Great Wall should also be good. I invited the little plum from Hollywood. The cast is luxurious. Any supporting role is the first line. The special effects hired Hollywood's top visual effects team. Li Xiaoman talked a lot about Barabara. Bara. On Lin Xian's side, he completely gave up his thoughts of temptation. No need to try anymore, this is an investment black hole. Fortunately, his father did not let him take charge of the investment business, otherwise Hanhai Pictures may not last for two years. But to Lin Xian, this is nothing. Li Xiaoman's investment vision is not good, but Lin Xian does not need Li Xiaoman's investment decision at all, because he knows which movies can make money in his heart that what he needs most is an excellent manager, and Li Xiaoman happens to is an extremely good manager. She has the vision of working in the most cutting-edge entertainment media company in the industry, and has a wealth of management experience, which are her shining points. As long as she avoids her black hole, she is the perfect president candidate in Lin Xian's heart. The accident sparked her interest. Throughout the whole journey, Lin Xian listened to her Barabara Bara about the movie she had watched in recent years. Um. All bad movies. In the end, Lin Xian was also very convinced. There were so many movies to be released in 2016, and the number of good ones was quite large. As a result, Li Xiaoman perfectly avoided all the good ones and accurately stepped on all the bad ones. Is this also a kind of talent? After five years, when the leading advantage is not there, as long as you avoid the movie projects that Li Xiaoman is optimistic about, won't the rest be good movies? Lin Xian's brain circuit is also quite strange, unexpectedly found another value of Li Xiaoman. Thinking of this, Lin Xian couldn't help but look a little hot when looking at Li Xiaoman. Miss Sister, the position of the president of our company is none other than you. Facing Lin Xian's scorching eyes, Li Xiaoman thought that his investment vision had been recognized, and couldn't help being a little complacent, and felt even more impressed with Lin Xian. In this way, in an atmosphere where the two appreciated each other, Li Xiaoman soon drove Rafa to what she called the Arrow Museum. Leave your feet shoulder width apart. Sink your left arm, rotate your elbow inward, and push the bow with your left hand. Only in this way, you can shoot powerfully and accurately. The posture is great, you can work harder. Shoot out. In front of a certain arrow path in the arrow hall, Lin Xian was holding a competitive recurve bow in his hand, a bow in his left hand, and an arrow in his right hand, while Li Xiaoman was standing next to him, constantly helping Lin Xian adjust his posture. Swish. Holding his breath, Lin Xian released his hand abruptly, the arrow on the competitive recurve bow shot out instantly, and finally steadily shot at the target 15 meters ahead. Directly above. Missing. Seeing his first shot missed the target, Lin Xian couldn't help but blush. It's okay. It's normal for novices to miss the target. Beginners start from the miss to the target, and then move closer to the bullseye from the target, so they can't be anxious. While comforting Lin Xian, Li Xiaoman picked up her own beauty hunter. Take the arrow, take the bow, buckle the string, open the bow, aim, release the string. The whole process was like running clouds and flowing water, his posture was upright and vigorous, and the side face exposed under his short hair seemed to be exceptionally heroic and brave at this moment. Swish. The arrow on Li Xiaoman's bowstring shot out, and in a blink of an eye the arrow with a fiery feather tail appeared on the target, and the feather tail was still buzzing and trembling. Hit the bullseye. Swish swish. Li Xiaoman did not stop, but continued to draw the bow and shoot the arrows, and the arrows were on the target, and each arrow was very accurate. In a blink of an eye, the area around the first arrow was crowded with arrows. No one missed the target, basically all of them were above nine rings. At this moment, Li Xiaoman was really super shabby, and Lin Xian couldn't help but feel amazed when he watched it. Great. When Li Xiaoman lowered his bow, Lin Xian stretched his thumb to the other party and exclaimed from the bottom of his heart. There's nothing great, it's nothing more than being familiar with your hands. If you practice for three to five years, you can practice like me. 
Li Xiaoman said with a little pant, after all, shooting ten times in a row is still a bit difficult for the girl's physical strength. It's interesting, you can come to learn more in the future. Lin Shan drew his bow and aimed at the target, and smiled in response to Li Xiaoman. The owner of this archery club is a friend of my dad. They are all members. I will help you to get a card. The people playing here are basically people who are either rich or noble. There is no dick or sorrowful and cheap, and it is also a good social occasion. Li Xiaoman wiped the fine sweat on his forehead with a tissue, and at the same time stretched out his hand to constantly adjust Lin Xian's posture. If the posture was not correct, Lin Xian was not allowed to shoot. This made Lin Xian feel a little uncomfortable, only a few tens of seconds of muscles. It's so sour. The two played by the arrow path for half an hour, Lin Xian shot a dozen times, and Li Xiaoman shot four sets. Feeling a little tired, the two went to the floor-to-ceiling window in the rest area not far from the arrow path and sat down. The arrow pavilion has four floors. Lin Xian and Li Xiaoman are located on the third floor. As far as they can see, there are lush garden trees nearby, and a steel city with tall buildings in the distance. After exercising, they sit in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows and drink a glass of fruit. It makes people feel quite quiet. Mr. Lin, let's talk. After Li Xiaoman took a few sips of papaya milk juice, she narrowed her smile and said more sternly, What is your position regarding this company? The company's initial positioning is film and television investment. Movies, TV dramas, and even web dramas are the company's future investment goals. Lin Qian answered simply. Hearing that the future company's decision is film and television investment, Li Xiaoman showed an eager look on his face. What about the company's mid- and late-stage positioning? Li Xiaoman's reaction was still very keen, and he quickly caught a certain detail in Lin Qian's words. Midterm and late-stage business. Commercial secrets, no comment. Lin Qian shrugged and refused to answer very simply. Seeing Lin Xian's refusal to answer, Li Xiaoman didn't care. After all, she and Lin Xian are still in the interview stage. It's normal if they don't tell you, and she is not so glass-hearted. Then what is the position of President Lin for the position of general manager? Li Xiaoman asked again. Manager. Just the manager? Hearing Lin Xian's answer, Li Xiaoman's expression changed slightly. Seeing some changes in Li Xiaoman's expression, Lin Xian quickly added, in addition to the manager, the general manager will also act as the review and screening of some investment projects, and finally decide which movie can be voted together with me. After saying this, Li Xiaoman's expression immediately regained its beauty. Call. The duck that reached its mouth almost flew. Lin Xian was silently relieved. The essence of Li Xiaoman's investment in the black hole is firmly completed. It is definitely impossible for her to leave the investment, but it is no problem to let her participate. Anyway, the final approval of each investment project must be signed by Lin Qian. When the time comes, with his skillful tongue, Li Xiaoman is guaranteed to have both a sense of participation, a sense of accomplishment, and a sense of comfort. President Lin, I am very interested in the company's main business direction in the future. If you like me, then we can talk about salary. Li Xiaoman looked at Lin Qian with some expectation. It was obvious that after talking with Lin Qian, she was really interested in this company. The strong capital of 200 million US dollars is enough for her to make a big splash in the film and television industry. Hmph, I must let my father know that my investment vision is very good. Li Xiaoman thought a little tsundera in his heart. The probation period is six months. During the probation period, the monthly salary is 200,000, and there is no company's performance commission. After the probation period, the annual salary is 5 million, performance commissions, options, etc. In the past few days, Lin Xian has gained a rough understanding of the salary and treatment of professional managers in large companies. Some learned from China Merchants Bank, and some learned from Zhang Ningchuan. With Li Xiaoman's glamorous resume, it's definitely worth Lin Xian's high price, and Lin Xian didn't take any careful consideration. Full of sincerity. Li Xiaoman is also very satisfied with Lin Xian's salary. Although she is not short of money, her salary represents the value of a person. Lin Xian offered her such a high salary, which shows that in Lin Xian's heart, her value is very high, which gives her a very recognized sense of accomplishment. Regarding salary, Li Xiaoman didn't have much opinion, but made some suggestions in a few subtle points. After a brief discussion, the two talked a lot about the company's location, employee recruitment, etc., and the whole conversation was very pleasant. Mr. Lin, I will be the brother of the same trench from now on, so please show me more. Mr. Li, happy cooperation. Man Man? Just as Lin Xian and Li Xiaoman reached a consensus on cooperation and talked about the company's future plans with a smile, 
a voice suddenly came next to them. Lin Xian heard about his reputation, only to see a handsome man in sportswear walking over with a smile, very kind to Li Xiaoman's title. Xiaobin, you are here today. Seeing the man coming, Li Xiaoman had a slight smile on his face. Um? It's just the kind of smirk on the surface. I just had time this afternoon. I haven't been to the Aero Museum for a long time, so I came to have fun. I didn't expect to meet you here. Xiebin responded with a smile, then turned to Lin Qian and asked with a smile, Man Man, is this your brother? No. Your friend? Nor. Neither a friend nor a brother, could it be? Xiebin's face changed slightly. This is my boss. Li Xiaoman looked at Xiebin's expression, knowing that the other party must be crooked, so he took the initiative to introduce Lin Qian's identity. Boss? Xiaobin was a little surprised, Man Man, have you quit from Uncle Li? Yes. Hearing this, Xiaobin said jokingly, so are you interested in working here? Although my company and Uncle Li's Hanhai films are incomparable, the future prospects are good. If you come, you will definitely be able to make a difference. 4. Originally, when Lin Qian saw Xia Bin and Li Xiaoman recounting the past, he slowly drank the fruit drink, but he did not expect that the other party suddenly dug up his own corner. Whether it is tolerable or unbearable, uncle tolerable, the old king next door can't bear it. Sister man, who is this? Lin Qian coughed lightly and actively asked Li Xiaoman. Oh, this is Xia Bin, my high school classmate. Now I have opened an entertainment company. The current main business direction is network anchors. There are more than a dozen million fans. Li Xiaoman introduced to Lin Xian. When Lin Xian heard this, he suddenly felt a little lack of interest. I thought it was a strong competitor, but as a result. That's it? Mr. Xia, lucky to meet. Lin Xian gestured to Xia Bin with the fruit drink in his hand, and said hello. Looking at Lin Xian's slightly perfunctory attitude, this made Xia Bin a little uncomfortable. Man man, really, why not come to our company and choose any position? Xiabin can be said to be very persistent. Xiabin, if you can actually pay a company with a registered capital of 200 million US dollars, and then let me be the general manager, then I will go with you, can you? Li Xiaoman said impatiently. Man man, let alone 200 million US dollars, it is 200 million Chinese dollars. You can't get so much out of me and my company if you package and sell it. It's not hard for me. Xiabin said with a smile. Looking at Xie Bin's appearance, Lin Xian couldn't help but think of his good classmate Zhang Bingyu. The gesture of licking the dog was exactly the same. Sure enough, licking dogs are everywhere. Then you tell me to give up the company with a paid-in registered capital of 200 million US dollars, give up the position of general manager, and let me go to your small company. Aren't you also embarrassing me? Li Xiaoman sucked the papaya and banana juice in his glass and shrugged to Xie Bin. Xie Bin is stupid. He turned his head in a dull manner and looked at Lin Xian sitting in a chair, looking at the scenery, pretendingly, and his brain was really buzzing. Man man, are you kidding me? Do you think I am so free? Li Xiaoman raised an eyebrow and asked, his expression very serious. Gu Dong. Xia Bin's throat moved, and the young heart was shocked and shouted at Lin Xian. Paid. Two hundred million dollars. What does this mean? The cash flow of 200 million US dollars, let alone him, is enough for his father to cash out the equity. But the young man in front of him took it out easily. What is the origin of this young man? Man man, what do you call this man? Lin Qian Lin Lin. President Lin, younger brother Xie Bin, this is the business card of younger brother, I said today why I suddenly wanted to come to the Arrow Museum. It turned out to be a destined fate. Fortunately to be able to meet President Lin, my younger brother is really. Xia Bin, who was originally quite arrogant, had taken a 180 degree turn at this moment, and his attitude was particularly eager. He opened his mouth and closed his mouth and was a younger brother, but Xia Bin was obviously almost 10 years older than Lin Qian. Looking at Xia Bin, who suddenly lowered his posture, Lin Qian was a little speechless. Mr. Xia, I have something to discuss with Li Xiaoman, we won't eat dinner, and we can cooperate if we have the opportunity in the future. Lin Qian took the business card from Xia Bin and responded in a light tone. Okay, okay, I won't bother you to discuss business matters. Xia Bin replied again and again, then said to Li Xiaoman, then turned around and left. Your classmate. Like you? After Xia Bin left, Lin Qian asked with a smile. It's my suitor, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I like it. He likes it more, I think it should be my family's Hanhai pictures. 
Li Xiaoman twisted the hair around her ears and responded with a faint smile. I see. Lin Qian understood, and then shook his head. Don't talk about him, let's talk about the company, have you figured out the company name? Yeah. Lin Qian nodded, just call Eggshell Media. Eggshell Media? Li Xiaoman repeated it, and after thinking about it, he nodded. The eggshell symbolizes the incubation of new life, and our main film and television investment, film and television works are the lives that have not yet been conceived. Under our investment and operation, they broke out of the shell. They are very appropriate, and the name is also very suitable for the current trend of the times, I feel good. Li Xiaoman's reaction ability is still very strong, and in an instant he understood the meaning of Lin Qian's name. Lin Qian smiled and nodded slightly, confirming Li Xiaoman's analysis. In fact, what Li Xiaoman doesn't know is that this eggshell will not only be bred from film and television works in the future, but there will be more outlets waiting for Lin Xian to be conceived in the future. At 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, let's go to the Bureau of Industry and Commerce to go through the formalities and try to finish things tomorrow morning. I will go to Anxiong to do some things in the afternoon. Lin Xian began to assume the role of the boss and ordered Li Xiaoman. Good. Li Xiaoman answered. Then the two looked at each other speechlessly, and they seemed to be talking about it. How many times do you want to shoot again? Okay, I didn't shoot very well just now, I'll shoot well this time. Go, I will teach you. The two stayed at the Arrow Museum until 7 o'clock in the evening. After that, they found a restaurant nearby and had a bite to eat. Li Xiaoman sent Lin Xian back to the school. Looking at Rafa, who disappeared into the traffic in a blink of an eye, Lin Xian stretched his waist slightly exhausted, but his face was full of smiles. The company's affairs can be regarded as settled. After completing the formalities tomorrow, Li Xiaoman will start looking for the company's address, and then open the company as soon as possible. In the future, everything can be expected. The next morning, Lin Qian brought pre-prepared information and met with Li Xiaoman at a certain industrial and commercial bureau in Yanjing. Name check, open capital verification account, capital verification, signature, submission of materials. Originally, these procedures that took several days for ordinary people were completed in just one morning after Lin Xian used the China Merchants Bank relationship. The next step is to wait for the business license. Even if the China Merchants Bank relationship is used in this process, it still takes three to five days. After finishing everything, Lin Xian and Li Xiaoman stood in front of the industrial and commercial bureau parking lot to say goodbye. The company address will bother you to run away, try to be in the CBD of the CY area, so that it can be closer to our school. As for the office building, it is best to find a newly built office building in recent years, and the property conditions are better. These are the conditions for the time being. You can select a few, and when I come back from Anxiong, we will make up our minds together. Lin Xian stood in front of his Bentley Continental GT and said to Li Xiaoman. Clear. I will go to see it in the afternoon, and I will send you the better videos and pictures via WeChat at that time, and I will contact you at any time. Li Xiaoman was wearing coffee-colored sunglasses and standing in front of the flaming Rafa, looking very sassy. Lin Xian gave Li Xiaoman an okay gesture, then said nothing more, opened the car door, sat in, and drove out of the parking lot. Is it here? I'm about to leave Yinjing again. Following the position given by Lu Ning, Lin Xian drove along according to the navigation. What catches the eye is a very contemporary neighborhood. The pedestrians in the past are all aged ants. Lin Xian's brand new Bentley Continental GT is quite out of place here. Zhou Fan, we have broken up for a long time. Can you stop looking for me? I have said that many times, I don't want to go back to my hometown, I want to stay in Yanjing. You have your life, I have my life, I won't make any comments on your choice, please don't force me. Parked the car on the side of the road, and was facing Lin Xian, who was asking if he had gone wrong with the grocery shopping ant, Lin Xian subconsciously raised his head when he heard the shouts coming from a short distance. Looking at the tall figure 10 meters away, Lin Qian would not admit the wrong person, it must be Lu Ning. In front of Lu Ning, there stood a young man who was about the same height as Lin Qian, who was very handsome, and his expression was very excited at this time. What is so good about Yinqing that makes you want to stay in Yinqing so much? Go home and test a career editor safely. Isn't it bad to lead a stable life? If you can, who doesn't want to stay in Yinjing, but can you afford Yinjing's house? Listening to the quarrel between the two not far away, Lin Qian was silent. Hey, every room, young people quarrel, they will never leave the room. I really don't know whether they love each other or the house in their so-called relationship. The old woman standing in front of Lin Qian obviously noticed the quarrel between Lu Ning and her ex-boyfriend not far away, and she couldn't help but shook her head and said with emotion. How can I know if I can't afford it if I don't try it? 
I can come back anytime I go back to my hometown, but my youth is only this once. Even if I know I can't afford it, I have to try it. In Lin Xian's impression, Lu Ning has always been a gentle and dignified girl, and at this moment Lu Ning is like an enraged female leopard. Does it rely on you to be a small teller in China Merchants Bank? Or are you planning to find an old man who is about to fall into the soil to continue the string with the help of beauty? Snapped. A crisp slap in the face came from afar, and Lu Ning was trembling slightly, while the boy standing opposite Lu Ning was covering his face. Are you special? O.M. Just as the boy was furious, a sound of full power went from far to near. A brand new pure white Bentley Continental GT slowly stopped by the side of the road. Lin Xian stared at the boy named Zhou Fan Coley, and then moved his eyes to Lu Ning, who was raining with pear blossoms. Ninger, are you still in the car? Lin Xian's voice was full of tenderness, and he greeted Lu Ning. Lu Ning stunned, and then realized that Lin Xian was helping her out. She lowered her head and wiped the tears from her face, lowered her head and turned on the co-pilot, and quickly sat in. After Lu Ning got into the co-pilot, Lin Xian slowly leaned towards Lu Ning. Very close. Lu Ning's white face became a little red, while Zhou Fan's face was a little green. Dry. What? Lu Ning thought that Lin Xian was going to kiss her, which made her look particularly cramped. Facing Lu Ning's question, Lin Xian would definitely answer a dry word in peace, but if the situation is wrong now, Lin Xian can only suppress the commotion. Baby, wear a seatbelt. Lin Xian's voice was very gentle, and at the same time he pulled the co-pilot's seatbelt with his left hand, and his movements were also very gentle. Fingertips swept over Lu Ning's delicate collarbone, swept over the towering touch of her chest, and finally inserted the seatbelt. Lu Ning could naturally feel the dishonesty of Lin Xian's fingertips, and her pink face couldn't help becoming even more red. Fasten the seatbelt, and Lin Xian sat down in the driving position again. Boy, I don't care if your name is Zhou Fan or Wang Fan. Even if your name is Wu Chao Fan, you will be honest with me from now on. If you let me know that you come to harass Lu Ning again, I will ask someone to interrupt your leg, the first time I interrupt the middle one, the second time I interrupt the middle one again, and the third time I will hit the middle one again. That one. What I have is money, try it if you don't believe me. Lin Xian looked at Zhou Fan beside the car coldly, his voice was as cold as the twelfth lunar winter. In just one week, the huge wealth gave Lin Xian a sense of inexplicable aura. Perhaps it was of little use to the rich children of Li Xiaoman who grew up in good clothes, but for Zhou Fan. For ordinary people, deterrence is still quite sufficient. Facing Lin Xian's harsh words, she looked at Lu Ning and the co-pilot again. Zhou Fan was anxious. He wanted to yell 30 years in Hadong and Heshi in 30 years, don't bully the young and poor, but in fact, he who didn't even have the courage to even try to stay in a big city was in his heart. After thinking about it, in front of Lin Xian's threat, he didn't even dare to let go. Because he knew what car Lin Xian drove and saw the license plate in front of Lin Xian's car. He didn't know who Lin Xian was, but this car alone was enough to make him understand that he and Lin Xian were totally different from each other. Not a person of the world. Lu Ning, the co-pilot, looked at Lin Xian on the left, and Zhou Fan on the right. At this moment, he completely gave up on this ex-boyfriend who had spent two years in college with her. I said that the sea is beautiful, but you said that the sea has drowned people. The values of the two are basically the distance between the bird and the fish. They seem to be very close to each other, but in reality they are two worlds. Lin Xian, let's go. Lu Ning no longer went to see Zhou Fan, but turned to Lin Xian and said softly. Hearing this, Lin Chen nodded lightly, and finally gave Zhou Fan a cold look, stepped on the accelerator, and drove away from here in a blink of an eye. Oh, women really would rather cry in a luxury car than laugh on a bicycle. What shit love? After a while, Zhou Fan stood in place and yelled, hysterical. He too a. Just as Zhou Fan was scolding, the trembling old lady passed by, spitting out sputum at Zhou Fan's feet. Zhou Fan was anxious, but looking at the trembling old lady who might fall down at any time, he once again persuaded him decisively. The convertible is slowly closed, like a dividing line, quietly separating the world inside the car from the world outside the car. The soothing piano music sounded, and Lin Qian drove the car quietly. He did not ask who Zhou Fan was, nor did he take the initiative to mention the matter just now. Just now. Thank you. After a long time, Lu Ning adjusted his mood and thanked Lin Qian softly. It's okay. Lin Qian shook his head. Lu Ning looked at Lin Xian who was driving, she suddenly felt a touch of melancholy in Lin Xian's body. The eyes are deep, as if there is a story hidden. Yes. Lin Xian's heart was a little confused at the moment. The matter between Lu Ning and Zhou Fan reminded him of his once and only relationship. 
The four-year-long distance love race also lost to reality in the end. At the age of 18, you took a girl to eat at the roadside stall, that is youth, but when you were 28, you also took the girl to eat at the roadside stall, it was called poor. The originally seemingly beautiful love, after the day it stepped out of campus, was difficult and difficult every step of the way. Poor and lowly couples are sad, without money, it is too difficult to take root in big cities. The sweetness of the past is filled with quarrels, and then the newcomers enter the venue. After facing the option with better material conditions, the final outcome is obvious. In the world of ordinary people, there is no word love. Where are we going? Lu Ning looked at the direction Lin Xian was driving, and she asked aloud. Come with me for a meal. It will take more than three hours to drive from Yinjing to Anxiong. Lin Xian answered, not much. Good. Seeing that Lin Xian didn't talk much, Lu Ning didn't say much, because her current mood was also a little messy. In this way, the two came to the Target restaurant with their own minds, and after parking the car in the parking lot, the two walked in side by side. Kulangiwan, a creative restaurant in Yinjing Old Alley. Some time ago, Zhang Ningchuan once approached Lin Qi and Anli. On the way to meet Lu Ning, he saw that the Kulangiwan and Lu Ning lived in the same direction. So booked a spot here in advance. The atrium is located in the depths of the old alley in Yanjing. It is suddenly open after a walk of more than 10 meters. The courtyard spreads out like a zigzag, with quiet paths and bamboo trees. Gray bricks, pottery vases, bamboo shadows, and floral art are particularly quiet and elegant in the pure white and refined space. I'm Lin Xian, I called in advance to make a reservation. When he came to the door of the restaurant, Lin Xian reported his name to the waiter at the door. After the other party checked, he bowed slightly towards Lin Xian and Lu Ning, and then led them into the restaurant. In the afternoon, there were not many people in the restaurant, and the seats were faintly full of people. Many people were drinking afternoon tea here and enjoying the quiet and tranquility of Yinjing Old Alley. After the two were seated, Lin Xian casually ordered two 1688 sets. He didn't read the specific package content, and directly ordered the two most expensive ones. After ordering the dishes, the waiter in the restaurant quickly presented two cups of concocted fruit drinks, paired with fine porcelain, which looked very beautiful. You explain to me, what does she mean when she sends you I miss you? She was broken in love, so she asked me to complain. I really have nothing to do with her. It's nothing? What does it mean? What does it mean only after a revisited breakup canon? Can you calm down? As soon as Lin Qian and Lu Ning sat down, a table of men and women two meters away from them suddenly quarreled. The woman was making a lot of noise. Although she tried to control the volume, the volume was still uncontrollably louder, and the people around the tables couldn't help but stare. Calm down? Okay. I'll vacate my home tonight and leave a place for you and your ex-girlfriend. After the woman left a word, she got up angrily and left, while the man hurriedly settled the bill and chased it out. Puff. After the two left, Lin Qian couldn't help but let out a happy voice. Lu Ning's eyes became a little strange, the couple quarreled, what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at that man is so straight, he actually wants to try to calm the woman down. Lin Qian took a sip of the fruit drink, then smiled and explained to Lu Ning why he laughed. Any questions? Lu Ning's beautiful eyes of willow leaves were a little confused. Of course there is a problem. Calm down in a man's mouth and calm down in a woman's mind are not a concept at all? Lin Xian explained, a man to calm down means that we sit down peacefully and have a good conversation. Maybe we can talk to each other. Calm down on both sides today, and we will start again tomorrow. And the calm in the woman's mind is that he is impatient with me, he is guilty, and he doesn't love me anymore. Finally, the comprehensive judgment is only four words die for the old lady. Listening to Lin Xian's eloquent speech, Lu Ning was a little startled, and then couldn't help covering his mouth and laughing. Don't tell me, what you said seems to be true. Right. Lin Xian raised his eyebrows slightly proudly. Because of the episode between the two neighbors, Lin Xian and Lu Ning both walked out of their original thoughts, and the exchanges began to gradually increase. Soon there were dishes on the table one after another. Each dish was a very large plate, but the actual dishes were only so small. Baiha river snails, oven roasted lamb chops, sturgeon spring, broiled black yak. From the appetizer to the last dessert, there were nearly 20 dishes in total. After eating for more than an hour, Lin Qian was only half full. However, in such an environment, with a beautiful woman like Lu Ning in front of him, Lin Qian is still very satisfied with what he eats. Mr. Lin, don't you want to ask what happened just now? After a meal, Lin Qian didn't ask, but Lu Ning couldn't hold it anymore. It's your personal matter. If you want to say it, I'm willing to listen. 
If you don't want to say it, why should I force it? Lin Xian was quite free and easy. He wiped his mouth with a napkin, and he muttered in his heart, the scallop just now has so much juice. That's my ex-boyfriend. I talked on and off for two years in college. I know. After graduating from university, we broke up because he wanted to go home and develop, and I wanted to stay in Yenqing. Lu Ning simply told her about her and her ex-boyfriend, which was basically the same as Lin Xian guessed. Did you really like him? Lu Ning nodded. What about now? Lu Ning hesitated, and finally shook his head with a wry smile. Just now, I have completely given up on him. If I said that I had some nostalgia for ours before, then now I am completely relieved. Lin Shen looked at Lu Ning's eyes, and the other party was very calm. The past is over. Lin Xian smiled, then stood up and said, Are you full? Let's go when we are full, and try to drive to Wanxiong before dark. Lu Ning nodded. After Lin Xian settled the bill, the two walked out of the old alley again and came to the parking lot. Garrulous. Walking to the parking lot, Lin Xian handed the car key to Lu Ning. What? Lu Ning looked at Lin Xian in confusion. Of course you are driving. I am the boss. You are the secretary. If the secretary does something, is it possible that you want me to drive? Lin Xian grinned and stood beside the co-pilot. Sitting in the co-pilot and looking at your legs, coughing cough, isn't the scenery beautiful? Lu Ning. Lu Ning Bei bit her teeth slightly, and some wanted to complain. Lin Shan didn't know how to pity Xiangxiu, but in fact this was her job. Who made her a secretary? Squeeze the seatbelt, I'm going to drive. At the turn of dusk and night, Lin Xian and Lu Ning's car finally drove into the range of Anxiong. Looking at the slightly dilapidated town, Lin Xian sighed. Now this is just a small broken town that no one cares about, but in two years, it will become the focus of the entire China. In the future, China's third new district will usher in earth-shaking changes, and the destiny of the aborigines here will also usher in unprecedented changes. But at this time, this is the most inconspicuous small county in China. President Lin, where do we drive? It's getting late, go to the hotel directly. Lin Xian cast the hotel route he just booked on his mobile phone on the car screen. Good. For about 10 minutes, the car slowly stopped in front of the hotel. Junting Holiday Hotel, this is the best hotel Lin Xian can find throughout Anxiong. Even the most expensive luxury suites only cost 700 yuan, which is at most a common room in a mid-range hotel in Yanjing. Price. This is Anxiong's best. Although it is not a big brand, the environment should be pretty good. Lin Xian got out of the car and stretched his waist while talking. However, Lin Xian's words did not receive Lu Ning's response. He looked sideways and saw that the door of the main driver's seat was open, and Lu Ning's pretty goose egg face showed a slightly painful expression. What's wrong? Lin Xian stepped forward and asked. Have. It's a little cramp. Lu Ning replied with a frowning eyebrow. After driving for three hours without stopping, Lu Ning was driving at a high speed for the first time. After his emotional tension, he suddenly relaxed, and his right foot couldn't help but feel a little cramping. Let me see. Lin Xian came to Lu Ning's body and squatted slightly, and stretched out his hand to take off the short heels on Lu Ning's right foot. I? I can do it myself. When Lin Xian touched her feet, Lu Ning's face turned red, and she subconsciously wanted to retract her feet. Don't be aggressive, you can only resist slowly, and I will help you stretch your feet back. When Lin Xian was speaking, he subconsciously raised his head, and then suddenly he was halfway through his words, and the rest of the words were all stuck in his throat. Today, Lu Ning is wearing a pure white spinning shirt, and underneath is a black hip skirt. She is not wearing stockings, and her straight and slender legs are exposed. At this time Lin Xian crouched in front of the car and Lu Ning was sitting in the main driver's seat, so there was an oblique slope between the two, so that when Lin Xian raised his head to look at Lu Ning, he inevitably saw something wrong. It should be seen. The girls are all sensitive. Lu Ning was stunned when she saw Lin Xian halfway through what she said. She quickly realized something, and she murmured, her hands were quickly pressed on her hip skirt, but her face was only slightly red, but it turned into a blush at the moment, and even the earlobe was a touch of pink. Ahem. I did not see anything. Lin Xian lowered his head and muttered softly. Lu Ning's face turned even redder when he heard Lin Xian's words. It is simply that there is no silver in this place. Lin Xian no longer dared to raise his head and look up. He wasn't the sordid ding-dong cat in the legend. He concentrated on helping Lu Ning relieve the cramping right foot. 
I have to say that Lu Ning's feet are beautiful, delicate and cute, each toe is small and full, and it does not have the characteristics of boys willing to sweat and smell. The left hand held Lu Ning's zinging ankle, while the right hand gently pinched the position of the forefoot and gently pushed upward. Yeah. After living for so many years, apart from his parents, Lin Xian was the first person of the opposite sex to touch with his feet. Whenever Lin Xian's fingertips swept over the soles of her feet inadvertently, her body seemed to have a trace of electricity flowing through her body, which gradually caused her to have some unspeakable reactions. Okay. Okay. Sure. The cramps eased slightly, and Lu Ning pulled her feet back from Lin Xian's hands. She didn't dare to let Lin Xian push down like that. If this continued, she was afraid that she would really embarrass herself in front of Lin Xian. N.S. Give you a wet wipe to wipe your hands. Lu Ning blushed and took out a wet wipe from her small bag and handed it to Lin Xian, then shook the broken hair in Wan's ear, thank you Lin. Lin Xian stood up from the ground, wiped his hands with a wet towel, and then said, small things, let's go in. Good. After locking the car, the two walked towards the hotel. The cramp in Lu Ning's right foot eased slightly, but he still walked a bit slowly. Seeing Lu Ning's limping appearance, Lin Xian took the bag that Lu Ning was carrying, and then held Lu Ning's hand with his right hand. I'll help you point, don't fall down again, such a beautiful face, if it is broken, it won't be beautiful. Lin Xian said jokingly. Thanks. Upon hearing this, Lu Ning whispered thank you again. Lin Xian's hands are thin and long, and they are very beautiful. Lu Ning's small hands are completely wrapped in Lin Xian's big hands. Feeling the temperature from Lin Xian's palm, Lu Ning's heartbeat inevitably quickens. In this way, Lin Xian took Lu Ning's hand and walked into the hotel slowly. As the best hotel in an ex county, luxury is not worth mentioning, but clean and tidy can be achieved. The lobby has a ceiling height of 5 meters and a large area. There are five receptionists standing in front of the bar. Hello, sir and madam, do you have a reservation? The girl at the receptionist see had a slight smile on her face and asked the two of them actively. I booked two luxury suites on Flying Pig two hours ago. My name is Lin Qian. You can take a look. Lin Qian answered. Two rooms? Girl C was stunned, her eyes turned around on Lin Qian and Lu Ning. At this moment, Lu Ning was slightly cramped in his feet, so his body was slightly leaning against Lin Qian, and the two of them held hands tightly together. Lin Qian was still carrying Lu Ning's bag, which looked like one. As a couple, they opened two rooms. M. The rich can really play. The girl murmured silently in her heart, but she was not slow in her hands, and quickly helped them open the room. Facing the girl's somewhat surprised gaze, Lu Ning could naturally understand the meaning, and she couldn't help but feel a little bit shy. Sir, the rooms are open for you. They are 404 and 405 respectively. The two rooms are adjacent to each other. There is an elevator on the left. I wish you a happy stay. Soon, the girl handed two room cards with both hands. After receiving the room card, Lin Qian didn't say much. He helped Lu Ning to take the elevator to the fourth floor and found the room for the two of them. Okay, take a break early. If you are hungry, call the front desk and ask them to bring up food. I will pay the fee when I check out. Lin Qian handed 404's room card and begged to Lu Ning, and then said with a smile. Lu Ning nodded, but Lin Qian didn't say anything, turned around and swiped his room door with his room card. Looking at Lin Qian's back, Lu Ning bit her lip with some entanglement. Mr. Lin. Thank you just now. Hearing this, Lin Qian waved his hand casually. A piece of cake. That. President Lin, would you like to come and sit in my room? Facing Lu Ning's big watery eyes, Lin Qian was stunned, then nodded. Then go in and sit down. It's still early anyway, and I don't mean anything by myself. Good. Seeing Lin Qian's quick response, Lu Ning was rather shy. She curled the hair around Wan's ear, turned around and opened the 404 room with her room card. Beep. The door lock rang, and Lu Ning pushed open the door. The deluxe suites are very large, covering nearly 100 square meters, with living room, study, and bedroom. There is also a bathtub in the bathroom that can accommodate two people. The room is clean and tidy as new. The two of them had no luggage, so they simply strolled around the suite, then both came to the sofa in the living room and sat down. President Lin, at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, the president of the Anchon sub-branch will come to meet us. Governor Wang has already greeted him. It is better to have an acquaintance in such a small county. With lone men and widows living in the same room, Lu Ning was afraid that the atmosphere would be embarrassing, so he took the initiative to talk about work. Row. 
Lin Qian replied with one word. The atmosphere in the room quickly regained the previous atmosphere again, with a little awkwardness in it. Watch TV for a while. Lu Ning suggested again. Lin Qian responded, looked down for the remote control, and turned on the TV. Fire. 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 As soon as I turned on the TV, there were three familiar roars in succession. It was the episode of Li Yunlong's attack on PA County in the TV series Bright Sword that was broadcast on the TV at this time. Lin Qian and Lu Ning looked at each other. Embarrassment of Jill the thief. How about I call the front desk and order something to eat? This time, Lin Qian suggested. Lu Ning lowered her head and nodded, then stood up and said, Mr. Lin, I want to take a shower in the bathroom. Oh, then you go. Lin Qian moved slightly in his heart, but on the surface he responded calmly. Lu Ning smiled at Lin Qian, then turned around and took a new set of bathrobes from the closet and walked into the bathroom. Boom. The bathroom door was closed tightly, and Lin Qian's original calmness disappeared without a trace. Could it be that the chastity that has been kept for six years in this life will be lost here today? Lin Qian's thoughts were a little ups and downs. Thinking of something in his mind, Lin Qian took the landline phone and dialed the front desk. Hey, does our hotel have food service? Yes, sir. Make me a package for two and send it to room 404. Sir, our hotel has five packages, they are. Lin Qian was thinking about something in his mind, but he didn't want to listen to the front desk introducing the package, and immediately interrupted, you can just give me the most expensive package. The price of the most expensive package is 3,000 yuan, sir, do you think it is okay? Yes, let the back chef make it as soon as possible, and then deliver it as soon as possible. Good sir. Without saying anything to the front desk, Lin Qian hung up the phone after ordering the meal. On the other side of the bathroom, there was a faint sound of running water, which made Lin Qian feel a little confused. If something is really possible, should I agree or should I cater to it? Lin Qian silently pondered this difficult multiple choice question. Watching TV like this, I don't know how long it took, the patter of water in the bathroom gradually stopped, and the room bell immediately rang. Ding dong. Sir, the meal you ordered is here. There was a female voice outside the door. Lin Qian heard the sound, walked to the door, opened the door casually, and then looked at the scene in front of him in shock. Candles, red wine, steaks, roses. F asterisk asterisk K. What the hell? This is the most expensive package in your hotel? Lin Qian muttered with a rich expression. Yes, sir. The set meal you ordered is our most expensive romantic meal set. The staple food is two sirloin steaks. The snacks include fried chicken wings, char-grilled oysters, colorful snacks, and the soup is oyster rib soup. The drink is from Wang Yu in 2002. The second brand wine of Ford is around 2,000 yuan. The waitress introduced their meal to Lin Qian very eagerly, speaking very fast. Lin Qian had a headache, but the food was already served, and he couldn't return it, not to mention that he refused the introduction by the front desk staff just now. Send it in. Lin Qian turned his body sideways and motioned to the waiter to push in the dining car. The waitresses were very skilled in their movements, placing candles, flower clusters, porcelain plates and knives. They even helped Lin Qian adjust the lighting carefully, and then left the room respectfully. After the waitress left, before Lin Qian could do anything, the bathroom door opened. Wearing a white cotton bathrobe, Lu Ning's hair is still slightly moist, her long hair is naturally draped over her left shoulder, and her pretty white face is full of a natural and healthy blush. It's nothing more than bathing beauty. This is. Lu Ning, who had just walked out of the bathroom, looked at Lin Qian who was standing in front of the candlelight not far away, and then looked at the flower clusters and western food on the dining table, her mouth slightly opened in surprise. If I say, it's all a coincidence, do you believe it? Lin Qian said with a bitter smile. Naturally, Lu Ning didn't believe it. She handed Lin Qian a scornful look of, do you treat me as a fool? Then she covered her mouth and walked slowly to the table her beautiful eyes filled with surprises. Which woman doesn't like romance, Lu Ning is also a woman. It's all arranged by heaven. From entering this room, Lin Qian felt that there were signs everywhere. The double bathtub in the bathroom, turn on the TV is Li Yunlong's roar, just order a meal and order the hotel's romantic lover package. Sit down. After Lin Qian muttered in his heart, he motioned Lu Ning to sit down and eat. Mr. Lin. Call me Lin Qian in private. Of course, if you want to call me Brother Qian, I won't be embarrassed. Lin Qian said with a smile. You are so beautiful. 
Lu Ning groaned a little, her dignified and soft oval face, matched with the natural charm of willow leaf eyes, the dignity and the charming ingeniously blended, making Lin Qian's heart beat faster. Wanyo Bao second brand red wine, more than 2,000 bottles, would you like to drink some? Lin Qian pointed to the red wine in the decanter. It's so expensive. Lu Ning was a little surprised, and then said, then drink less, or it's a bit wasteful. Lin Qian smiled and nodded, picked up the sobering vessel and poured half a cup for Lu Ning, and then poured himself half a cup. I wish us all the best tomorrow. Lin Qian picked up the wine glass and said with a smile. Definitely. Lu Ning responded with a smile. In the dim candlelight, the two people staggered their cups and did not talk about work. They talked about the past and the future. In a blink of an eye, a large bottle of red wine in the decanter quickly bottomed out. Lu Ning's fair and delicate face was drunk and red, Lin Xian, I'm a little dizzy. Then I will help you in. Lin Xian got up and came to Lu Ning's side, and walked to the room with Lu Ning. Helping to the bed, Lu Ning did not fall onto the bed. A pair of beautiful willow eyes looked directly at Lin Xian's eyes, with a touch of shyness in the intoxication. Lip. Slowly fit together. There are no extra words, you understand her pretentious reservedness, she understands your unruly schemes, everything is tacit, but natural. Lin Xian's right hand slowly grasped the belt of the bathrobe, and with a light force, the bathrobe slid off. It is as silky as suet jade and soft with gurgling water. I. This is the first time. Lu Ning, who was flushed, whispered in a low voice. I can see it. Lin Xian's voice is low, his eyes are deep, and there is another scratch on the corners of his lips. Whether it's a real baby, just look at the legs, basin, waist, and shoulders. Although the accuracy rate is less than 100%, the 70% success rate is still acceptable. Um. A cry, and the familiar firmness, proved Lin Xian's previous judgment and what Lu Ning said was true. Throughout the night, the roar of head Li Yunlong echoed in Lin Xian's ear. Over and over again, the cycle repeats. At the same time, Lin Xian suddenly understood one thing. It turns out that sometimes women come in and sit in the mouth. It may not only be sitting, but also doing. The next day. The morning sun shines into the bedroom through the tool by the window, and the light is refracted by the glass and curtains, making the room full of golden. Lin Xian slowly opened his eyes, and gently rolled his lower body, only to feel soreness in his waist and back. Um. Mainly back pain. Slightly sideways, Lin Xian saw a pair of bright eyes, even though the plain face was a little tired, it was still so moving and beautiful. When did you wake up? Lin Xian's right hand gently stroked Lu Ning's head, five fingers passed through her long black and smooth hair, and her thumb stroked her white and smooth face. It didn't take long to wake up. Facing Lin Xian's intimacy, and thinking about the double sports last night, Lu Ning's face was ruddy. Lin Xian stood up the pillow, sat up a little bit, and then wrapped Lu Ning on his chest. Naturally, Lu Ning's happiness was unavoidable during the whole process. Lu Ning, lying in front of Lin Xian, was meek and quiet. Feel the temperature of each other and listen to each other's heartbeat. A long time. Go back and move, find a place closer to your work unit. Lin Xian suddenly spoke. When Lu Ning heard the words, he cleverly responded. Find the kind of community with a good environment and complete properties. As long as the next door is not named Wang, you can choose the others. That said, when I was looking for a house, I would knock on the neighbors around me and ask if they were surnamed Wang? Lu Ning replied with a smile, responding to Lin Xian's ridicule. Lin Xian smiled, and after a moment of silence, he then said, after I go back, help me apply for a secondary card of the Centurion Black Gold card, and then take the secondary card. You will use the secondary card for daily expenses in the future. As for Wang Dishing, I will tell him to ask her to promote you to the position of account manager. Our company has already been registered with the Administration for Industry and Commerce. The main business area is film and television investment, and there will be a lot of funds moving in the future, you will be responsible for this in the future. Lu Ning raised his head and stared at Lin Xian for more than 10 seconds, then lowered his head sadly, and said softly, you just got up in the morning, you can't tell me some love words, it is necessary to tell everything so realistically. Well, what is reality? Lin Xian raised his brows slightly. The matter between men and women is not essentially an exchange of interests. You think my material conditions are good. Of course, you can also think of my handsomeness. But for me, I think you are fair and beautiful with long legs and your figure. And face value. Um. Also crave your extreme appearance when you have a disheveled hair. Lin Qian silently added a sentence in his heart. We all have plans for each other, so what's wrong with being realistic? 
In six years, Lin Xian's thinking gradually became clear. In other words, if I have no money, if you have no face, will our lives overlap? I think if I'm just an ordinary poor student, if you're just an ordinary girl, I don't think our lives will have any intersection. So it's not vulgar to talk about money. Lin Xian's voice was quiet, and his thinking was quite calm. Then what is our relationship now? Lu Ning asked in a low voice. Any relationship can be, depending on what you think. Then what can you give me? Except for being specific, I can give you anything. Gee? That's the end of the talk. If it's such a scumbag, how can you say it so naturally? Lin Xian himself felt a little surprised. Is it because of the injury of his ex-girlfriend that he fully realized that the physique of the ancient god body scumbag was completely awakened? Lu Ning was also a little confused by Lin Xian's frank scum, but there was no anger in his heart, perhaps because he was already prepared for this result. Then what if I only want your single-mindedness and nothing else? Then you won't break up with Zhou Fan. He can give you a focus, but it can't satisfy your dream of taking root in Yin Jing, and the final outcome is likely to be that you run out of youth and grow up with him. Finally but it has made other women. Lin Xian lowered his head and responded softly. Lu Ning was a little confused at the moment, Lin Xian was young and handsome, golden and gentle. Um. Good waste in kidney, water and tongue are okay. Following him, even though this kind of relationship violated normal values, Lu Ning did not resist. The beauty of the campus can't bring bread. If you want to take root in this land of Yinjing, you need a strong economic strength to live wonderfully and decently. It is too difficult for her to get all this by her own ability. And all this, Lin Xian can easily give her. The only price she has to pay is sharing, sharing this man with other women. But if Lu Ning is purely out of favorable material conditions, it is somewhat inaccurate. If Lin Xian were a greasy middle-aged, obese, bald man, Lu Ning would never agree, or even go out alone with him on business trips. She was undeniably fascinated by Lin Xian's nature of this person. She really liked Lin Xian a little bit. The humor is a little bit bad, there is no air, sometimes it is a little overbearing, but sometimes it is very gentle. The combination of various factors made Lu Ning willing to fall. I ask you now, would you like it? If you are willing, you can accept the conditions I just mentioned. If you are not willing, I will still suggest to Governor Wan to promote you. Of course, you will never be my exclusive personal secretary again. It was a dream last night. Lin Chen looked down at Lu Ning and asked in a low voice. I? I would. Lu Ning hesitated for more than 10 seconds and finally chose to agree. If you are tired of this relationship in a few years, you can ask me to terminate this relationship at any time. When you leave, I will give you a house in the fourth ring road of Yinjing, but when the relationship ends before, you can have no other men except me. You are so domineering. Hearing the last request, Lu Ning blared at Lin Xian lightly, groaning in his mouth. I'm double labeled, are you biting me? Lin Xian raised his eyebrows, while holding Lu Ning's slender waist arm with a little force, making the two bodies tighter. Then I don't find other men, can I find some male girlfriends? Lu Ning joked. Sure. What? This time it was Lu Ning's turn to froze, and asked a little stupidly, what kind of male girlfriend is okay? Dead. Lin Xian spit out two words lightly. Lu Ning. She knew how could a man such as Lin Xian's domineering and machismo allow her to have a male girlfriend. You just said that if I want to terminate this relationship, I can terminate it unilaterally at any time. Lu Ning looked up at Lin Xian's profile and asked softly, then what if I never want to terminate it? When Lin Xian heard this, he lowered his head and his eyes met. Then I will support you for the rest of my life. Whoosh. Lin Xian's words seemed to be an arrow, which pierced Lu Ning's heart in an instant. Domineering and gentle, Lu Ning's beautiful willow leaves instantly filled with tenderness. Sometimes girl satisfaction is as simple as that. Well. She took the initiative to kiss Lin Xian's lips. Then. Insufficient balance, please recharge. After half an hour, the two of them after exercising in the morning washed in the bathroom and quickly got dressed. Looking at Lu Ning, who was walking in a slightly weird posture, Lin Qian asked with concern, does it still hurt? Just so confident. Only men who are not confident will ask, is it cool? And lick the dog, only ask, are you there? What are you talking about? Lu Ning replied with some irritation, and then whispered slightly, it turns out that he really didn't lie that day. Let's pass by the mall and buy you a flat shoe. Lin Xian didn't hear Lu Ning's small whisper, and said with a smile. I'm fine, let's go, it's almost 9 o'clock. Lu Ning's heart was slightly warm, but her lips urged. 
Good. Anxiong is not called it only two years later. Two years later, Anxiong covers a wide area. Today, Anxiong only covers the two counties of X County and AX County, separated by the National 5A level by Yangdian Scenic Area. Today, Linqian and Luning are in County X in Anxiong Prefecture. After walking out of the hotel, the two drove to the Bureau of Land and Resources in County X. At the door of the Bureau of Land and Resources, they met Wu Shan, the president of the merchant's subbranch in County X. He was a middle-aged man in his forties with dark skin and casual clothes. The same as the president, but Wu Shan and Wang Dishing are in a world of difference in status compared to the two, and they are not comparable at all. You are President Lin, you are as talented and arrogant as Governor Wang said. Faced with Lin Xian, Wu Shan can be said to be extremely humble. With a big customer like Lin Xian that even the head office has to treat with care, if the other party is a little unhappy because of him, he can just clean up the bedding and go home with a word from the other party. After all, County X was just a small county at this time, and he really didn't have any expressions at all. President Wu is polite. Facing Wu Shan's flattery, Lin Xian smiled lightly, hurry up. Okay, please, please. Seeing that Lin Xian didn't want to talk more, Wu Shan immediately walked towards the Bureau of Land and Resources to meet Lin Xian. Compared with the high-walled courtyards in big cities, the Land and Resources Bureau of County X looks rather shabby and deserted. The decoration is not to be said to be shabby, but it is not far from the idiom. President Wu, this is President Lin. As soon as Lin Xian walked in, a few middle-aged people greeted him. Under Wu Shan's introduction, the other party was the director, deputy director, and director of the X County Land and Resources Administration. It can be said that they gave Lin Xian the highest degree of welcome. After a brief greeting, everyone came to a conference room and sat down. President Lin, listen to President Wu said, do you intend to invest in County X? After taking his seat, Gao Feng, the middle-aged director, saw that Lin Xian didn't say much, and even if he didn't continue to greet him, he chose to get straight to the point. From the wind that passed through Wu Shan, he knew that the young man who looked at the same age as his son was the target of fawning even at the head office. The net worth was unknown, but it was definitely an unimaginable trench for ordinary people. County X is just a small county, and no one has been interested in it for many years. Now suddenly a big boss wants to invest, and the whole bureau is busy because of Lin Xian's arrival. Yes, I registered an entertainment media company in Yinjing a few days ago. In the future, I may recruit many trainee artists. I plan to build a large-scale training base in X County. The land in Yinjing is too expensive and not easy to take. We are very close to Yinjing and relying on Byangdian. The air is fresh and the scenery is beautiful. It would be great to have closed training. Lin Xian's voice didn't rush, and he said lightly about the future. Mr. Lin, what you said is too right, we can't do anything else here, but the environment is particularly good, which meets your requirements too much. Just after Lin Qian finished speaking, Gao Feng immediately echoed the Tao. In that case, let's talk about commercial land in Bureau Wu? Good. Two hours later. Lin Qian, Lu Ning, and Wu Shan were politely sent out by Gao Feng and others. Lin Qian and Gao Feng have reached an initial agreement with the commercial land covering an area of 30,000 square meters in the northwest of X County. According to Lin Qian's plan, a large training base will be built here in the future, with artist apartments and related supporting facilities. When Wu Shan heard this, Li's mouth almost couldn't close. According to Lin Qian's statement, this area will become a functional area in the future. If it is completed, it will definitely promote the employment and development of X County in the future. Such a good thing, how can Wu Shan not agree to it? He immediately reported to the relevant leaders and asked Lin Qian to submit the relevant materials, and then proceeded through the application process. 30,000 square meters of commercial land, 70 years of property rights, the price only needs. 20 million. It is equivalent to less than 1,000 yuan per square meter, and two years later, when the new district was officially announced, Lin Qian's conservative estimate, the land he held in his hand would have to be at least several dozen times longer. It's hard to say even a hundred times in the future. Moreover, X County will be positioned as a gathering place for major state-owned enterprises and high-tech enterprises in the future. At the beginning, many people called it the next Pudong of China shipping, which shows its future potential. To build a large-scale artist training center on such a land with a lot of money in the future, surrounded by branches of China's commercial giants, is very compelling just to think about it. For such cabbage prices, as long as the new district is established, Lin Qian will definitely not lose money regardless of the future. Lin Qian can afford to play with low risk and big rewards. After the matter is finalized, the next thing will be easy to handle. 
After a few days, Lin Qian will find a professional law firm to entrust this matter, and find a professional person to handle the rest. Lin Qian will wait for the property right to be collected. That's it for a small book. Everything went well, Lin Qian was in a good mood, looking at the dignified and generous little secretary beside him. Um. Think of the sun. Facing Lin Qian's scorching gaze, Lu Ning's face blushed slightly. President Lin, what are our next arrangements? Lu Ning thought about the title, and there was a touch of charm in the beautiful Lu Ye's eyes. Last night, Brother Qian, Brother Qian, you were so awesome, why are you called Manager Lin now? Lin Qian slightly leaned close to Lu Ning's ear and joked quietly. After speaking, Lin Qian returned to the original distance, with a smirk on his face. Lu Ning's face was flushed by Lin Xian's ridicule, and Wu Shan's eyes straightened as he looked at Lin Xian's side. But soon he lowered his head, he dared not look anymore, for fear of causing Lin Xian's dissatisfaction. I will find someone special for the rest of the matter. Let's go back to Yan Jing directly. Lin Xian straightened his collar and regained his seriousness. Good. Lu Ning responded and unconditionally obeyed Lin Xian's arrangement. Mr. Lin, go slowly. President Wu, someone will come over to help me with the procedures in a few days, and you will have to help me by that time. Yes, President Lin, don't worry, you can order something. Thanks, when the matter is over, I will prepare a small gift, and then I will ask President Wu to smile. You are polite. While Lin Xian and Lu Ning walked outside, they were in a good manner with Wu Shan at the same time. Soon they walked out of the small courtyard of the X County Land and Resources Bureau, and just walked to the front of the car, but suddenly an old woman ran out of the road. Boss, are you buying land? Our family has 10,000 square meters of commercial land in R.C. County. The property rights are still 65 years. The price is very low. We are eager to resell it for life-saving purposes. Are you interested? The old woman was over 70, standing in front of Lin Qian, her hands folded, her waist was slightly excited. Seeing the old woman who came out suddenly, Lin Qian was a little dazed at first, and subconsciously protected Lu Ning behind him, while Wu Shan subconsciously protected Lin Qian behind him. Lu Ning was a little moved by Lin Qian's subconscious behavior, and slowly put his hands on Lin Qian's arm, and a sense of security from the inside out naturally filled her heart. But Lin Qian was stunned after listening to the old woman's words. R.C. County? Resale of 10,000 square meters of commercial land? Lin Qian showed some interest. My godslayed son-in-law is really inferior to pigs and dogs, to be utterly conscience, to beasts, why did I go blind and marry my daughter to him? He was a poor boy at the beginning. My daughter accompanying him on his way around, finally saving some money, and returning to his hometown to open a holiday villa. As a result, after two years of good days, that bastard loves the new and hates the old. Raising a young kid outside, and in recent years has become obsessed with gambling, not only emptied all the money at home, but also owed millions of foreign debts. Now he ran away with the little one, leaving my daughter alone to bear the debt. Under the shady tree, the old woman told Lin Qian and the others the tragic experience of her family with tears and snot. Really complain and hate. Even Lin Qian and Wu Shan, two big men, were a little uncomfortable after hearing them, and Lu Ning, as a woman, was even more emotional with red eyes. At the same time, the last lumps and hesitation in her heart disappeared completely. Maybe, be realistic. There is nothing wrong with it. My daughter is now alone with her two-year-old child, an orphan, and a widow. She faces a bunch of debt collectors every day. Her body is really unbearable. We plan to divorce the bastard directly after we sell the resort. So boss, if you are interested in purchasing land around Xiong County, you might consider our land. The land of our resort is backed by mountains and rivers. It is only 15 minutes away from Rongqing County by car. When there were no such troubles before, business has always been good and there are often bosses from Yinjing or family vacations. If you take over, if you don't want to renovate, you can just open the business without any compensation. The old woman took Lin Xian's hand and looked at Lin Xian expectantly. In her mind at this time, Lin Xian was the one who could save her daughter from the sea of suffering. She guarded the ex-county land and resources bureau for half a month, and finally guarded a boss who might buy their resort. Lin Xian pretended to indulge for a moment when he heard the words, then hesitated to look at Lu Ning and Wu Shan next to him, should we go and see? Anyway, X County and RC County are not very far away, half an hour's drive away. That's it. Not far, not far, very close. The old woman heard that Lin Xian deliberately went to take a look, and was overjoyed immediately, and hurriedly agreed. Lu Ning naturally had no opinion, and Wu Shan was also dominated by Lin Xian, and both said that there was no problem. 
President Wu, can I trouble you to follow along, you drive the car with the old woman leading the way, I drove behind you, how about? Lin Shan looked at Wu Shan and asked. No problem. Wu Shan responded quickly, and then said to the old woman, old man, wait a while, I'll transfer the car, ten minutes. Don't worry, don't worry, you can do everything. The old woman said repeatedly. Wu Shan immediately started calling for a taxi. Ten minutes later, two Buick commercial vehicles stopped slowly on the side of the road, with six people in each vehicle. Seeing this formation, Lin Qian gave Wu Shan a little puzzled look. Mr. Lin, your wealth is billions, and we are in a remote location. Now we are going to RC County. It is safer for us to bring some people. The heart of harm is not allowed, but the heart of defense is also necessary. Wu Shan leaning over and whispered beside Lin Qian. Lin Qian suddenly gave a thumbs up to Wu Shan. It is still the thoughtful thought of President Wu. With your delicate thoughts, President Wu, it is really a shame to be a small president in County X. When I return to Yanjing, I will decide. I want to give you a few words to Governor Wang. Think about what Mr. Lin thinks. This is my duty. As long as Mr. Lin can complete this investment journey safely, comfortably, and happily, this is my greatest satisfaction in Wushan. Wushan smiled like a smile on his face. A blooming daisy, flattery in the mouth one after another. Listening to Wu Shan's flattery, Lin Qian sighed slightly. When you have no money, no one will hear you, but when you have money, your fart is really sweet. This society has a big prejudice against the rich. As for a handsome and rich person like me, the prejudice is even greater. It's really difficult. Lin Qian poked himself shamelessly and sighed with emotion. After the car called by Wu Shan arrived, everyone drove towards the resort that the old woman said. The old woman was sitting in the top car with the Bentley Continental GT driven by Lin Qian in the middle, followed by a commercial Buick postponed. Driving on the county road, flying dust and flying, it does not have a certain momentum. In the airtight compartment, Lin Qian drove and Lu Ning was in the co-driver. After all, Lu Ning was now injured and her status had also been upgraded to Lin Qian's woman. Lin Qian naturally had to pity a little bit. Lu Ning, do you think I should hire two bodyguards? Lin Qian asked suddenly. What Wu Shan said just now gave Lin Qian a little alert. Now, he is no longer the poor student with a cleaner pocket than ass in his previous life, but a wealthy adult with billions of wealth. It is hard to guarantee that no one will choose to take risks after knowing his wealth. Bodyguards and drivers are all auxiliary personnel he needs to be equipped with. If he has a driver, he can buy a Rolls Royce. In the future, there will be things like this long distance drive. Let the driver sit in the front and drive. He and Lu Ning sit in the back touching the tender thighs of the little secretary, and come again. A cup of happy fat house water of 82 years, isn't it fragrant? I think it can. Lu Ning agreed. She also felt that with Lin Qian's current identity, it was indeed inappropriate to drive a long-distance trip by herself, and it was not safe to be tired. Lin Qian heard the words and nodded, then you go back and do a market survey for me, and I will buy a security company. What? Lu Ning was stunned. Lin Xian couldn't help but feel a little uncontrollable with his slightly open mouth, and his thoughts gradually became readers. Didn't you just talk about hiring a bodyguard? Why did you suddenly want to buy a security company? Lu Ning asked in a puzzled manner. Acquiring a security company will make it easier to cultivate the loyalty of bodyguards, and in the future, my entertainment media company will recruit trainees on a large scale, and there will definitely be artists in the future. Professional bodyguards will also be needed at that time, plus many industries in the future. It also needs the garrison of security personnel. Um. And my beautiful little secretary also needs female bodyguards to guard, my woman goes out shopping, how can I do without a person with a bag? Lin Qian said at the end, putting his right hand lightly on Lu Ning's, smiling at Lu Ning, and said softly. When Lu Ning heard the words, the little heart couldn't help but plopped faster. Although the scum is a bit scum, this little man is really sweet. Lu Ning couldn't help sighing with emotion in her heart. So in the future, I will need a lot of security personnel. Rather than handing over the money to others to make money, it would be better for me to buy a family by myself. It would be more cost-effective if I could meet the domestic demand and occasionally accept some outsourcing orders. Lin Qian's calculations are very precise. When it is time to spend money, he will never be soft, but when it is time to calculate, he will still calculate. After all, what the hell is his down system, he still doesn't know what it is, so he still wants to spend the 500 million dollars in his hand. After Lu Ning listened to Lin Xian's thoughts, she nodded slightly, what you said makes sense, I will help you do a market survey when I go back, so that you can buy it for your reference. 
Half an hour later, Lin Qian saw the poor daughter of the old woman. Less than 30 years old, but haggard like a 40-year-old middle-aged woman, with sallow skin and dark eyes, holding a two-year-old son in her arms. The little guy is white and clean, his fleshy face looks very cute, and the little hand lifts up to touch his mother's face from time to time. He doesn't know what kind of suffering his mother is going through at this time. Hello, President Lin, let me show you around first. The woman's name is Lin Ji, which coincidentally has the same surname as Lin Qian, and her voice is a little weak. Good. Lin Qian simply answered. Lin Qi handed the son in his arms to the old father behind him, and then made a pleased gesture to Lin Qian. In Lin Qian's view, the 10,000 square meters of commercial land in the elderly population is definitely not small. Perhaps the relevant departments in RC County are too lazy to manage it, so it has been expanded a lot. The main part of the resort is a four-story building with right angles. The decoration a few years ago looks a bit dilapidated now. There are restaurants, banquet halls, kitchens, and guest rooms in the building. And around the main building, there are farmhouse gardens, fruit trees, and flower fields. Directly in front of the main building is a huge lake, connected to the tributary of Bayangdian Lake, which is a lake of living water with many fishes. There are many pavilions by the lake, which is definitely a rare and good place for many tourists who like to fish. And on the lake, Lin Qian also saw a lot of water motorcycles, speedboats, cruise ships and other equipment. The lake is sparkling and the water quality is very good. Standing upstairs and looking out, RC County is in the south, the endless lake is in the west, and the lush green hills are in the east. The air is really fresh, just like natural oxygen. Looking at such a landscape, looking at RC County to the south, he suddenly looked forward to what it will look like in 20 years' time. Once that small fishing village has become an international metropolis with a GDP of trillions in 20 years. When it was first built, was there anyone who looked into the distance with infinite expectations like him? Lin Shen didn't know what the future here was like, but he wanted to witness it in the remaining 20 years of his life. Perhaps. A brand new world miracle will be born before his eyes. On this four-story building, it will continue to transform, transform, and transform again. He will see the high-rise buildings rising from the ground, and the small county town will become the new steel city. How spectacular it is. Lin Xian had many thoughts, and his heart was a little surging. Whose name is written on this commercial land? Lin Xian stared for a long time, he suddenly turned around and asked Lin Ji. Lin Ji, who was always worried, saw that Lin Xian had not spoken just now, thinking that he was not satisfied with this place, and thought he had to be prepared for a long wait, when he heard Lin Qian inquiring about the property rights, his heart suddenly rekindled. Hope. Mr. Lin, the land property rights are written in the names of me and me, my husband. When she said the word husband, the woman gritted her teeth and said, if you intend to buy, you can rest assured, his side no problem, there will be absolutely no problems in terms of formalities for transfer. Sell sincerely? Lin Qian turned around and asked faintly. Sincerity. Lin Shi nodded, her tone firm. Then I'll make a price, sell and then sell, not sell, and get it. Looking at Lin Xian's indifferent appearance, Lin Shi felt a little nervous, but still nodded. The property rights for the remaining 65 years of the land, as well as the entire resort, will be sold at a price of 5 million yuan. Forest. Once Lin Xian said the price, the old woman showed a little anxiety on her face. This price. Too low. The 10,000 square meter commercial land near RC County has a complete holiday villa, and the price is only 5 million. The price of land in RC County and X County is almost the same. Lin Xian's 30,000 square meters of commercial land is 20 million yuan, which is about 700 yuan per square meter. Lin Xian's price is only 500 yuan per square meter, and he also brings his own. A complete holiday villa. If Lin Xian took the price of cabbage from County X, then this price is really the price at which the boss ran away with his sister-in-law. Mom. Just when the old woman was about to bargain, Lin Shi stopped the old woman and stared at Lin Xian. Mr. Lin, if I agree, can the money be paid in one go? Faced with Lin Ji's inquiry, Lin Xian did not reply, but Wu Shan next to him actively replied, Ms. Lin, Lin is always a big customer that our China Merchants Bank headquarter attaches great importance to, not to mention 5 million, it is 50 million, yes. All in all, it is not difficult for Lin, and it is naturally fine to pay it all at once. Lin Chen nodded slightly, decent top-of-the-line casual clothes, luxurious wristwatches on his wrists, and standing beside him was the dignified and charming Lu Ning, making Lin Chen look like a noble son at this moment. Sense of trust. Good. Five million, I sell. Lin Shi gritted her teeth when she heard the words, and she just agreed without paying the price. She just wanted to escape from this place and divorce the wolf-hearted man. 
leaving here with her children and her parents, looking for a new city and restarting all life. In the past few months, they have been trying their luck everywhere, like looking for a needle in a haystack. Lin Xian is the only owner they have encountered who is capable and interested in buying this resort. She doesn't want to miss it again. Okay. Seeing Lin Ji's promise, Lin Xian didn't grind, and immediately said, let you, husband come back as soon as possible. I will send a special lawyer to handle the resale procedures in a few days. After the procedures are completed, the money will be paid immediately. To your account. Okay, I will notify him of his return as soon as possible. When it was really time to sell, Lin Ji couldn't help but flushed her eyes, and her heart was filled with infinite sorrow. She was a girl who came out of a small county town. She had no money and no education. At that time, she had only the boy she loved most. The two lived in Yanjing for dozens of yuan a day, and they ate together because of economic pressure. A bucket of instant noodles, after a full ten years in the big city, finally saved enough money, returned to the village to open this holiday villa. When the villa first opened, the benefits were very good. They got married and had children. Just when she thought that the future would be infinitely brilliant, a thunderbolt on the blue sky destroyed all her fantasies about the future. Betrayal within marriage, abuse of gambling. Looking at Lin Ji with red eyes and weeping silently, Lu Ning was also panicked. Exhausted youth, but they all make wedding dresses for her. This is the love she ever yearned for? Sad. Sigh. Just when Lu Ning was sad, there was a loud noise from below, breaking the tranquility here. What a special one, pay the money back. If there is no more money today, labor and capital will snatch your boss back. After the vulgar abuse, there was a beating sound. Listening to the noise below, Lin Ji's face suddenly became extremely pale, while the expressions of the old woman and old man behind her became angry and aggrieved. President Lin, wait a moment, let's go down and solve it. Lin Ji lowered her head and said, her voice was still soft, but there was a sense of firmness between her brows. Women are soft, but mothers are rigid. This sentence was fully reflected in Lin Ji's body. Lin Xian nodded, while Lin Ji hurriedly walked downstairs. His father handed the child to the old woman, and then hurriedly followed down, and at the same time picked up a steel fork. Looking down from top to bottom, I saw five brawny men with dragons and tigers on their bodies, swearing in the yard. When Lin Ji and his father rushed down, the other party not only failed to constrain, but became more rampant. The strong man in the lead stretched out his hand to Lin Ji's face several times, and Lu Ning just wanted to vomit with the naked lust in his eyes. Go, go down and take a look. Lin Xian said suddenly, then turned and walked downstairs. The people who followed Lin Xian looked at each other, and many people looked at Wu Shan. Look at what I am doing, keep up and protect President Lin. Although Wu Shan also had a headache for Lin Xian to join in the fun, but who made Lin Xian the father, what else could he do besides staying with him to the end? After hearing the words, everyone no longer hesitated immediately, and hurried to the downstairs. Five lords, just such a skill? Only bullying orphans and widows, old man and old lady? It's embarrassing to be of the same sex as you, so I might as well go to Thailand and cut it clean. Just when Lin Ji's father turned red and was about to use a steel fork to stab the bastards to death, a light voice came from behind. Are you special? The strong man headed heard someone scolding him so arrogantly. He wanted to yell at him. As soon as he uttered three words, he saw a dozen people approaching Yanjiang. The dozens of people Wu Shan found were all physically strong. The strong young man, although he has not received any training, looks bluffing. Who is it? The first three characters are aggressive, but the last three are very weak. Bullying the soft and fearing the hard, this is what the punks are best at. Frozen green headless and arrogant, either squatting inside, or the graves are all ten feet tall. So, when it was time to counsel, decisively counseled. I bought it here, and you smashed my things when you come in? How do you think this can be solved? Lin Xian said quietly, in brocade clothes and beautiful clothes, next to him stood a top-notch beauty like Lu Ning. There were more than a dozen people around who were obviously centered on Lin Xian, and immediately a gangster's aura emerged spontaneously. If you come from a big city, you can try not to provoke you as much as possible. Master, I'm sorry. We are in debt. I don't know if this place has been sold. We just smashed a few flower pots. We will pay for how much? The headed burly man said with a smile, his attitude was totally different from when he faced Lingji just now. If you offend a little bit, bear with me. The brawny man showed a very low posture, and then said with an embarrassed expression, we are also helping others. She owes more than one million men to run away, and now she can't find anyone. If you say we have any solution, we can only find her. 
If we can find her man and pay back the money, we won't come to collect the debt every day. The brawny man showed his yellow teeth, but began to complain to Lin Xian. Lin Xian's expression remained the same. It was really the first time he saw this kind of person. He now has an intuitive feeling for the word hobnit. I bought this holiday villa. After a while, the man will come back to go through the formalities. After the two divorced, the money from the man's property should be more than enough to pay off the debt. To collect the debt, you can take care of the man. Whatever means is arbitrary. During this time, Linji and the others will help me take care of the resort. During this period, if you let me know that you will harass them again, or break into the resort and act wantonly, then I won't buy the resort. If I don't buy the villa, they won't have money to take it. If they don't have money to take it, your creditor's account will never be paid back. So, can you tell which one is more serious? Lin Xian half closed his eyes and said, his tone was flat. Hearing this, the brawny man only hesitated for a few seconds, and then agreed, okay, we will give them another half a month. If they can't pay for another half a month, we can't blame us anymore. F asterisk asterisk ked. Getting the account back is the most fundamental thing. If this account is to be returned, they can get a lot of commissions, and who is all right will have trouble with the money. Half a month's time is enough. When that happens, you can manage that man asking for money, and you're guaranteed to get it. Good, good. When the matter is over, let's go. Do you want me to keep you for a meal? Yes, yes, let's go. The headed brawny man smiled, and soon left the courtyard of the resort with his four younger brothers. Mr. Lin, thank you. Lin Ji said gratefully, saluting to Lin Xian again and again, and her old father and mother also thanked him again and again. You don't need to be polite, I just don't get used to seeing them bully you orphans and widows. Lin Xian waved his hand and responded softly. After speaking, Lin Xian raised his hand to check the time and said, since the matter is settled, let's go through the formalities as soon as possible. If you have anything to do, please contact my secretary. Lu Ning handed out one of her business cards to Lin Ji in due course. Lin Ji took the business card with both hands and nodded again and again, okay President Lin, I'll contact that man later. Good. Without much greeting, Lin Ji and the others declined the intention of having a banquet. Lin Xian and the others came to the car and prepared to leave. Lin Xian, shall we return to Yinjing, or? Lu Ning asked aloud. Lin Xian raised his hand to look at the time and replied, it's almost four o'clock. I have been tossing for a day today. It is not safe to drive back. Let's live in County X again and drive back tomorrow. Speaking of this, Lin Xian took a small step forward and whispered in Lu Ning's ear, I am mainly afraid that you will not bear me. Lu Ning's face blushed when he heard the words, but he did not deny it. You drive me drive? Lu Ning's beautiful eyes glared at Lin Xian, then asked with pursed red lips. Let's drive, I drive more steadily. Women's mouth. After making the itinerary, Lin Xian said to Wu Shan, President Wu, we will stay one night in County X, and we will return to Yanjing tomorrow. Let's go together. Good President Lin. Wu Shan said that there was no problem, and said goodbye to Lin Ji and the others, and they got in the car and drove in the direction of County X again. On the way back to County X, Lu Ning sat in the co-pilot and looked at Lin Qian with a slightly strange look. Why are you staring at me like this? Even if you are greedy for my body, there is no need to be so anxious, just bear with me, we will be back to the hotel in 10 minutes, and you will be able to show off in the huge suite. Lin Qian didn't squint, his mouth was flowered. Lu Ning's cheeks were slightly red, and he sighed lightly, and then said, I just don't understand why you want to buy the resort? Although it is really cheap, it is not very good from the perspective of investment and the speed of capital return. Good choice. Should it be? Did you fall in love with someone's petite young woman? At the end, Lu Ning's tone was teased. Lin Xian glanced at Lu Ning speechlessly, I'm so hungry in your eyes that I don't choose food? Who knows, some people still have a soft spot for this taste. For example? Chow Chow. Lin Xian. The example you gave. It really leaves me speechless. I don't mean anything to Lin Ji. I bought this holiday resort with a little sympathy, but I like the environment there, the scenery is beautiful, the blue sky and the blue sky, and the price is really cheap. It is indeed a rare good. Place. After a while, I plan to find a well-known design firm, redesign it for me, and then tear it down and rebuild it. When I have time in the future, I can come and relax for two days. This is called life. Understand? It is naturally impossible for Lin Qian to say that RC County will be included in the development of a new area in the future, and the value of the land will skyrocket in the future. 
However, apart from the fact that the land will skyrocket in the future, he did not say that the plan for this place just now is true. The development of the new area cannot be achieved in a day or two. Even the famous Pengchang speed took 20 years. Therefore, in the early stage, Lin Xianjin intends to rebuild a top luxury private resort. With the natural scenery and inherent advantages, it is not difficult to achieve this goal. While investing in making money, it can also improve living standards by the way. How can this 5 million be counted as no compensation? After Lin Xian finished speaking, he raised his eyebrows and smiled, Lu Xiaomi, I found that since I know your depth and you know my length, you are a bit skinny. Do you believe that I can level you with one finger? Looking at the smirk at the corner of Lin Xian's mouth, and listening to Lin Xian's obvious pun, her face turned red. Little pervert. Lin Xian laughed, holding the steering wheel with his left hand and stroking Lu Ning's little hand with his right. Soon the group returned to County X. After Lin Xian and Lu Ning said goodbye to Wushan, they returned to the hotel where they stayed yesterday. In the spacious suite, the roar of Headley rang again, and it didn't stop until late at night. The next day. Looking at Lu Ning who was still asleep, Lin Xian stretched out his hand and gently gathered the broken hair on her face, then got up and put on the bathrobe scattered on the floor, came to the lounge chair in front of the French windows in the living room and sat down. A small county town does not have the hustle and bustle of a big city. The pace is slow and the scenery is beautiful. Lin Xian picked up his cell phone and clicked on Weibo and other social networking sites. He browsed the news at will. Tianhua Pictures is caught in a tax evasion scandal, and relevant tax authorities formally intervene. As soon as he entered Weibo, Lin Xian saw this news that ranked first in the hot search. Lin Xian raised his brows slightly and clicked into this hot search. According to relevant reports, Tianhua Films has used various means for malicious tax avoidance and tax evasion for five consecutive years. The tax evasion amounted to tens of millions of Chinese dollars, causing extremely bad effects and demonstrations. The relevant departments have stepped in. Senior leaders were successively investigated. After reading this news, Lin Xian shook his head with some emotion. Tianhua Pictures is also one of the best film and television companies in the industry. Lin Xian, who came back from the rebirth, knows very well that since 15 years later, the state will focus on taxation issues. Two years later, because of this incident, a certain ice was completely knocked out of the world, and he was directly photographed as a stain on top actresses. Artist. And all the major enterprises and companies are arrogant, and they dare not to take a fluke anymore, and they have to pay taxes and self-examine them one after another. However, in Lin Xian's vague impression, Tianhua Pictures didn't seem to suffer this catastrophe in his previous life. Is it because of the butterfly effect of his own rebirth? Lin Xian thought secretly, feeling a little embarrassed, but he didn't feel guilty. The flies do not bite the seamless eggs, and the skynet is so sparse and not leaking. It can only be said that the idea is rather back. For such news, Lin Xian simply glanced at it and didn't pay attention anymore. Compared with such social news, he still prefers to look at the big legs of the young ladies. Hey! Why hasn't Douyin been released yet? Look at young ladies' long legs in the morning, don't they smell? Lin Xian looked around for a while but couldn't find his legs, and curled his lips with a little regret in his heart. Just as Lin Xian was thinking about it, his shoulders suddenly sank, and then a pleasant fragrance followed. It turned out that Lu Ning woke up, walked out of the room, and hugged Lin Chan behind him. Lin Chan tilted his head and kissed Lu Ning softly, and said softly, I asked the front desk to bring two breakfasts up. Shall we return to Yan Jing after dinner? Upon hearing this, Lu Ning moved from Lin Chan to Lin Chan's body, and then directly straddled Lin Chan's body. Let me hug for a while. Lu Ning said slightly clingy. Stroking Lu Ning's exquisite body, Lin Chan pondered for three seconds, hold back to hug, can we not twist our hips? No. A sly look appeared in Lu Ning's eyes, and he lay in Lin Xian's space. Hey. Lin Xian sighed softly. Leaderly, the Italian artillery can be pulled. After half an hour. At the table, Lin Xian and Lu Ning sat opposite each other. Move first after you go back, you just need to get some clothes or something, just don't need the rest, let's get new ones. Lin Xian took a bite of the sandwich, and then said to Lu Ning. That would be too wasteful. Lu Ning whispered. If I have nothing to do in these two days, I can go shopping with you. Lin Qian added. Oh. Lu Ning heard Lin Qian say that he would accompany her to purchase, and immediately said with delight, then don't do it, then you have to accompany me. Oh. No. The familiar dialogue made Lu Ning and Lin Qian both laugh. Looking at Lin Qian on the opposite side, feeling the warm atmosphere, which made Lu Ning feel a little happy, he couldn't help but sigh inwardly. 
He wants to be just me. After breakfast, the two packed up their belongings and drove on the way back. Back in Yanjing, the two ate a meal outside, and then Lin Chen drove Luning back home. When he returned to school, the time was approaching the evening. Only one week after school started, Lin Chen skipped one day of class. It feels. Stimulate. Lin Chen returned to the dormitory while dragging the body that was basically hollowed out. Pushing the door open, he was a little surprised that his three elders did not play gangster games, and the bedroom seemed very quiet. Xin Ming sighed while holding a courier box, while Ma Lu and Jiang Ningchuan were sitting on the balcony smoking a cigarette. Lin Xian was a little surprised when they looked at the frowning faces. I've only been away for three days, and you are all frowning. Isn't my life so difficult for you? Lin Xian casually put the backpack on his table, and then first came to Xin Ming's side and asked. Youngest, look at this collar. What are you talking about? Xin Ming took out a long bib from the courier box, raised his head and asked Lin Xian. Lin Xian glanced at him, Lord, you have a very fashionable taste. You see it is also green, right? Xin Ming's tone suddenly became stronger, and said angrily, but what I took on the internet is dark blue. I just argued with the seller, but the seller insisted that it was blue, and that my eyes had problems. I was so. Looking at Xin Ming's expression of grief and indignation, he knew that his heart at the moment was definitely more than a billion bits of sadness. Puff. Lin Xian didn't hold back his laugh, but soon held back forcibly. Finally, I could only pat Xin Ming's shoulder, relax, online shopping is like that. When you take the express delivery, it is like seeing the bones and flesh of your own for many years, but often after you take it apart, you find that the child looks like the old king next door. This is a routine operation, and it's normal. Damn it, I must complain to him, not only insulting my aesthetics, but also insulting my eyes, and even insulting my IQ. If this revenge is not reported, it is a man in vain. Xin Ming stared at his eyes, picked up the phone and started. A one-stop operation of reporting and complaining. Looking at Xin Ming excitedly, Lin Qian walked to the balcony silently. Isn't it just a green collar? What a big deal. Pushing open the balcony door, Lin Qian almost choked. F asterisk asterisk K, are you planning to soar through the clouds, or are you planning to soar in the daytime? Lin Qian quickly opened the balcony window, then looked at the ashtray filled with cigarette butts and said, what's wrong with you? Xin Ming feels like it, the buyer who bought the hat sent you a green one? The youngest one, you don't understand, this is a lonely cigarette that Mr. Jiang smokes. Ma Lu squinted his small eyes, shook his head and shook his head and said in words. What? Being green? Lin Xin guessed, raising his eyebrows, and then shook his head again, no, you have no object, boss Jiang, and you don't have the chance to be green. Hearing the words, Zhang Ningchuan felt a heart stuck, his small eyes looked at Lin Xian, full of resentment. It's like this. In the afternoon, the ex-girlfriend of Mr. Jiang, who had been talking for two years in high school, suddenly called Mr. Jiang and cried and said that she missed Mr. Jiang. At the beginning, she was ignorant. I just want to meet Boss Jiang and get back together with Boss Jiang. But now, Boss Jiang is chatting with a sister in the command department. The two have that meaning to each other. It can be said that there is a film of distance between the two. F asterisk asterisk K, it's third base in a week? It's just a layer of film? Lin Qian suddenly exclaimed. Jiang Ningchuan. Road. Uh, what I mean is, the relationship between the two of them is not broken. Yes, is there anything wrong with what I understand? Lin Qian showed a curious face and retorted in a serious manner. Ma Lu was a little mad, it's not that layer of film, it's a virtual film, it's above friends. If the lover is not full, it's almost confession to be together, understand? Facing Ma Lu's frantic roar, Lin Qian shook his ears a little. Understand, understand. Lin Qian whispered, who made you fail to make it clear? I still rely on me. Eh, bridge bean sacks. Lin Qian suddenly looked at Jiang Ningchuan next to him and said in surprise, aren't you Li Xiao Xiao in the photo? Why is this related to the sister paper of the command department again? I added Li Xiao Xiao, before I started to operate, I just said, I just want to be Yao Yao's best friend, and I don't want to be Yao Yao's sister-in-law, so I directly announced my game over. And. Jiang Ningchuan coughed slightly, and said a little embarrassed, in the beginning, based on the idea of throwing the net and fishing for big fish, I also picked up a lot of sister papers, and finally commanded the sister paper to be the best. Damn, multi-line operation, scumbag. Lin Qian cursed subconsciously, and then suddenly felt a little guilty. It looks like the word scumbag, he is the least qualified to talk about others. Jiang Ningchuan didn't know about Lin Qian's three days of work outside, 
and tacitly tacitly defaulted. So, what you are entangled now is whether you want to choose to reconcile your ex-girlfriend who has been in peace talks for two years, or choose to start over with the sister paper of the command department, does that mean? Lin Xian understood, it was just a matter of choosing one. Harmful. It seems that it's not scumbag enough, can such a small matter be called a trouble? Lin Xian snarled himself secretly. Zhang Ningchuan nodded, and then took another breath of lonely huazi. Youngest, you can give me some suggestions. Boss Jiang has been struggling for almost all afternoon. Malu urged. Lin Xian heard the words, pondered for three seconds, and then simply said, I suggest that you choose the sister paper of the command department and start over. Zhang Ningchuan saw that Lin Xian gave advice so simply, he raised his head and looked at Lin Xian in surprise. Boss Jiang, I was right. I told you that if your ex sends you a message and calls you that he misses you, don't believe it, do you think she really misses you? Yeah, she tm that is the market is not good, I want to f asterisk asterisk king want it. Hearing Lin Xian's words, Zhang Ningchuan and Ma Lu were dumbfounded. Why did she call you? It's nothing more than going to college. I thought I could ride a horse and start a new relationship, but when I turned around, the men around were crooked, and the good quality people were all sorrowful, the competition was too great, the expectations did not match the reality, so I thought of you. Your taste, your fine taste, is this the reason? Zhang Ningchuan was silent, and finally gave Lin Xian a thumbs up silently, and then returned his hand to give Ma Lu a brain pat. Look at Lin Xian, and then at you. People's analysis is as thorough as flowing water, and you know that you are playing with me here smoking cigarettes. Hearing this, Ma Lu rubbed his head slightly aggrieved. Youngest, I think your analysis is right, and it's right to grasp the moment. Zhang Ningchuan finished speaking, paused, and suddenly became a little discouraged, but listening to my ex-girlfriend crying, my heart still feels awkward. Hey, I will order crayfish for barbecue from outside of school, and then order a small beer, and I will be fine with a drink. Lin Qian comforted. Hey. Zhang Ningchuan still sighed. When Ma Lu saw this, he also learned from Lin Xian's comfort and said, the big deal, after drinking, let's open black lol, and we will let you play ADC. As soon as Ma Lu's words fell, he felt a sudden cold in the back of his neck. Lin Xian looked at him quietly and looked at his mouth. Ma Lu knew that Lin Xian was scolding him without guessing. Only then did he remember what kind of pits Zhang Ningchuan played with ADC. Brothers. Dry. Zhang Ningchuan was excited on that side, his eyes lit up completely, and there was still a little bit of sadness. However, he is not melancholy, but Lin Qian and Ma Lu are melancholy. Dry. Quick. Hurry up. Don't stop. The school is located somewhere in the northwest, and the surrounding area is uninhabited. On the school field, a high wattage searchlight covers the entire school field, and in the school field, a young man and woman in a camouflage uniform is carrying a heavy load and constantly climbing over the obstacle field. Around the school field, there are many young non-commissioned officers standing upright, urging people on the obstacle course to train. Located in the north of the school grounds, a middle-aged man with a bald head wearing glasses, holding a can of beer in his hand, looked at the trainees not far away, with a melancholy gleam in his eyebrows. Disband. After an unknown period of time, the young non-commissioned officer announced his dismissal, and the people on the obstacle course suddenly dispersed, and everyone looked very tired. Director Lin, something on your mind? A young and middle-aged man with a handsome appearance and a strong body walked towards the bald man. If there is an outsider, he will surely scream in surprise when he sees this man. This person is not someone else, but a girl who is popular in China. The male god Peng Yuyin. The bald man wearing glasses is Lin Xianchao, a famous Chinese guide. Here. It is the training base before the filming of the movie Operation Mekong. Lin Xianchao watched Peng Yuyan come over, he raised his head, motioned to the other party to sit casually, and then sighed, we are in trouble with the crew. After Peng Yuyan came to Lin Xianchao and sat down, he raised his eyebrows and said, is it because of Tianhua pictures? Yes. Lin Xianchao took off his glasses and stretched out his hand to rub his tired eye sockets. Tianhua Pictures is caught in a tax evasion crisis. It is currently being watched by the taxation department. There was news from the film industry that the good investment funds that followed may not be honored. Hearing Lin Xianchao's words, Peng Yuyan's expression changed slightly. There is a funding gap of 50 million yuan. Our film will be officially launched in more than 10 days. Now, where can I get the funding gap of 50 million yuan? Lin Xianchao sighed again. Director Lin, is it possible for Bona and Huaying to invest more? Can these two fill the 50 million holes? Peng Yuyan thought for a while and suggested. Lin Xianchao shook his head, it's impossible. 
Although Bona and Huaying have a big business, they have many projects, and each project has so many budgets. It is obviously impossible for them to fill the holes. Then look for another film industry? I have just called several film industry executives who I have worked with. Their current capital chain is also very tight, and there is no one that can draw 50 million in a single performance. Upon hearing this, Pang Yuyan was also a little silent immediately. Director Lin, I currently have about 20 million in cash in my hand. If I can't find the producer. Before Pang Yuyan finished speaking, he was interrupted by Lin Xianchao's wave. Xiao Pang, if there is really no producer to fill this hole, then I will mortgage my house in Hong Kong City, plus my savings over the years, I can still fill the 50 million hole. This kind of risky thing, how can you come? My film, the risk will naturally be borne by me, and you are your greatest support for me if you play it well. Lin Xianchao felt Peng Yuyan's heart, and was moved a little, but he did not accept it. In the film market, no one can guarantee which film will definitely make money, so every film investment is a very risky investment behavior. And Lin Xianchao's Operation Mekong only costs nearly 100 million yuan, which means that only the box office of more than 600 million can be worthy of the money. For the movie market with the highest box office of less than 1 billion in 15 years, the risk is not low. Pang Yuyan nodded silently when he heard the words. He has collaborated with director Lin Xianchao several times. Lin Xianchao has the kindness to know him and is a senior and elder he respects very much. The starry sky of the Great Northwest is as bright as a galaxy. Very beautiful. But for the two people with their thoughts, they were not in the mood to appreciate such a beautiful scenery. Ring ling ling. Suddenly, the ringing of the phone broke the silence in the dark night. Lin Xianchao saw that the caller was his old friend, and picked up the call. After Pang Yuyan watched Lin Xianchao um, um, uh, a few times, a smile of joy suddenly appeared on his face, he knew that things should have turned for the better. After Lin Xianchao put down the phone, Pang Yuyan asked a little expectantly, Director Lin, is there a film industry willing to fill this hole in Tianhua? Lin Xianchao shook his head, that's not true, but now there is a film industry that has just registered and has quite ample funds in hand. I think we can try. Xiao Pang, accompany me to Yinjing in a few days. Pang Yuyan was a little confused, but he nodded and responded with hello. Eggshell Media. I hope this trip goes well. Looking at the shining galaxy in the sky, Lin Xianchao murmured. The next day. The lecture hall in the teaching building of China Conservatory of Music. Lin Xian, your dark circles are so heavy. Seeing the extremely obvious thick dark circles around Lin Xian's eyes, Zhang Yaoyao's pair of grapes bosses opened wide and said with relief. It's not because of your brother. Last night he just dragged us into the league for the whole night, and we went to sleep just before dawn. Before the class started, Lin Xian lay on the table a little sleepy, muttering in response to Zhang Yaoyao. Damn it Zhang Yaoyao immediately shook her little fan fist when he heard the words, a little annoyed, I'll call my aunt to complain after class, huh. Just rely on Jiang Ningchuan, who caused dark circles for my Lin Xian. Hey, I'm so angry. In fact, what Jiang Yaoyao didn't know was that the reason why Lin Xian's dark circles were so heavy was not all because of staying up late, but the other reason was kidney deficiency. After two consecutive days of riding the horse gallop, Lin Xian's two kidneys have endured the pressure that they shouldn't bear at this age, and they have basically been hollowed out. Lin Xian, why didn't you come yesterday? The work was delayed for a day, and I didn't rush back. Isn't Xian's side fun? Very backward, there are no entertainment venues, I can only stay in the hotel to watch Bright Sword at night. Watch every day? Well, look at it every night, and look at it until the middle of the night. Lin Xian and Zhang Yaoyao chatted with each other, and soon Lin Xian's eyelids were about to close. Seeing that Lin Xian was too sleepy, Zhang Yaoyao looked around. Zhang Bingyu, do you need your handbag? Zhang Yaoyao's eyes lit up when he saw Zhang Bingyu behind him. Zhang Bingyu, who had been looking at Jiang Yaoyao's cute ball head from behind Jiang Yaoyao, suddenly heard Jiang Yaoyao's question and was overjoyed immediately. Could it be that my goddess Yaoyao finally lost patience with that dog's Lin Qian? Have you finally discovered my handsomeness and affection, and you want to cast aside the dark and fall in love with me? Zhang Bingyu shook his head repeatedly while dreaming daydreams, no need, no need. Then can you lend me a bit? Here, use whatever you want. Zhang Bingyu handed his handbag to Jiang Yaoyao without even thinking about it, and then. He was dumbfounded. I saw Jiang Yaoyao gently arouse Lin Xian, and then put his handbag in front of Lin Xian like a little daughter-in-law. Lin Xian, you can sleep more comfortably with your handbag, so that your arms won't be hurt. Jiang Yaoyao said softly. The sleepy Lin Xian heard the words, nodded, and muttered, whose bag is it? Zhang Bingyu's? Oh. 
Lin Qian, who was just about to get down, paused, then looked around, took out two pieces of paper from the paper drawn in front of Li Xiaoxiao, and spread them flat on Zhang Bingyu's handbag, and then squatted directly on top of it contentedly. Cracking. What's the matter, sleeping in my bag, you still dislike my bag? Zhang Bingyu's teeth were almost crushed. Hey, thank you, Bingyu. Just when Zhang Bingyu wanted to give Lin Qian a brain shot, Zhang Yaoyao suddenly turned around and smiled brightly at him. Oh. My heart. Mom, I'm in love. In an instant, Zhang Bingyu fell. Well. I don't know how long he slept, Lin Qian shook his numb arm, got up from the table sleepily, and looked around for a week. Fine. I was still an English teacher on stage, and I was surrounded by my classmates. Yao Yao, how long have I slept? Lin Qian turned to look at Zhang Yao Yao, who was serious about learning English, and asked aloud. When Zhang Yao Yao heard the words, he whispered, English class is about to end in five minutes. Oh. Lin Qian nodded, and after a simple calculation, he should have slept for nearly an hour and a half. He handed Zhang Bingyu's handbag back to the other party, and when Lin Qian was relieved, the get out of class bell rang. The university teacher did not have the habit of dragging the classroom. As soon as the bell rang, he immediately announced the end of get out of class, and there was a loud noise in the classroom. Yao Yao, where is the next class? The next lesson is improvisation and accompaniment, upstairs in the piano room. Zhang Yao Yao responded crisply, with a shallow pear vortex on his face, and his smile was full of pure healing. Walk. Lin Qian carried the backpack in his hand and walked out of the classroom immediately, while Zhang Yao Yao followed closely behind Lin Qian like a little wife, with big eyes like a radar, and no others. The slightest opportunity to take advantage of Sa Lang's cheapness. As for Li Xiaoxiao and Ma Lu, they walked slowly behind them, while chatting about their exclusive food. Lin Xian, Yu Wei is celebrating her birthday this weekend. She is going to have a small party. Let me invite you this morning, so we can have a happy time together? Zhang Yao Yao's short legs could not keep up with the steps of Lin Xian's long legs. She was slightly behind Lin Xian, and asked Lin Xian with her small head pierced into the ball. Lin Shen noticed that he was walking a little faster and couldn't help slowing down. At the same time, he replied, Okay, I should have nothing to do this weekend, so let's go to Zhao Yue's place. Okay, okay, let's go there together at that time. When Zhang Yao Yao heard Lin Shen respond, he immediately seemed very happy. Are you the only people in our two dormitories? I don't know, there may be Yue's friends and classmates. That's it. Yue said that the people in our two bedrooms will eat for dinner in the afternoon and then we will open a big bag at KTV in the evening. At that time, there will be a lot of talents, but then we can play our own without affecting anyone. Yes, I can do it. The two of them were walking towards the Qinfang building and chatting about the weekend arrangements. In the next two days, Lin Shen basically performed the small classes obediently, and ran away directly from the large classes, mainly because there were a lot of things in these two days. First of all, after the company's business license is officially issued, there are some other procedures that need to be supplemented, and then the company's location selection. Lin Xian and Li Xiaoman have been rushing around these days, and they finally got the eggshell media's report today. The address was decided. In the Yenjing World Financial Center in the Yenjing Central Business District, the entire 17 floors are rented. The entire floor area is 4,400 square meters. The monthly rent per square meter is 240 yuan and the monthly rent alone exceeds 1 million. At first, Lin Qian and Li Xiaoman had some controversy, because the price of Yenjing World Financial Center was really high, and the area of 4,400 square meters on the whole floor was also a bit large. Li Xiaoman felt that this was unnecessary. But Lin Qian felt that it was necessary to enter the landmark building of the Central Business District in the World Financial Center in the Yenjing Central Business District, which is ranked as China's three top CBDs alongside Zhanghai Lujiazui and Yangcheng Zhujiang New Town. And what Lin Xian wanted was this kind of compulsion. Only with a higher profile, can we win the attention of more people in the circle and win more opportunities for ourselves. As for the area of 4,400 square meters, based on Lin Xian's future plans, it is only small and may not even be enough in the future. In the end, Lin Xian decided to locate the headquarters of Eggshell Media in the Yinjing World Financial Center. Lin Xian's 17th floor was originally stationed here by the China branch of a multinational bank. Last year this multinational bank decided to withdraw from the China market, so this floor was left vacant. As a branch of a multinational bank, the decoration style is still quite high. From the ground to the wall, all are made of top quality marble. The decoration style is elegant and luxurious. Even Lin Xian, who is inexperienced, can just look at it. The original renovation investment of this multinational bank is absolutely expensive. 
The main colors of light gray, bright brown, and white complement each other with a high sense of luxury. But now, these are naturally cheaper Linxian who took over. I feel that there is no need for overall reinstallation, just change the internal layout, what do you think? After deciding to rent this place, after Lin Qian and Li Xiaoman strolled around here, Lin Qian talked about his views to Li Xiaoman. Li Xiaoman heard the words and nodded in agreement, there is really no need for a big move as a whole, just change the layout. Tomorrow I will contact those top design institutes in Yanjing, let them bid for the draft, and then we will choose the best one. I think we can expand the scope and invite the top design institutes in China overseas in Yanchang. Since we have chosen the company's address here, the decoration grade is unreasonably low. Either it is indisputable, and the best is the best. Yes. Lin Xian suggested. Li Xiaoman used to talk about a lollipop in her mouth. When she heard Lin Xian's words, she took the lollipop out of her mouth, let's not overthrow and reinstall. It's just a major change in the internal structure. We invite Zhanghai with the top design institutes in Yangcheng, they may feel far away and may not be able to see our list. Do not look good? Lin Qian smiled and raised his eyebrows and continued, if we tell them, we still have a 10,000 square meter resort reconstruction design project and a 30,000 square meter large training base design project, what do you think? Are they still not interested? Li Xiaoman knew about Lin Qian's investment in Anxiong this time. The large training base was related to Lin Qian's future plans, so he didn't talk to Li Xiaoman in detail, and Li Xiaoman was also very witty and didn't ask in detail. Little boss, are you fishing? Li Xiaoman quickly understood Lin Qian's thoughts. If these top designers know that they still have two such large projects in their hands, the company's residence decoration project, even if some top large-scale designs can't at the top of the eye, I'm afraid it will have to fight desperately like crazy. After all, if the first cooperation satisfies the other party, the chances of fighting for those two big projects in the future will naturally be far greater than those of other design firms. Taigong Jiang is fishing, and those who wish to take the bait. Lin Qian shrugged, anyway, it's all about spending money. Naturally, I have to choose the best one. Lin Qian walked a little tired, and after speaking, he sat down on the soft chair in front of the French window. Condescendingly, overlooking the small half of Yanjing, the feeling that the world is under my feet is really refreshing. Li Xiaoman cannot deny Lin Qian's words. Seeing Lin Qian sitting down, she also found a chair and sat down. I answered a phone call last night. There was a movie project I wanted to invest in. I asked us to have a meal on the weekend. I haven't answered the other party yet. Li Xiaoman said suddenly. When Lin Xian heard this, a smile appeared on his face. Really? The 200 million US dollars actually paid is like a fragrant cake. For some filmmakers who want to seek investment, it is definitely an irresistible temptation. This doesn't. The first door-to-door -door person appeared. What project? Lin Xian asked calmly. Lin Xian didn't have much hope in his heart for the first door-to-door -door visitor. After all, it was a bit unrealistic to hit a hit if he wanted to come up. The movie is called Operation Mekong, and the director's office Lin Xianchao. Who? The famous director Lin Xianchao from the port city, the filming of Mekong action was originally produced by Bona, Huaying, and Tianhua. As a result, Tianhua was caught in a tax evasion scandal some time ago. The original investment could not be realized. The gap lies in about 50 million yuan, and our XL media has just been established and has strong capital, Lin Xianchao asked for my call on behalf of the relationship, and wanted to ask if we have any investment intentions. Li Xiaoman was a little surprised at Lin Xian's reaction. While looking at Lin Xian strangely, he reported the whole incident to Lin Xian in detail. Lin Xian realized that he was a little overreacted, he coughed lightly, and then returned to his original calmness. But in my heart, it was a laugh. As soon as the company was established, it attracted a big fish. How could Lin Xianchao not know Lin Xian? In the next five years, Lin Xianchao will definitely be at the top of the Chinese film market, and Mekong Operation will be his top shot. Operation Mekong has a professional score of 9.4, and the cost is said to be 200 million, and the box office is 1.2 billion. The film is divided into 500 million, and the return is doubled. And Lin Xianchao's next movie Operation Red Sea, it is really the heifer standing upside down. The professional score is 9.3, the cost is rumored to be 400 million, the box office is 3.7 billion, the film side is divided into 1.6 billion, and the return is four times, a big profit. Although Lin Xianchao's film is not the director with the highest return rate in the next five years, it can definitely be ranked in the top 10. This movie is an adaptation of the tragedy that occurred in the Mekong River four years ago. The main actors are Peng Yuyan and Zhang Hanyu. 
The film type belongs to the action war genre. I have seen the script. The personal heroism is very strong. From my personal investment perspective look, I'm not optimistic about this kind of patriotic movie with the main theme. Currently in the era of traffic, young people are the main force in film consumption. They are more inclined to romance films and comedy films. Movies like Director Lin have been fighting and killing films full of gunpowder smoke. They have never been very popular. Moreover, the overall investment in this movie is too large, and the content also involves. When talking about investment, Li Xiaoman's eyes were bright, and Balabala began to talk to Lin Qian about his investment advice. Following Li Xiaoman's suggestion, Lin Qian's last fluke for Li Xiaoman was completely wiped out. Li Xiao Investment Black Hole Man The main theme movie is not popular? Li Xiaoman, in the next five years, you will be constantly slapped 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 slaps because of today's words. Slap. Send the messages from director Lin to you, including the script, to my mailbox. I'll check it out these two days. Lin Xian waved his hand, then you reply to director Lin. Let's take this dinner. Let's meet and chat. Are you going to take over for Tianhua? To fill this 50 million hole? Li Xiaoman reminded, is it a big step up here? Look at it, I didn't say that I would definitely vote. Lin Xian responded, but I have a little bit of disagreement with you about this movie. You look at it from the perspective of a woman's thinking, but from the perspective of my man's thinking. Come and see, if this movie is made and released, I think I will go to the theater to watch it. Moreover, the lineup of this movie is also very good. There are no little girls who are chirping. They are all actors who have acting skills and strength and are worthy of the word actor. Director Lin Xianchao is also a leader in the field of action movies. I think I can try the water. Lin Shen could not say that he knew the future, nor could he directly refute Li Xiaoman's suggestion, so he could only explain his thoughts in a way that convinced others. Well, what you said makes sense. Li Xiaoman snorted with the lollipop in his mouth, his eyes thoughtful, seriously thinking about Lin Xian's words. Then reply to them, have a meal and have a chat. Li Xiaoman didn't bother either. Although she was not optimistic about this movie, Lin Xian was the boss. She was only the general manager, so naturally Lin Xian's will prevail. Yes, just let me know when the time is set. Okay. After talking about business, Li Xiaoman stretched his waist. Little boss, do you want to go to the Arrow Hall to shoot twice later? Someday, there will be an appointment later. All right. Lin Xian declined Li Xiaoman's invitation, and later he wanted to accompany Lu Ning to the furniture store to buy things. Since he had agreed to the other party at the beginning, Lin Qian would naturally do what he said. It is estimated that I will stay at Lu Ning's house at night, and the activities in the arrow hall may be moved to Lu Ning's house. Um. Except for the different surface forms, the endoplasmic core should be similar. Since Yanjing World Financial Center and Li Xiaoman separated, Lin Qian drove his Bentley Continental GT to Lu Ning's new home. Ocean Mansion is located in a high-end residential area near the core business district of East Third Ring Road in CY District. The property is complete, the surrounding area is complete, and the internal environment of the community is exquisite and quiet. The suite rented by Lu Ning was chosen here, with 145 square meters, two bedrooms and two halls, top decoration, and a monthly rent of 24,000 Chinese yuan. At first, Lu Ning chose not this place, but the mass residential area in the CY area, the price is 8,000 per month, but Lin Qian directly passed it off. After a few consecutive times, Lu Ning finally chose the Ocean Mansion. Lin Xian's little dominance made Lu Ning a little angry and sweet. The annoyance was that when she agreed to let her choose, Lin Xian successively exercised the right of veto. She did all the errands, and the sweet thing was that she understood that Lin Xian did not want her to be wronged and let her live first. A little better. And in this kind of ambivalence, sweetness obviously prevailed in the end. A blue striped short coat with puff sleeves, an apricot colored A-line mid-length skirt with a tight waist, a beige bag hung on the body, and a pair of flat white shoes under his feet. Lu Ning, who walked out of the ocean mansion, became the focus of countless men in this area in just an instant. So beautiful. The little boy sitting in a cold drink shop subconsciously murmured. Don't think about it. See where they came from. It's okay to live in the ocean mansion, and we are not in the same world at all. The friend who was sitting across from him couldn't move his eyes because he was also attracted by Lu Ning's beauty, but he did say very self-knowingly. Lu Ning has long been accustomed to the attention of the people around him, just like Lin Xian, the author, and the readers, after all, they have grown up from being handsome and handsome. Standing on tiptoes at the door and looking around, Lu Ning looked for her Lin Xian. I saw the Bentley Continental GT parked on the side of the road, 
but didn't see the people inside. Just when Lu Ning was about to make a call, a familiar figure suddenly appeared in the corner of the window. Lu Ning looked at him and saw Lin Xian squatting by the window outside a toy store's window, not knowing what he was looking at enthusiastically. How old are they, they are still innocent. Looking at Lin Xian squatting in front of the toy store, Lu Ning couldn't help smiling, and while walking towards Lin Xian, he muttered with a smile in his mouth. At a distance of tens of meters, Lu Ning walked behind Lin Xian in a few steps. However, just when she was about to reach out and pat Lin Xian on the shoulder, she suddenly heard Lin Xian sighing in front of her. TSK. This leg is really white. Lu Ning followed Lin Xian's gaze and looked into the toy store, only to see a beautiful white leg dangling not far away. Lu Ning. I actually thought he was childlike, and the smile on Lu Ning's face solidified, and then looked down at her straight, white and tender long legs, which were obviously much better than those in the toy store. So angry. There was a hint of vinegar in Lu Ning's heart. President Lin, do the legs inside look good? Lu Ning leaned down slightly, Jiao Didi suddenly said. Lin Xian, who was obsessed with beautiful legs, suddenly heard a familiar voice behind him. He coughed softly and stood up from the ground, what leg? Where is the leg? I'm obviously looking at the toy. Don't mess with Lu Xiaomi. Speak, be careful of this young boy in big stick. Ha! Seeing Lin Xian pretending to be stupid with her, Lu Ning snorted, and then he didn't pursue it, and put his hands on Lin Xian's arm. Crack! Countless heartbreaking voices sounded in Lin Xian's ears, and then Lin Xian became the public enemy of the whole people in the eyes of men in this area. However, facing the hostility of many men, Lin Xian didn't care, and even stretched out his hand to directly hold Lu Ning's waist. That arrogant aura, if coupled with Xin Tang's come here a few years later, it will look very good. Then, watching Lin Xian take out the car key of the Bentley Continental GT on the roadside and take Lu Ning into the car, many people suddenly calmed down. This world is like this. People's birdcage logic is deeply ingrained. Most people are subject to strong inertial thinking. Birdcages must raise birds, and marriage must buy a house. The co-pilot of luxury cars must be beautiful women, and rich people take care of them. You should possess beautiful women. If the one Lin Shan brought Lu Ning on was not a luxury car, but a dilapidated bicycle, then it would surely arouse many people's complaints and ridicule. Poor cock, little white face, eating soft food, getting green sooner or later, and many other malicious things will continue to flock to Lin Qian. Think about it, it's a bit sad. After getting in the car, Lin Qian did not drive immediately, but reached out from the back seat and brought a rectangular handbag with Christian Louboutin gilded letters printed on it. Passing by SKP just now, I bought you a little gift. Lin Qian leaned sideways and said with a smile. Lu Ning was a little surprised when she received a gift by accident. She lowered her head and took out the gift from the gift bag. The gift was a long strip of box. She slowly opened the box. In this rectangular box, there were 24 lipsticks of different colors lying quietly. Carrots. As a woman, Lu Ning naturally knew what lipstick Lin Xian bought for her. Christian Louboutin, which is commonly known as the lipstick of carrot and scepter, is a high luxury representative of lipsticks. Only one piece needs 888 yuan soft sister coin. Because of its exquisite and eye-catching appearance, it is sought after by countless girls. Lu Ning used to look on the internet, but never bought it. After all, buying a lipstick for 888 yuan is a bit too extravagant for her, but today Lin Qian is a complete set. The 24 carats are neatly and quietly placed in the gift box, which looks a bit too shocking. Like it? Like. Lu Ning's feminine face was full of joy. Faced with Lin Qian's inquiry, she responded very simply. Do you know why I gave you lipstick? Why? Because I want you to give me some back every day. Facing the sudden tease, Lu Ning's face turned red, and then she took out a diced carrot from the box that was the same color as the original lipstick on her mouth, and slowly applied it to her red lips. I'll give you some back now, would you like? Lu Ning blushed, her pretty Lu Yi eyes looked at Lin Qian a little bit shyly. Of course. Of course Lin Qian would not refuse, and leaned forward and kissed Lu Ning's lips. In the airtight car, the lips and teeth were intertwined for a long time before the lips slowly separated. Hmm. Slightly sweet. Lin Xian came to Bo's concluding statement. Lu Ning blushed and curled the hair around Wan's ears, and then sorted out the slightly messy clothes in front of her lower body, staring Lin Xian with her beautiful eyes. Cough. It's like asking your women to eat without taking pictures, and you say that your concubines can't do it. For the same reason, we can't do it if we men can't kiss each other. Lin Xian shook his head and said solemnly. Drive fast, it will be dark until next day. 
Lu Ning groaned. Hey hey. Lin Chen didn't tease Lu Ning anymore, pressed the start button, turned the steering wheel and drove away from the parking space on the side of the road, and drove towards the nearby furniture city where the big names gathered. After entering the home city, Lin Chen held Lu Ning's hand with his left hand, while Lu Ning held Lin Chen with both hands. Anyone who sees the two will think they are a sweet little couple. However, the two are not. Without any status, but doing all the things that lovers should do, this wave of operations is very embarrassing. You said two days ago that you wanted to buy a security company. I did a market survey for you in the past two days and helped you screen out some medium-sized security companies with a market value ranging from 10 million to 30 million. It will be easier if you want to acquire. The two talked about work while wandering around the furniture store. For a medium-sized security company, what is the approximate number of security personnel? Lin Qian didn't know much about this industry, so he asked Lu Ning casually. Um, security companies usually have two development directions. One is an elite route. The security personnel hired are usually retired soldiers from the Tetsa forces with high salaries. Such security companies usually have a small number of medium-sized companies. Security companies usually have around 100 people. The other route is the mass route. The security personnel hired are either self-trained or directly absorbed from the society. The quality varies. The main business is usually to undertake large-scale activities and is responsible for maintaining order. The number of medium-sized security companies usually it will be around 500 people. Lu Ning explained to Lin Qian. Lin Qian nodded slightly when he heard the words. One is to take the elite route and the other is to take the human sea route, which is easy to understand. We doubt all those who took the public route, leaving only those who took the elite route. Then you contact those companies and ask if they have any intention to be acquired. Remove those companies that have no intention of being acquired, and finally submit a final version. Give me the information. Lin Qian ordered Lu Ning. There is no doubt that private security companies must follow the elite route. Good. Lu Ning replied. Soon, the two came to the bedding area. Is this bed soft? Very soft. How about flexibility? Good. Is it convenient to use force? The air suddenly became quiet. Lu Ning, who was sitting on the mattress and trying to sit, slowly raised his head, looking at Lin Qian a little agitatedly. Those beautiful willow eyes seemed to say, you are not serious. Being stared at by Lu Ning, Lin Qian looked around and said with a smile, there are no outsiders here. Of course you have to ask something practical. Then what you asked is too practical. I haven't tried it. How do I know that Fong is inconvenient? Lu Ning replied in a little shame. Without teasing Lu Ning anymore, Lin Qian sat down, and after a brief feeling, he said, it's better to just go around, take a walk around, this one feels better. Hmm. Lu Ning nodded in agreement. After calling the clerk, Lin Qian directly chose to pay by credit card, and then left the address so that they could arrange the car now and wait for the delivery to the door. Next, Lin Qian and Lu Ning bought a double drum washing machine, a projector, a vertical air conditioner, a humidifier, a bedside lamp, and bedding products. After shopping for nearly two hours, the two did not actually buy too much. The house that Lu Ning rented is top-notch and furnished, and it has all the accessories in it. Even if you don't buy anything, it is enough for daily life. The two people bought today are all improved furniture items, such as mattresses and humidifiers, which can increase the quality of life. When buying a washing machine, Lin Qian a little dislikes the washing machine that was shared before. The ghost knew what the previous tenant had washed with the washing machine, and Lin Qian couldn't bear it just thinking about it. After buying almost everything, the two drove back to the ocean mansion. Ten minutes after returning home, the Dorton door workers arrived, and a dozen people were busy with carrying and loading for more than half an hour before they were completely stopped. Call. Lin Qian, who had been busy with the workers for a long time, threw himself directly on the sofa after all the workers had left, and then let out a long, comfortable sigh of relief. Tired. Lu Ning took out a glass of lemonade from the kitchen, put it on the coffee table, and then sat beside Lin Qian, with a pair of white and soft hands touching Lin Qian's body, gently helping Lin Qian massage his muscles. Well enough. Lin Qian rolled over and responded with a smile. Seeing Lin Qian turned over, Lu Ning gently lay on Lin Qian's body, her long black hair draped behind her back, her face was soft and quiet. Don't leave tonight. Lu Ning raised his head slightly, looking at Lin Qian with some expectation. Give me a reason not to leave. Lin Qian's lips were slightly nasty, and his right hand stroked Lu Ning's suet-like cheek gently. Don't you want to try the newly bought mattress? 
Lu Ning's face was reddened, and a touch of natural flattery flashed in the eyes of the beautiful willow leaf. I'm not very interested in mattresses or anything. I just want to negotiate a business with you at night. Lin Qian whispered. Business? There was a hint of doubt in Lu Ning's eyes, and he didn't understand Lin Qian's meaning too much. A sum of hundreds of millions of dollars. The smirk at the corner of Lin Qian's lips became more obvious. Lu Ning Zhang Zhang, and then quickly understood what Lin Qian meant. He couldn't help but patted Lin Qian, where did you learn these poems? I learned it from the readers, they are all great poems, and I learned all my poems from them. Lin Qian responded with a grin. Lu Ning smiled and got up and stood up, I cook at night and let you taste my craft. Do you still cook? Of course, I don't know how to cook. Didn't I order takeaways every day before? I'm not as tyrant as Mr. Lin. While Lu Ning was speaking, he handed the lemonade to Lin Qian. Is it tasty? You'll know if you taste it later. Okay, then you cook, I will help you install the projector. Good. Lu Ning responded with a smile, then turned and walked into the kitchen. After half an hour. Looking at the four dishes and one soup on the table, Lin Qian's eyes were a little surprised. It looks delicious. What does it look like? It's delicious. Lu Ning rarely showed a little bit of her little daughter's naive attitude, and yelled at Lin Qian. Stir-fried seasonal vegetables, scrambled eggs with tomatoes, sweet and sour pork ribs, vinegared fish skin, and oyster and winter melon soup. The meat and vegetables pair well. Try the sweet and sour pork ribs. Lu Ning took the chopsticks and picked up a spare rib from the plate and put it on Lin Qian's dinner plate, then looked at Lin Qian expectantly. Lin Qian didn't squeeze either, he took the chopsticks and stuffed the whole sweet and sour pork ribs directly into his mouth. Um. Lin Qian's eyes were shining slightly, his mouth was picking bones, and he gave Lu Ning a thumbs up. After spitting out the bones, Lin Qian was a little surprised and exclaimed, it's delicious, it's really delicious. Hearing Lin Qian's compliment, Lu Ning's face immediately showed a bright smile, and her willow leaf eyes couldn't help but bend into crescent moons. If it tastes delicious, eat more. As Lu Ning said, he reached out and picked up the porcelain bowl, helping Lin Qian to prepare a bowl of oyster and winter melon soup, drink some soup, don't choke. Looking at the virtuous and meek Lu Ning who looked like a little daughter-in-law, Lin Qian felt very warm. Two people ate a meal very slowly. After eating, Lu Ning took the plate down, put the leftovers in the disposable lunchbox, and put the dishes and chopsticks in the dishwasher. After finishing all this, Lu Ning went back to the bedroom and changed her pajamas to the living room. The dark blue silk pajamas worn on Lu Ning's body, even the loose version, still can't conceal Lu Ning's quite strong capital, and the beautiful buttocks are upright, and the delicate makeup on his face is still unremoved, just like a dignified beauty young woman. I also bought you a set of pajamas, so you can put it on, in the bedroom. Lu Ning inserted an apple into Lin Xian's mouth, and said softly. Good. Lin Xian answered, then walked into the bedroom and put on the pajamas Lu Ning had prepared for him. The pajamas in Lu Ning are couple models, but the color is cement gray. Back in the living room, Lu Ning snuggled up in Lin Xian's arms obediently, gentle and quiet, allowing Lin Xian to enjoy full male respect. What movie to watch? Romance movie or action movie? Lu Ning raised his head and asked Lin Xian. I want to watch these two types of movies. Lin Qian smirked. Then I can't find. Lu Ning's face was reddish, and her red lips pursed slightly. Lin Qian smiled, and finally found a romance movie and watched it. Certainly. In such an environment, it is certainly impossible to watch a movie quietly. At a moment of confusion, Lin Qian suddenly stopped. Wait a moment. What's wrong? Lu Ning asked blankly. You? Can you put on your bank uniforms? Lin Qian smirked. Upon hearing this, Lu Ning's complexion immediately turned redder, and her beautiful eyes were full of shame. You? Not serious. Lin Qian raised his eyebrows, is it okay, Ninger baby? Lu Ning pursed red lips, suddenly got up and took a bite at Lin Qian's shoulder, then hurriedly walked towards the cloakroom, clutching the naked Chuan Wang. A few minutes later, Lu Ning, who had put on his work uniform, walked back, and even got his hair back. Dignified and elegant. Then. A few days later. Xing Yuan South Road, Xinrongji. Outside the secluded and private box, two young waitresses stood quietly in front of the door, but their eyes were always uncontrollable and looked inside the box. It is hard for them to imagine that the boy Peng Yuyan in the eyes of countless girls is sitting alive in the box at this time. Keep the door tight, don't take aim. The passing supervisor stared at the two girls and murmured. When the two girls heard the words, they immediately shut the door tightly, 
their eyes full of reluctance to Peng Yuyan inside. In the box, Peng Yuyan and Lin Xianchao sat at the small round table and communicated quietly. Director Lin, how many people will come to the media when the eggshell is laid? Peng Yuyan asked curiously. Two, one is Li Xiaoman, who has contacted me these days. She is the professional manager of eggshell media, and the other is the real decision maker of eggshell media. It is very mysterious. It is a male or a female, and she is how big, there is no information at all. Lin Xianchao replied softly, frowning slightly, apparently a little bit at a loss for the mysterious behind the scenes boss of eggshell media. But this eggshell media is really powerful. The company chose the location of the World Financial Center in the Central Business District and rented an entire floor. The annual rent alone is more than 10 million. It is really rich. Lin Xianchao said with emotion. The sudden emergence of a well-capitalized media company in the industry has naturally attracted the attention of many people. What's more, Lin Xianchao, who wants to seek investment from others, is even more concerned about it. I hope everything goes well today. Peng Yuyan sighed. When Peng Yuyan and Lin Xianchao were chatting, there was some movement outside the door. People are coming. Hearing the voice of the waitress welcoming the reception, Lin Xianchao said to Peng Yuyan, and then stood up from the chair first, and Peng Yuyan also stood up immediately. The Chinese mahogany gate slowly opened, and two figures of a man and a woman slowly appeared in the eyes of Lin Xianchao and Peng Yuyan. Walking in the forefront was a young and overly man, who seemed to be no more than 20 years old. His hands are in his pockets, his face is beautiful, his eyes are clear, and his body is filled with a little extravagance. A decent light coffee-colored casual suit, with a suit business vest of the same color as the jacket, and a white lining on the inside, a solid color tie between the neck, and a pair of dark brown leather shoes. Lin Xianchao, who has been in the entertainment industry all the year round, can see the suit Lin Xian wears at a glance. It is the latest high-end ready-to-wear from Givenchy this year. The price of this suit alone is probably more than 200,000 soft sister coins. The woman behind the man is also a Prada's new high-order dress in autumn. She is tall, with exquisite makeup and slightly raised chin. It looks full of aura and looks like a strong woman in the workplace. Looking at such a combination, Lin Xianchao was a little confused. This woman should be Li Xiaoman who has been in contact with him these days, but who is this young man in front of him? Is it the son of the boss behind the scenes? Lin Xianchao's thoughts shifted to speculation, but on the surface it was not at all neglected. Mr. Li, this is. Lin Xianchao greeted the two and asked Li Xiaoman tentatively with a smile. Director Lin, Mr. Peng, hello, I am Li Xiaoman, the general manager of Eggshell Media. Li Xiaoman introduced himself generously, and then sullenly introduced himself to the two of them, and this one next to me, is the CEO and chairman of Eggshell Media Lin Xianlin. After listening to Li Xiaoman's introduction, Lin Xianchao and Peng Yuyan were shocked. Not the son of the boss behind the scenes, but the CEO and chairman? In other words, is the mysterious boss of this new media company that paid 200 million US dollars a young man under the age of 20? Mr. Lin, hello. Mr. Lin, lucky to meet. Lin Xianchao and Pang Yuyan spoke one after another, and Lin Xian's status in the hearts of both of them instantly climbed infinitely. So young, with such funds in hand, the family behind. Unimaginable. The two gradually changed, and instantly made up a lot of background for Lin Xian now. Director Lin doesn't have to be so polite. I'm still a fan of Director Lin. I like to watch many movies made by Director Lin. I also like Peng's film and television works very much. Many of my friends are also your fans. Seeing that Lin Xian appeared to be very gentle, without any arrogance and arrogance, both Lin Xianchao and Peng Yuyan felt a little relieved. When Peng Yuyan heard Lin Xian call him his brother, he was a little flattered, and waved his hands again and again, not dare to ask for it. Don't look at them as they have a great reputation outside, they are big stars and directors, but in the face of real capital, it is not easy to say that they are tools for making money, and their status is not high. Unless they can become someone like Zhang Guisher or Lu Tianwan one day, they can really jump out of this circle, but the two of them today are far less interesting. Facing a capital upstart like Lin Xian holding a huge amount of money, there are still begging for others. If Lin Xian's personality is eccentric and arrogant, they will have to endure it today. When the four met for the first time, they exchanged greetings with each other, and at the same time the back chef began to take food. Fish maw yellow fish soup, crispy pigeon, original steak, abalone braised pork. Xinrangji, Yanjing's famous Zhejiang cuisine Chinese restaurant, commercial banquets like Lin Xianchao, can easily cost tens of thousands of dollars for a meal. Lin Xian sat on the main seat and watched the big star and director who once could only look up on the internet. His words were full of flattery and respect. 
Such a gap made Lin Qian feel a little dreamy. Really? Rich is the master these days. It's a pity that this is an action war type movie. There are no good looking heroines. Otherwise, it might not be the handsome Peng Yu Yan who will accompany you today, but the charming female celebrity. Lin Qian thought silently with a little regret in his heart. Lin Qian is still more interested in things in the entertainment industry, and Lin Xianchao realizes that Lin Qian is more interested in things in the circle. He does not hide it, and confides a lot of secrets and gossip in the circle to Lin Qian. It made Lin Qian quite an eye-opener and the feeling of ruining the three views. Finally, I can only sigh with emotion, your circle is really messy. But well. Now he should be considered a person in this circle, and he is still at the top of this circle. Um. Lin Qian unexpectedly started looking forward a little. After eating a meal for nearly an hour, Lin Qian was a bit speechless when he saw that Lin Xianchao hadn't even mentioned investment. This celebrity director has a lot of foreplay, and it's almost time to go straight to the subject. Director Lin, if you don't talk about investment anymore, I will be full. Lin Xian picked up the tissue and wiped his mouth, and said with a smile to Lin Xianchao. Lin Xianchao suddenly became a little nervous when he heard this. Director Lin, let me just say it straight. I am a little interested in your films, and I am also very optimistic about Director Lin's strength. I think if we invest our first investment in Eggshell Media in Director Lin, we should be able to let's Eggshell Media usher in a good start. So if you want this 15 million investment, it is very simple. First, openly and honestly share the total investment amount of this movie, and then take out a sincere share. Our Eggshell Media only invests and does not participate. It will interfere with the production and distribution of your movies, and we only need to invest in revenue. Lin Xian said lightly and lightly, while Li Xiaoman nodded slightly on that side. Mr. Lin, the project of the Mekong River was originally led by Bona Pictures, and the co-investors were China Pictures and Tianhua Pictures. The original film production cost was 120 million, and the initial budget announced later was 20 million. Bona Pictures led the investment of 70 million, undertaking the production and distribution, China Pictures co-invested 20 million, Tianhua Pictures co-invested 50 million, and the latter two films only assumed the production. Lin Xian's words are for this purpose. Lin Xian supernaturally can no longer hide and tuck him, telling the actual total investment of the entire movie, and at the same time taking out the original him, Bona, China, and Tianhua from the briefcase. Signed Investment Letter of Intent Li Xiaoman took these investment intents and looked through it carefully, and then slightly nodded to Lin Xian, saying that there was nothing wrong with these investment intents. Lin Xian was a little bit stunned. The production cost plus the release totaled 140 million. The result was a 200 million big production in the last life. There was a difference of 60 million in the middle. This water is really a bit big. As a result, you also know that there was a problem on the Tianhua picture side, and now there is a gap of 50 million yuan. This time I went to your company to make an investment, and I greeted Bona and the China side. The two companies also agreed that if you replace Tianhua Pictures to fill the 50 million gap, the original three agreed upon Tianhua shares will be transferred to Lin's Eggshell Media. Because Bona is responsible for production and distribution, Bona's share will be divided by 55% of the film party, of which 50% is the investment share, the extra 5% is the distribution share, and the remaining 45%, if the movie ends at the box office over 1 billion, I will have a 3% share as a director. If the box office is less than 1 billion, I will not get the share. Lin Xianchao was not speaking fast, while Lin Qian and Li Xiaoman listened quietly. In fact, Lin Qian is really unclear about how to divide it, but with a professional like Li Xiaoman, it is obviously unlikely that Lin Xianchao wants to take Lin Qian and the others. The director's share is sufficient because of Lin Xianchao's status, and there is a guarantee of 1 billion box office, which is very reasonable and the share is acceptable. If the box office exceeds 1 billion, I will take 3% of the film share, Bona Pictures 54%, China Pictures will take 12%, and Eggshell Media will take 31% of the share. If the box office does not exceed 1 billion, Bona Pictures got 55%, China Pictures got 13%, and Eggshell Media got 32%. This is our original share ratio, which is completely set in accordance with the market share. Lin Xianchao said very sincerely. When Lin Xian saw Lin Xianchao finished speaking, he did not reply immediately, but turned to look at Li Xiaoman. At this time, Li Xiaoman took a mobile calculator and simply calculated a few data, then slightly nodded to Lin Xian, this is fine. Director Lin is very sincere. Bona doesn't want a lot of distribution shares. For example, the film industry of Huaying, some can even reach 8%. Lin Xian nodded, then looked at Lin Xianchao and said, Director Lin, if the budget is not enough, what should I do if additional investment is needed? 
If there are insufficient pre-production costs or insufficient post-announcements and additional investment is required, Mr. Lin will have the priority to pursue investment. If none of the three film companies has the willingness to pursue investment, he will introduce the rest of the film industry investment, but I don't think this problem should arise. We have repeatedly calculated the budget in the previous period, and 140 million is enough. Lin Xianxiao immediately responded with a smile. Lin Shen nodded, and then didn't reply, instead he started thinking, tapping the table with his right fingers lightly, and his face was thinking. Um. Lin Xian installed it. Lin Xian, who knows what the box office of this movie will look like in the future, of course knows that this movie is definitely profitable, and he has to think about it. The main reason is that if he agrees too quickly, he is a little bit deep, so Lin Xian decided to pretend to be a while. Seeing Lin Xian thinking, Lin Xianchao was a little nervous. Whether the investment of 50 million yuan can be obtained depends on whether the master can nod his head. Whether it is done or not is all within the other's thoughts. Mr. Li, what do you think? About a few minutes later, Lin Qian turned his head very compellingly and asked Li Xiaoman calmly. Mr. Lin, there is no problem with the share of this project and the amount of investment. If Mr. Lin feels that this project is worth investing, my opinion is that it can be invested. Li Xiaoman responded ably. Lin Shen nodded slightly when he heard the words, and then said lightly, if this is the case, then vote. It looks like they are not talking about 50 million, but just 500,000. Hearing Lin Xian's words, Lin Xianchao's heart jumped fiercely, and he couldn't help being overjoyed. The thing that had troubled him for several days was finally resolved. Director Lin, we will make up for the 50 million gap in eggshell media. After the film is launched, we will not take care of the shooting, but we will send an accounting team. We need to review the financial expenditure of the film crew on a regular basis. Is this okay? Lin Qian asked lightly. Lin Xianchao immediately responded, no problem, of course no problem. The accounts and expenditures of the crew and the expenditures before shooting will be completely open and transparent to you at that time. You can send someone to check the accounts or send someone to follow the team at any time. Lin Xian nodded in satisfaction after hearing this. It's very necessary to send an accounting team to follow the group. Otherwise, whether the money was spent on shooting or into someone's pockets, it's hard to say. The necessary constraints are still there. In this case, let's sign the contract, and in a few days we will credit the first payment to the cruise account. Lin Xian took the initiative to speak. Good good. Lin Xianchao didn't expect Lin Xian to be so refreshing, and immediately responded, and at the same time, his favor with Lin Xian continued to rise. No pretensions, easy to talk, no procrastination at all, and no weird habits, Lin Xianchao looked back on his decades of experience in filming, and he was shocked that he could not find a better investor than Lin Xian. Some investors have a big arrogance, either good wine or lust, wanting to talk about investment. There are no five or seven or eight business banquets, and they don't even have a door. At the end when they really talk about investment, they grind and sign contracts. Procrastination, there is no need to worry too much. Next, the two parties draw up a contract. This contract was originally prepared for Tianhua Pictures, but it hasn't been signed yet. Now it's just changing party A to eggshell media. After receiving the contract, Li Xiaoman sent the contract to the legal department, which was dug up yesterday, for them to review. Ten minutes later, after the review was correct, Lin Xian happily signed his name on the contract. Mr. Lin, let's take a photo together. After signing the contract, Lin Xianchao said enthusiastically, Okay. In fact, Lin Xian also had this meaning, but he kept holding back for fear of affecting his compulsion. Seeing Lin Xian's consent, Lin Xianchao called the waiter in. Lin Xian and Lin Xianchao are sitting, while Pang Yuyan and Li Xiaoman are standing behind them. The waiter who came in could not help but secretly be surprised at Lin Xian's identity when he saw such a position. After the photo was taken, the four of them ate for a while, and Lin Xian offered to end it. After greetings, Lin Xian and Li Xiaoman left Xinrongji first. In the parking lot outside Xinrongji, Lin Qian's Bentley Continental GT and Li Xiaoman's Rafa stopped next to each other, attracting the attention of passers-by. Mr. Lin, you really like this movie. Walking out of Xinrongji, Li Xiaoman couldn't help asking. Lin Qian nodded when he heard the words, yes, a strong alliance, coupled with the main theme script adapted from the restoration of real events, the leading company behind Bona Pictures is also the top company in the circle, I think there is no reason to pay. But... I still think the audience for such war films will be very small. Li Xiaoman whispered. Hearing Li Xiaoman's muttering, Lin Qian's smile remained undiminished. Very good. Li Xiaoman, you must always maintain your property of this kind of investment black hole. 
After five years, as long as you invest in the opposite direction, there is no money to make. But in fact, what Li Xiaoman said is right. According to the current development trend of the film industry, comedy is indeed in the lead, and the main theme movies such as war action are not popular. In the past 14 or 15 years, comedy was the most beloved movie genre. This year's Charlotte Troubles and Hong Kong Joke, both of which have won the box office of more than 1 billion with an investment of tens of millions, last year. Breakup Master and Heartflower Road release are also big hit comedy movies at the box office. Therefore, it is reasonable for Li Xiaoman to have such an idea. It can only be said that she lacks some foresight, and this foresight happens to be Lin Qian's unique advantage. Then we might as well make a bet. Lin Qian raised his eyebrows and said with a smile. What bet? Li Xiaoman showed some interest and asked curiously. We will bet on whether this movie will be earned or lost. If it is lost, I will give you a free investment opportunity. You can vote for movies with less than 100 million yuan. I can't ask, how about it? Lin Qian opened his mouth to a quota of 100 million, which seemed extremely bold and generous. Anyway, I won't pay, just pretend to be a cross. Li Xiaoman's eyes lit up suddenly, and his big watery eyes were full of excitement. 100 million. If there is a free investment opportunity of 100 million, wouldn't it be cool? Li Xiaoman opened his mouth to agree, but suddenly a vigilance appeared on his delicate face, then, what if it makes a profit? If I make a profit, then it means I have a better vision. Lin Shen finished, he smiled, since it's a bet, then I definitely have to point my head. Lin Shen looked up and down at the exquisite and capable Li Xiaoman, with a little bit of ill intentions at the corners of his lips. I? I will not bet myself on the free investment rights of 100 million yuan. The vigilance in Li Xiaoman's big eyes is even stronger. He lifted his chest protector slightly with both hands, and muttered in his heart, just want this lady to bet on herself for 100 million? Humph, have to add money. Seeing Li Xiaoman's behavior, Lin Qian's mouth twitched. Don't protect the airport, it will affect the takeoff of the plane. I'm not interested in you. Lin Qian curled his lips, then moved his eyes to Li Xiaoman's red Rafa, then reached out and patted his car cover, if I earn, Rafa borrows I'm cool for two months, this won't be too much, right? Li Xiaoman's eyes widened slightly when he heard the words. Why not too much, have you never heard that your partner and car are not borrowed? This shows that the car and your partner are at the same level. Your current behavior is almost equivalent to borrowing my partner for two months, which is simply too much. Okay. Lin Qian. F asterisk asterisk K, this is so logical. And hearing what she said, why did it suddenly make it a little offbeat excitement? But. Good or bad, I like it. You just say you don't gamble, don't bet, forget it. Lin Qian waved his hand and made a gesture to leave. Eh, eh, eh. Seeing that Lin Xian was going to gamble, Li Xiaoman was anxious, mainly because the temptation of 100 million free investment rights was too great. Got a bet. Li Xiaoman hurriedly responded, and then muttered, I win blood and earn the most. If I lose the most, I will lend you my Rafa baby for two months. In addition to Rafa baby, I also have a Porsche. What about baby 918, huh? The last hum with a small tail sound shows Li Xiaoman's little Sundara. This Nizi still has a Porsche 918? This is also one of the three great cars. Gee. It seems that next time I have to find a chance to gamble again, and it's cool to borrow her other little baby too. Lin Qian poked in his heart secretly. Li Xiaoman didn't know her little Tsundera, which once again attracted the covetousness of the big bad wolf. Then it settled, the gentleman's agreement, no one is allowed to fall back. Lin Qian said straightforwardly. Gentleman agreement, I believe in President Lin's credibility. Li Xiaoman raised the delicate face slightly, filled with the brilliance of self-confidence. Okay, I have something to do later, I have to leave quickly. What's the matter of Mr. Lin in such a hurry? Go to the little secretary again? Li Xiaoman leaned on the cover of her Rafa cart, habitually took out a banana-flavored lollipop from her bag and snorted with a smile on her mouth. During this period of time, the two of them were often busy with company affairs, and sometimes they needed Lu Ning to come over to help, so naturally their addictive affair could not be hidden from Li Xiaoman's eyes. In fact, Lin Qian did not intend to hide it. What health? See you every day. Lin Qian said in a bad mood, it's my college classmate. Today, I had a good afternoon meal for RB. As a result, the time and side you arranged just rushed to the meal, it's a bit unreasonable if you don't go to the night. You college classmate. Female? Li Xiaoman looked at Lin Xian, who was full of guilt, and suddenly asked abruptly. Um. 
Lin Xian was stunned, then coughed slightly, um. Li Xiaoman immediately looked at Lin Xian with a look that I already knew, heh, I have a petite secretary outside, and I will find a little beauty in the university, Mr. Lin, expert. Ahem, don't talk nonsense, I'm that kind of person. After Lin Xian said this, Li Xiaoman didn't respond. He just stared at Lin Xian. The meaning couldn't be more obvious. His eyes were full of you, that kind of person. Lin Xian was slightly guilty. I really have to go. I won't talk to you. Just keep your eyes on the follow-up work of Director Lin and don't make anything wrong. Lin Xian decided to bugger and finally told Li Xiaoman. I know, don't worry. Li Xiaoman took the lollipop out of his mouth and waved to Lin Xian. Lin Xian heard this, without saying more, and drove out of here immediately. Looking at the disappearance of Lin Xian's Bentley Continental GT, Li Xiaoman put the lollipop in his mouth again. Really a scumbag, I have to be careful. Li Xiaoman muttered to himself, and then his eyes became a little wary. This kid won't want to scum on me. Resolutely can't let him be scumbag, I'm Li Xiaoman ironclad. Li Xiaoman waved a powder fist, but his complexion quickly became a little tangled, but what if he uses free investment rights to seduce this lady again, so alluring? Ah, no matter what, you must not be scumbed by him anyway, be careful. At dusk on this ordinary day, Li Xiaoman set a flag in his heart. OM. As night fell, Chao Yang worker's body became extremely lively. With neon lights, handsome girls and handsome supercars, you will find everything here. When Lin Shen drove his Bentley Continental GT to the vicinity of the working body, the glacial white top coupe and the low sound immediately attracted the attention of countless girls. In the car, Lin Xian followed the positioning sent to him by Jiang Yao Yao, and finally he stopped in front of a high-end fashion K near Gondi. After stopping the car, Lin Xian ignored the young girl who glared at him frequently in front of the door. Under the leadership of the waiter, he quickly came to the top box. Looking at the environment in the Tide K all the way, Lin Xian could guess that even if he didn't ask for the price, he would be able to hold a party here, presumably the consumption should not be too low. Sir, this is Hall 5, please come in. The waiter behaved extremely well, and his tone was respectful and polite. Lin Xian nodded slightly, then opened the door and walked in directly. The boxes that can be called halls are the top boxes in a KTV. The area is naturally huge. Lin Xian briefly glanced at the room after entering the house. Roughly predicting, the boxes should be at least nearly 100 square meters, each with a sofa. The cards are neatly arranged and there are two separate toilets. The whole box is decorated in matte finish. There are many pink and white balloons on the ground and on the roof, and letter balloons like Happy Birthday are also arranged on the walls. In addition, there are many flowers in the box, which look very beautiful. It is lively. Lin Qian. Youngest, you are here. Lin Qian, you will be fine for being late. The box door was suddenly pushed open, and many people looked subconsciously. When they saw Lin Qian, Jiang Ningchuan and others immediately greeted Lin Qian with a smile. As for Jiang Yao Yao, the girls directly greeted Lin Qian. Passed. Lin Qian, welcome. Today's heroine, Zhao Yue, seems to have been carefully dressed up, a pure white slanted shoulder dress full of artistic scents, bare white fragrant shoulders and gooseneck, stepping on crystal high heels, the whole person looks very tall. A pair of cut water eyes are as clear as clear waves, and the nose is very curled. Perhaps it is because after drinking a few glasses of champagne, the white face is glowing with natural rouge, the long black hair is pulled up, and the ears are wavy. The hair droops naturally, and she wears a crystal crown on her head, which makes Zhao Yue's cool temperament more obvious. She is really like a little princess, cool and elegant, and definitely worthy of the word goddess. It's the goddess in the mouth of Yao Yao and Xiao Xiao. Today is so beautiful. Lin Xian praised from the bottom of his heart, and then apologized, there was a business banquet this afternoon. The investment involved is very important, so that afternoon meal. I'm really sorry for not being able to catch up. Zhao Yue said with a smile, it's okay, it's just that the people in our two bedrooms have a potluck. Compared with business, of course business is more important. Thank you for your understanding. Lin Qian smiled at Jiayue Yue with a fist, then handed the gift bag in his hand to Jiayue Yue and said, Yue, happy birthday, I bought you some small gifts. Thank you. Zhao Yue accepted it openly. Let's see what we young master Lin bought for you. Next to him, Li Xiaoxiao, who placed the unbearable weight of his life on Zhang Yao's petite body, looked eagerly at the gift bag in Jiayue's Yue's hand, her round apricot eyes filled with curiosity and gossip. Upon hearing this, Zhao Yue was a little dilemma, after all, it seemed somewhat inappropriate to open the gift in front of the giver. Open it and see if it's okay. It's really a small gift. 
I don't know if it suits your girl's wishes. Lin Qian smiled and agreed, and took the initiative to speak, without embarrassing Zhao Yuwei. Good. In fact, Zhao Yuwei was also quite curious. Seeing that Lin Qian had no objection, she opened the box and the gift bag openly, and... Wow! A neat exclamation came from Zhao Yuwei's side. It was Zhao Yuwei's three roommates who made the sound, Zhang Yao, Li Xiaoxiao, and Tong Yan involuntarily whispered. The guilt set of the mystery of the sea blue. Golden Rejuvenating Essence Lotion, Guilt Rejuvenating Essence Eye Cream, Guilt Rejuvenating Essence, Face Cream, Neck Cream. Classic Lady Set, I watched it at the counter two days ago. This set is worth more than 10,000. Li Xiaoxiao's eyes opened wide, and he subconsciously covered Zhang Yaoyao's mouth and exclaimed, causing Zhang Yaoyao to immediately anger again and again. Lin Qian, this. Zhao Yuwei looked at the guilt skin care products of the Sea Blue Mystery. She was a little surprised, because the gift Lin Qian gave was really in her heart. After all, girls, especially beautiful girls, treat themselves appearance cares the most, but also the most willing to spend money. However, Zhao Yuwei was a bit entangled, because Lin Qian gave a little expensive skin care products, more than 10,000 yuan, which made Zhao Yuwei a bit hot. Although her family's financial conditions are good, the monthly allowance is not a lot, but there are not so many noble women's skin care products that can afford her easily worth thousands of dollars. Take it, it's just as a plea for my birthday party in the afternoon, and besides that, I also prepared another special gift for you, and I will give it to you when you cut the cake. Lin Qian said somewhat mysteriously, with a very cool tone. Are there gifts? Zhao Yuwei was a little surprised, Li Xiaoxiao was a little envious, Tong Yan was a little meaningful, and Zhang Yaoyao was a little sour. Little gift, worthless. When Lin Xian said it was worthless, Zhao Yuwei was relieved immediately and smiled. After a few people stood at the door and greeted a few words, Lin Qian followed Zhang Yaoyao and others to Jiang Ningchuan's side, while Zhao Yuwei was busy continuing to greet her classmates and friends. The box is roughly divided into three groups, one group is Jiang Ningchuan and Li Xiaoxiao, one group is Zhao Yuwei's college classmates, and the other group is Zhao Yuwei's former classmates and friends. Everyone basically played on their own, and then in the lively session, everyone was also very supportive. Youngest, let me introduce you, this is your sister-in-law, Bai Shirtio, class 1 of the 15th Command Department. After Lin Xian sat down, Zhang Ningchuan took the initiative to introduce Lin Xian to the girl beside him. The girl looks sweet and looks very weak. It is the kind of girl who makes it easy for men to develop the desire to protect. Her long black hair droops naturally. After Jiang Ningchuan's introduction, she smiled shyly at Lin Qian. Boss Jiang, this is the new sister-in-law, it's not right. Two days ago, didn't you still say that the new sister-in-law we were looking for was from the folk music department? Did you change so soon? Lin Qian suddenly scratched his head, pretending to be very serious. Said puzzled. When Lin Xian said this, Bai Shirtio next to Jiang Ningchuan immediately turned his head, staring at Jiang Ningchuan with a pair of big eyes, but did not speak, just stared like that. Lin Qian, worry, you uncle, what are you doing? This is slander, pure slander, when did I say that the new sister-in-law belongs to the folk music department? Jiang Ningchuan immediately laughed and cursed, then turned to Bai Shirtio and said, baby, I really don't know any folk music department. I have absolutely pure love for you, pure love than Lunsu. Listening to Jiang Ningchuan's sincere confession, Li Xiaoxiao couldn't help rolling her eyes and muttering a big pig's hoof, but she, who was silly, simply mumbled, but did not demolish Jiang Ningchuan's station. Ha ha, sister-in-law, I was just kidding. I wanted to help you explore the bottom of Boss Jiang, but I didn't find it out. Lin Qian agreed with a smile. Damn. Jiang Ningchuan pointed his middle finger to Lin Qian and then shouted, I actually jumped so late when I came here, fine drink. Yes, one must be fine. Four in red, choose any. Xin Ming and Ma Lu seemed to have drunk a lot, and they echoed Zhang Ningchuan's yelling. I came by car. Lin Qian refused seriously, drinking and not driving, driving and not drinking, I am a citizen with a good legal system. It's okay, there is a driver here. Xiao Xiao is allergic to alcohol and can't drink. She has a driver's license and she can drive. Tan Yan roared over there. When Lin Qian heard this, he was immediately a little confused, and finally could only hold up the wine glass, and sighed long before drinking, it's sloppy. Everyone was drinking and making fun. During the period, Tong Yan introduced her boyfriend, not a student of this school, but a student of the Broadcasting Department of China Communication University. Whenever everyone toasted or joked, the other party responded positively. His surname was Gu and his name was Chang. When Lin Qian saw that everyone called him Lao Gu, Lin Qian followed them and called him Lao Gu. Lin Qian sits aside, and Zhang Yaoyao is on his left. 
Today Jiang Yao Yao is also very careful in dressing up, loose blue hooded sweater with cute graffiti style printed on it. The big sweater wears the little girl, with her beautiful white legs exposed, and a pair of black feet under her feet. Orange casual shoes, slightly taller stockings, tied with her favorite ball head, pure and cute. Today, Zhao Yue had a lot of battles. This drink is foreign and red. It's probably a lot of money? After a break, Lin Qian asked Zhang Yao Yao in a low voice. When Zhang Yao Yao heard the words, he nodded and said, Yes, we spent 2,000 yuan on dinner in the afternoon, and then this sex tonight will cost more than 10,000 yuan. Yue said that her small vault is almost exhausted. Yo, it really is a rich little woman. Lin Qian was not surprised. After speaking, he smiled at Zhang Yao Yao and said, Are you also a little rich woman who hides her secrets? If so, please see through your brother. I don't want to work hard anymore. The doctor said that my gastrointestinal tract is not very good, so I should eat something soft. Lin Qian's words made Zhang Yao Yao amused. Grape's big eyes were bent into two crescents, and he sneered, I'm not a rich woman. If you let me work hard for a few years, my sister will take care of you. Lin Qian and Zhang Yao Yao were chatting on this side. Suddenly they felt that the right side sank and then was full of softness. When he looked back, he saw Li Xiaoxiao's cute face. Lin Qian, sit inside and let's squeeze. After Li Xiaoxiao spoke to Lin Qian, she pointed towards Zhang Yao Yao and said, Yao Yao, let me use your brother Lin, then I'm irritated by someone in front of me. Hearing what Li Xiaoxiao said, Lin Qian and Zhang Yao Yao immediately squeezed in. However, the deck on this side was so big that after barely squeezing some space for Li Xiaoxiao, the final situation was Zhang Yao Yao and Li Xiaoxiao one by one. The right squeezed him in the middle. Xialong Bao on the left, Big Meat Bun on the right. Um. Nizagud. What's the situation? Zhang Yao Yao asked with a probe. Li Xiaoxiao heard the words and made a nuisance in a certain direction, Yue's high school classmates, and Yue are both locals in Yanjing, and there should be some money at home. When I was pestering me, it was a dazzling watch and a car key. Sister is going to throw up. When Li Xiaoxiao was talking, he was a little excited, even with gestures, and the two were so close. With Li Xiaoxiao's strong capital, Lin Qian also wanted to complain, you keep on going like this, my brother. I'm about to throw up too. With the arrival of Lin Qian, Zhang Yao Yao's small circle became even more lively. Ten minutes later, Jia Yue also came over and joined everyone's joking. Later, Lin Qian was naturally the focus of everyone, which made some people very upset. Brother Lei, what is that kid's background, he wears a dog-like person, a suit and tie, and he makes him look like a nobleman at the top of society. At the other end of the box, a long-faced boy looked at Lin Qian with an unhappy face, while whispering to a friend next to him. This long-faced boy was the one who kept pestering Li Xiaoxiao just now. He looked at the girl who had been ignoring him for a long time. He turned and plunged into the arms of other men, and that man was sitting on two girls at the same time, which made him suddenly quite unbalanced. A beautiful figure, a petite and innocent boy, who can eat all the boys? I don't know, I gave Weiwei a set of gilt sets of the mystery of the sea blue, about 10,000 yuan, it should be a little bit of money. The boy called Lei Gu is a little handsome, with triangular eyes. At first glance, he looks a bit like a face with the star Zhang Ruoyan. He is very trendy in dress. His full name is Hong Lei, Zhao Yue's high school classmate, and also Hong Lei. The suitor. The long-faced boy named Yuan Guanxi, also Zhao Yue's high school classmate, is also Hong Lei's loyal little brother. That's it? Yuan Guanxi smiled a little disdainfully. It may be that we know Weiwei's character and chose an affordable gift. Hong Lei faintly agreed, but soon Hong Lei's expression gradually turned gloomy, because he found that Zhao Yue paid too much attention to the boy named Lin Qian. Feeling Hong Lei's gloomy expression, Yuan Guanxi followed Hong Lei's sight and quickly understood the reason why Hong Lei was suddenly in a bad mood. Brother Lei, this kid is a bit too much. There are two sisters who are not satisfied with the paper. Even Sister Wei doesn't want to let it go. It's too greedy. Yuan Guanxi said immediately. Looking at Li Xiaoxiao next to Lin Qian, looking at his superb figure, he swallowed a little hard to restrain. If this figure is... Yuan Guanxi didn't even dare to think about it, mainly because he was afraid of embarrassment in front of so many people. Go, let's go over to Toast and see what this brother comes from. After all, Hong Lei is a 19-year-old young man, a little deep and superficial, watching the girl he has liked for a few years making fun of other boys, how could he still be able to sit on the sofa? When Yuan Guanxi saw Hong Lei getting up, he also got up immediately, and by the way, he called the other old classmates, some men and women walked towards Lin Qian's circle. A few people came over and naturally attracted the attention of Lin Qian and others. 
That person has been pestering me. Seeing Yuan Guanqi coming, Li Xiaoxia whispered in Lin Qian's ear, and then gestured towards Lin Qian with a stubborn mouth. Lin Qian nodded slightly when he heard the words, it's okay, if he sits again later, we will change places. You sit between me and Yao Yao. Okay. Li Xiaoxiao nodded, and then he smiled, thank you brother for helping the cover. When I go back to the bedroom, Yao Yao will be covered by me. I will never let her appear again and be beaten by Tong Yin. That's the case. Xiao Xiao. Suddenly, Jiang Yao Yao heard Li Xiaoxiao talk about the frolicking in their boudoir, and immediately blushed. Lin Xian's throat rolled when he heard this. He actually wanted to say, Han and Han, you don't have to stop it. We will just open a video next time if this happens. Of course, he just thought about this in his heart. After a few words, Hong Lei and others came over. After a brief introduction, Yuan Guanxi suddenly suggested, the long night is long, and Yue has ordered so much wine, and he can't finish drinking according to this method. Why don't we play games for entertainment? Play some games? Lin Xian and Jiang Ningchuan's eyes crossed, and they were a bit confused about their intentions, but Jiang Ningchuan didn't think much about the so-called not hitting the smiley people with their hands. Then play, everyone is Yue's classmates and friends, friends of friends, then we are also friends naturally. Jiang Ningchuan's scenes are also very beautiful, and his performance is quite free and easy. What Jiang Ningchuan didn't notice was that when he said that we were also friends, the face called Yuan Guanqi showed a touch of disapproval. Jiang Ningchuan didn't notice, but Lin Qian, who was sitting next to him, noticed. He couldn't help but frown, and his impression of Yuan Guanqi was even worse. After talking about playing the game, Yuan Guanqi and others moved a few small stools from the rest of the place and sat down. The deck on the right was quite tightly enclosed, with a total of almost 16 people. Unsurprisingly, what Lin Qian expected was that Yuan Guanqi, the long-faced boy, really sat beside Li Xiaoxiao like a brown candy, and he was sitting very close, just like the one he was about to stick on. Lin Qian, let's change. Li Xiaoxiao saw the other person sticking up, she immediately got up from the sofa and whispered to Lin Qian. Naturally, Lin Qian had no objection. He directly exchanged positions with Li Xiaoxiao. From being surrounded by Jiang Yaoyao and Li Xiaoxiao, Lin Qian sat on the very edge of the sofa deck, and on the other side. It is Yuan Guanqi, who just came here. A strong smell of alcohol rushed over his face, just by smelling the smell, Lin Qian knew that this kid did not drink less, but his eyes were very clear, then look at the wine in his glass, a typical foreign wine blended with a functional drink. The method, under the dual effects of alcohol and functional drinks, makes it quite exciting. Brother, Huayin's? Seeing that as soon as he sat down, Li Xiaoxiao and Lin Qian changed seats. Such obvious avoidance made Yuan Guanqi feel a little unbearable. He stared at Lin Qian with some gloomy eyes, and asked abruptly. Um. Lin Qian responded indifferently. Where is the home? Immigrant. Zhenghai or Yangchang? None, it's from a small place. Hearing that Lin Qian was neither local nor from Zhenghai and Yangchang, Yuan Guanqi's face immediately showed a touch of disdain, and his expression was quite arrogant. That expression made Lin Qian feel more disgusted with it. If it wasn't Zhao Yue's birthday party, Lin Qian really wanted to lift the table and let him roll far away. When Lin Qian and Yuan Guanqi were chatting, everyone also discussed what to play. Too many people are not suitable for bragging. How about playing a simple windmill? Zhang Ningchuan suggested. Can. Hong Lei said that there was no problem. Then Zhang Ningchuan briefly explained the rules to everyone, very simple. Due to the large number of people, the original six wine glasses are upgraded to eleven wine glasses, and then each player has a dice cup, and each dice cup has two dice. Start with the first player to roll the dice and roll any number. If this the number labeled wine glass is empty, then the player fills the wine glass, but the player does not drink it. Players go down one by one and wait for the next player to roll the dice. If the number reached is still empty, then continue to pour the wine. If the number reached corresponds to the wine in the glass, the player needs to drink the wine. If there is an extreme probability that 11 wine glasses and 10 wine glasses are full, if the 11th wine glass is empty and a player happens to shake the only empty glass, then the player will drink all the wine glasses on the field. Wine. Simple and crisp, basically a game of luck, with very low difficulty. Everyone briefly communicated, decided to drink foreign wine, and then took out 11 empty foreign wine glasses, each of which was almost a big mouthful. I'm allergic to alcohol, so I won't drink it anymore. Li Xiaoxiao waved his hand, surrendered with both hands, and shrank and smiled. Since everyone is playing games together, don't be out of group. Yuan Guanqi raised his eyebrows, and then said with some ill intentions, you can play games. If you drink, you can ask the man next to you to help you drink, 
Don't you think we are not worthy to play with a beautiful woman like you? Yuan Guanxi's words included Hong Lei and several people. After hearing the words, several people looked at Li Xiaoxiao, while Jiang Ningxuan and others were subconsciously frowning. People have said that they are allergic to alcohol, and they are still so reluctant, and they use big hats to buckle down, which is a bit too much. Yuan Guanxi, my roommate is really allergic to alcohol and can't drink. Zhao Yue was a little unhappy, and helped Li Xiaoxiao explain it again. I didn't say to let her drink, what I said was to let her participate and leave the drinking to the boys. Yuan Guanxi spread his hands and said in a rather innocent tone. Lin Xian's drink volume is not very good. If both of you are unlucky, wouldn't Lin Xian drink double the amount? Foreign wine hurts his body, and drinking too much is not good. Zhao Yue's tone was a little concerned and worried. Hong Lei, who was sitting next to Yuan Guanxi, heard Zhao Yue's words, and the shadows under his eyes became thicker by three points. Men help women drink some wine, this is the man. Hong Lei smiled, then smiled at Li Xiaoxiao, if this brother Lin feels that he can't drink enough, then I can drink for this sister. Lin Xian narrowed his eyes when he heard the words. To retreat is to advance, but in fact it is shrimp and pig heart. If Lin Xian agreed to Hong Lei's wine for Li Xiaoxiao, then Lin Xian's table of boys would really lose their face. No need, Xiaoxiao's wine, I will replace it. Lin Xian responded with a faint smile, and then gave Jiang Yaoyao and Li Xiaoxiao a relieved look. He could see that Yuan Guanxi and Hong Lei came over with no good intentions at all. Let's start. Since this beauty can't drink, let's start with her and rotate clockwise, how about? Yuan Guanxi went on to say, it seems to be magnificent, but in fact it is also sluggish. Li Xiaoxiao is the first to start and rotates clockwise, then Lin Qian is the last person. According to the gameplay, Lin Qian is the last one, and the chance of drinking is extremely high. Under Lin Qian, Li Xiaoxiao is again, and Li Xiaoxiao drinks while shaking. The odds are also great, so starting this way greatly improved Lin Xian's chances of drinking a double cup. Why don't you start with my girlfriend, who can't drink too much either? Zhang Ningxuan saw through Yuan Guanxi's careful thoughts and immediately proposed. It's okay, just start Xiao Xiao. Lin Xian waved his hand and handed Zhang Ningxuan a relieved look. Lin Xian is quite confident about his luck. The odds of being one in billions of rebirth and the system have allowed him to catch up. How could his luck be bad? What's more, Lin Xian hadn't been here for a long time, and basically didn't drink a few drinks. In his state, playing with people like Yuan Guanxi who drank like fast, he was still very sure of his drinking. Come on, shake it at will, I'll give you the bottom line. Lin Xian turned his head to Li Xiaoxiao and chuckled softly, with a touch of tenderness in his eyes. At this moment, Li Xiaoxiao felt that a certain heartstring had been gently moved, and his cheeks did not turn red. But she soon realized that her state shouldn't be. Lin Xian is Yao Yao, Lin Xian is Yao Yao, Lin Xian is Yao Yao, tell important things three times, hold back. This Henin read it silently several times in his heart, then bowed his head and asked for a dice. Two one points, a very rare chance to be shaken. Li Xiaoxiao picked up the wine bottle and filled the wine glass with label two. Seven o'clock, empty glass, pour wine. Twelve o'clock, empty cup. Ah, it's seven again, there is wine, drink. Everyone shook the dice one by one, among them, girls like Zhang Yaoyao and Bai Shirchiu were the first to come into contact with such a wine table game, and they all seemed quite excited. Soon the wine table turned around, and when it was Yuan Guanxi's turn, the wine glasses on the table were only empty glasses of 8, 9, and 11. Snapped. Yuan Guanxi shook the dice cup vigorously, and then buckled the dice cup heavily on the tabletop. Then slowly open, 1.3, 1.4, and the total is 7, there is wine in the glass. Drink, brother Yuan. Lin Xian said with a smile. It's just a glass of wine, trivial. Yuan Guanxi snorted softly, then generously picked up the wine glass and drank it directly. It's your turn. Lin Xian picked up the dice cup and shook it casually, then opened the dice cup directly, and when he saw the dice in the dice cup clearly, he smiled suddenly. 1.5, 1.2, exactly 7. Lin Xian said with a smile, and arched his hand at Yuan Guanxi, Brother Yuan, thank you. Everyone knows what Lin Xian's gratitude means. People like Zhang Ningxuan, Ma Lu and others immediately agreed. Brother Yuan is atmospheric. Brother Yuan is good at dice. Lin Xian, your luck is okay. Ma Lu and the others were also stunned, and they all opened their mouths and ran against Yuan Guanxi. These people are not good at coming, especially the refusal of Li Xiaoxiao just now, which made them angry. Now that they have the opportunity to run two sentences, of course they will spare no effort. Yuan Guanxi was squeezed by these people, and his angry face was a little purple. You're welcome. Yuan Guanxi gritted his teeth a bit. 
Lin Xian smiled, filled the number seven wine glass again, and then motioned to Li Xiaoxiao to shake the dice. Li Xiaoxiao was a little nervous, and after shaking vigorously several times, he slowly opened the dice cup. 1.3, 1.5, the total is 8, empty cup. After seeing the dice in the dice cup, Li Xiaoxiao immediately clapped his hands and laughed. Poor wine. Ma Lu and Xin Ming gestured with a smile. Hey, luck is so good. Lin Xian spread his hands, pretending to be a lone lonely player, causing Jiang Yayao, Tong Yan and others to laugh endlessly, while Yuan Guanqi and Hong Lei's faces were not very good looking. Yao Yao, yours. Li Xiaoxiao stunned Jiang Yao Yao and signaled Jiang Yao Yao to continue. Before Lin Xian came, Jiang Yao Yao drank a few glasses of champagne, her white and tender face flushed, and she looked very cute. She picked up the dice cup with a little excitement and shook it a few times, then slowly opened the cup, her face suddenly crappy. 1 2, 1 3, and the total is 5. Jiang Yao Yao looked at the wine glass full of wine in front of him, with a bitter face, and immediately stretched out his white tender hand to grab the wine glass. However, when she first caught the wine glass, a big hand covered Jiang Yao Yao's small hand and directly took the wine glass in Jiang Yao Yao's hand. A little thirsty. Lin Xian raised his head and drank it, then wiped his mouth and said with a smile. Hey yo yo. Yao Yao, brother Lin is so sweet. Lin Xian, I give full marks to you who pretend to be a force. This wave of dog food, let me respect it first, and my goosebumps are all up. Lin Xian's operation immediately caused a strong reaction from Tong Yan, Ma Lu, Xin Ming and others, and they all clamored. And Jiang Yao Yao himself, at this moment, the whole person's heart is about to be sweetened. The little jealousy that Lin Xian gave to Zhao Yue to help Li Xiaoxiao's wine disappeared in an instant. He didn't drink, but the rouge on his cheeks was more than three points. In those big grape eyes, the eyes looking at Lin Xian were full of tenderness and sweetness. And the other girls on the table, even the girls beside Hong Lei and others, looked at Lin Xian with brilliant eyes. The light coffee-colored suit vest, the white lining, the delicate face, and the clear eyes, under the dim light, almost completely matched the image of the overbearing male god in Mary Sue when they see every day. So warm. So sweet. So handsome. As for Hong Lei, Yuan Guanqi and others, when Lin Xian put such a big force in front of them, they naturally looked very ugly and felt quite unhappy. After the simple episode, everyone continued to play with the big windmill. After the seven or eight rounds, everyone at the wine table won and lost. Among them, Lin Xian drank three glasses alone, two glasses of wine blocked for Jiang Yao, and one glass of wine blocked for Li Xiaoxiao, but Lin Xian himself had no turn for a glass of wine. As for Yuan Guanqi and Han Lei, the luck is really bad. Yuan Guanqi basically drank in turns, Hong Lei almost drank five cups. One six, one five, and wine at eleven o'clock. Zhao Yue's turn should be Zhao Yue drinking. She raised her glass and looked at Lin Xian who was sitting across from her. She smiled and joked, Lin Xian, you have blocked the wine for Yao Yao and Xiao Xiao. Come to me. Shouldn't it be a bit expressive too? Today, you are the birthday star, so you should drink more. Besides, aren't you still sitting next to you, Waha, two generals? Both of them can drink. You don't need to pity them both for me. I'll be done drinking them. Lin Xian smiled. Replied, he didn't mean to receive wine in the slightest. Damn, the youngest, who do you think is the second general? That's right, we have to be a king or something the last time. Shen Ming and Ma Lu yelled. Hey, Tang Yan has old Gu blocking the wine, Xiao Xiao and Yao Yao have Lin Xian blocking the wine, but I am alone and widowed. It's too miserable. Zhao Yue shook her head and said with a smile. When Hong Lei heard the words, his spirit came immediately, Wei Wei, I will come for this cup. When Zhao Yue heard Hong Lei's appellation, her eyebrows were slightly lame, and she did not respond, but directly drank the wine in the glass. Picking up a paper towel and wiping her mouth, Zhao Yue smiled faintly, No, you have also drunk a lot. I'll take this cup myself. The alienation and politeness between the words couldn't be more obvious, and compared with the attitude toward Lin Xian just now, it was a world of difference. Hong Lei's expression became more gloomy. The game continued, and soon turned to Yuan Guanqi again. However, the situation is a bit weird. Eleven wine glasses, ten wine glasses have wine, only the twelfth glass has no wine in it. Brother Yuan, open the cup cautiously. If you shake a twelve, then you will win the lottery. Lin Qian reminded with a smile. Some people who were playing on mobile phones or chatting privately, when they heard Lin Qian's words, all of their eyes suddenly turned over. After Yuan Guanqi cursed the bastard in his heart, he held the dice cup in his right hand and shook it vigorously. Snapped. Yuan Guanqi buckled the dice cup on the wine table. Hey, you can't move if you land, you guys don't have to play with you. 
Jiang Ningchuan shouted immediately. Yuan Guanqi's throat moved, and his heart was also a little weak at this time. If you want to shake 12 o'clock, you have to double six. I won't be so bad luck? Yuan Guanqi muttered subconsciously. Then, under the attention of everyone, slowly opened the dice cup. F asterisk asterisk K. Really double six. 66,666. Seeing the number of dice in Yuan Guanqi's dice cup, the wine table exploded immediately. Double six, which is 12 o'clock, which means that Yuan Guanqi has to drink all 11 glasses of wine on the wine table. Yuan Guanqi's face turned green. Brother Yuan, please. Lin Xian smiled and pushed all the wine on the wine table in front of Yuan Guanqi, and then pretended to be bold, I think brother Yuan is a little too powerful to drink. If brother Yuan really can't drink, you speak to my brother, it's okay for me to share two cups for you. Lin Xian said beautifully, but he actually played the shrimp and pig heart that Hong Lei first played. Isn't it just eleven glasses of wine, do I need you to help? Yuan Guanqi was drunk and his eyes were a little lost. Hearing Lin Xian's words, it aroused his dissatisfaction even more. In front of so many people, especially when there are so many girls, how could he admit that he is not drinking well and beg Lin Xian to help him drink it? Don't you want to be shameless? He he, if that's the case, brother Yuan, please. Lin Xian's goal has been achieved, and he leaned back to signal Yuan Guanqi to start his performance. Looking at the wine glasses in a row in front of him, Yuan Guanqi only felt that his stomach was faintly tumbling, but at this moment, the words were all let go. It was impossible to drink, so he had to bite the bullet and start drinking. One cup, two cups, three cups. Belch. Yuan Guanqi hiccuped and almost didn't vomit. Hong Lei, who was sitting next to Yuan Guanqi, saw the appearance of his little brother. He frowned and stretched out his hand to help Yuan Guanqi drink two cups. Then he stopped helping to drink. The main reason was that he drank a lot and then drank again. It's a bit uncomfortable. One cup after another, and one more cup after drinking. After drinking seven cups in a row, Yuan Guanqi was already shaking, and the scene in front of him now showed double shadows. Holding the last glass of wine hard, holding it in his hand seems like a huge weight. Lin Xian, he seems to be really dysfunctional, or you can help him. Zhang Yaoyao suddenly said, Zhao Didi's voice is not loud, but it happens to be heard by everyone. I cannot? Yuan Guanqi heard the girl say that she couldn't do it, and immediately felt an energy in her heart. Tons, tons. Pick up the wine glass and drink all the wine in the glass directly. Man. Can't say no. Then. The pride is no more than three seconds. Vomit. Wow. Puff. He drank booze the first second, then lowered his head, pointed directly at the feet of Hong lay beside him, and vomited. This spit is like a flood that opened the gate. Continuous, continuous, surging, and vigorous like a rainbow. The eight glasses of wine I drank before, plus the wine I drank before, were all spit out by Yuan Guanqi. Hong Lei was stupid. This is... This is pretty bald. Suddenly, the feet were hot, followed by a little heavy, and then the pungent smell surged crazily. At the last look, F asterisk asterisk king, the tuft on the feet is so disgusting. Lin Qian, who was sitting on the other side of Yuan Guanqi, almost retracted into Li Xiaoxiao's rong and Nida, his small expression trembling. If this spit on my feet. Oh my god. So wide and scared. Can't think about it, just thinking about Lin Qian is a bit nauseous. The scene was a bit chaotic, and Yuan Guanqi went directly to the table after vomiting. After beer spit and foreign wine spit, the reactions of the two are completely different. After spitting out beer, the whole person will be extremely awake, and after spitting out foreign wine, the whole person will instantly go into a state of downtime, and the alcohol will paralyze and make the person directly fragmented. This is also the reason why the beer bureau does not let you go to the toilet. Brother Hong, take brother Yuan away. Remember to tell him after he wakes up, real man. Lin Xian said slowly to Hong Lei. Listening to Lin Qianlu's gloating words, Hong Lei almost didn't spit out a mouthful of anger. Actually, it was already halfway up the surge, but he was forced to swallow it. Dragging the unclean Yuan Guanqi, carrying his left foot that seemed to have been smashed into a pizza, several people returned to their original positions in a desperate manner. I'll call the waiter to clean up. Zhao Yue stood up, she glared slightly at Lin Xian with a little annoyance, then got up and walked to the door to call for someone. After a few people left, Lin Qian's eyes crossed each other, and they all laughed immediately. 
That Yuan Guanqi came over to show that he had no good intentions, relied on being a native of Yinjing, a little money, and arrogant, so he picked up a rock and hit him in the foot, showing what is called human fancy fountain art on the spot. Shen Ming laughed in a low voice. Everyone laughed knowingly, it was really the attitude of Yuan Guanqi and Han Lei that was really uncomfortable. We Yinjing locals are not all like that. It's just a special case. Don't give us a shot. Zhang Ningchuan responded with a smile. After Zhang Ningchuan finished speaking, Tong Yan looked at Zhang Yao Yao, raised his eyebrows and smiled, Yao Yao, I didn't see that you would be very angry. If you didn't say that, the last glass of wine might have made Yuan Guanxi escape. If you don't drink the last cup, Yuan Guanxi can't be the fountain on the spot either. Ha, huh, who made him be unkind to Lin Qian? At first, he made it clear that he wanted to use Xiao Xiao to pour Lin Qian wine and teach him a little lesson. Zhang Yao Yao hugged his arms and raised his cute faced sunder a road. TSK Tusk Tusk, Strong Guardian. A woman's heart is really small, this vengeful heart is cruel. Lin Qian, how does it feel to be guarded by Miss Sister? After hearing the words, everyone laughed and teased. Zhang Yao Yao blushed a bit when everyone ridiculed him. Grape's big eyes were a little bit shy, and he avoided Lin Qian's direct stare. Soon, Zhao Yue walked in with a few waiters, and soon the filth on the ground was cleaned up. Yue, I have flooded your classmates too much, sorry. Everyone was drinking and making fun again, but Lin Qian took a chance and said to Zhao Yue in a low voice. It's okay. Zhao Yue waved her hand, actually, I really don't want to invite them, but that Han Lei's family has a business relationship with my family, so the relationship between the two is very good, and I can't help it, hey. Zhao Yue looked a little troubled, and she was also a little helpless with her hands spread out. Understand. Lin Qian smiled, be happy on your birthday, don't think too much. Um. Zhao Yue showed a slight smile, and the smile that burst out from that cold face made Lin Qian look a little dazed. At the other end of the room, Han Lei looked at Zhao Yue and Lin Qian who were chatting intimately in the distance, their faces turned green, their heads lowered depressedly, and they swept up the circle of friends with boredom. Um. Brother Xi is here too? Suddenly, a circle of friends was brought into view, and Hong Lei immediately got some spirit. He staggered to his feet, without attracting anyone's attention, and walked out of the box. Come on, let's cut the cake. Near 10 o'clock, Zhao Yue stood up and clapped her hands, smiling and motioning to everyone. The wine table in the middle was emptied, and then a two-story cake was placed on the table. The pink and white chocolate shell and cream looked extremely delicate and beautiful. Li Xiaoxiao and others got up to help. But Lin Qian didn't step forward to join in the fun, smiling at the back as they were busy. Soon, only Lin Qian and Zhang Yao Yao were left on the original deck. I, I will go too. Facing Lin Qian's attention, Zhang Yao Yao, who had always been bold and lively, became a little bit shy, lowered his head and said that he wanted to go outside. No, they are all gone, so I have to leave one to accompany me. Lin Qian put his feet directly on the wine table, blocking Zhang Yao Yao's path, and said with a grin on his face. But, but Yue is about to cut the cake, let's go there. Zhang Yao Yao blushed and said, looking really cute. Just when Lin Xian was about to tease Zhang Yao Yao again, the door of the box was suddenly pushed open, attracting the attention of many people. It was Hong Lei who opened the door, and there were several more people behind Hong Lei, including men and women. Come on, let me introduce it to everyone. Hong Lei was quite satisfied with everyone's attention, he said loudly, Introduce to everyone, this is President Xie of Jupiter Culture, and there are more than a dozen internet celebrities with more than one million fans, the company is valued at tens of millions and is currently preparing to transform into the film and television industry. In the face of Hong Lei's introduction, Mr. Xie and Hong Lei's mouth slightly nodded to everyone, with a faint smile on his face, and the confidence and pride of successful people in the past. That's Aki, the internet celebrity anchor of Funny Fish Platform, right? I know her, with more than 3 million fans, super hot. There is also Mandy, the internet celebrity anchor who seems to be a live broadcast of Hua Zhao. I have watched her live broadcast. The real person is so sexy. They actually belong to the same company. This president Xie seems to be in his 20s, worth tens of millions, and the Diamond King. There were people in the box who were willing to watch the live broadcast. They quickly recognized the two internet celebrity anchors behind Mr. Xia, and they talked about it immediately. Several female classmates of Zhao Yue looked at Mr. Xia next to Hong Lei, with strange flashes in his eyes. The look. Perceiving everyone's eyes, Hong Lei immediately felt that buyer had face. Weiwei, don't you plan to take the acting route in the future? After a while, my brother Xia plans to enter the film and television industry, and I have the opportunity to contact you. Hong Lei said with a smile. 
The young man called Mr. Xia looked at the center of the box, wearing a crystal crown on his head, a slanted shoulder dress, and Zhao Yue, who had a beautiful face, and his eyes immediately showed interest. When he glanced over Li Xiaoxiao next to Zhao Yue again, the interest in his eyes completely changed to excitement. My family and Xiao Lei's family are family friends. We have known each other for many years. Xiao Lei's friends are my friends. If you want to develop into the entertainment industry, you can contact me at any time. I don't have much talent, but I can help you get some film and television works. The face of the audition opportunity is still there. President Xia picked up a champagne glass and said with a smile to everyone. Hearing what the other party said, everyone picked up their wine glasses in response. The boxes are all young people under the age of 20. Now I suddenly see a boss in the entertainment industry. I am naturally very excited. I want to take the opportunity to catch up. If I can be an internet celebrity, then Wu Yu, Guangxian beautiful, how can it not make people excited? Seeing everyone toasting, Hong Lei showed a touch of color on his face, then looked around for a week, but did not see Lin Qian. I took a closer look and found Lin Qian on the sofa in the corner. Seeing where he was flirting with Zhang Yao Yao, he immediately stopped beating. Lin Qian, come over and have a drink with Mr. Xia. When my brother Xia has the opportunity to think of you in the future, Hong Lei shouted loudly to Lin Qian who was not far away. As the hostess, Zhao Yue looked at Hong Lei and yelled, her eyebrows were slightly lame. This was her birthday banquet, but Hong Lei brought outsiders in private without saying anything, and even shouted out loud. What is this for? Take us as your accompaniment girls for flattery? Zhao Yue's face was cold, and the initial disgust towards Hong Lei in her heart became completely disgusting. And Mr. Xia, who was next to Hong Lei, heard the name that Hong Lei had just called out, and his whole person immediately shook his head. Lin Qian? Which Lin Qian? This Mr. Xia is not someone else, but Xia Bin who was in the Arrow Museum a few days ago. Xia Bin stood on tiptoe and looked around, and found that the young man sitting in the corner was really the Lin Qian he knew. Immediately he ignored the others, and quickly walked towards the corner with the wine glass, then pulled a small stool and directly sat in Lin Qian's lower position. Mr. Lin, it's a coincidence. I didn't expect to meet you here. Let me just say. Why is there a hunch today that I can meet a noble person? I didn't expect to meet you here. I was calm and calm just now, but Siebin was left out of the clouds at this moment, and his entire face was full of flattering smiles. Lin Xian, who was teasing Zhang Yaoyao when he saw Siebin suddenly appeared, nodded and said calmly, Mr. Xia, what a coincidence. Yes. Faced with Lin Xian's indifference, Siebin said indifferently, Mr. Lin, I heard that you rented a whole floor in the World Financial Center. I have a friend who does building materials. There is always a need for decoration. Despite the order, I will ask him to give you the lowest price for President Lin. Oh? Lin Xian showed interest and nodded slightly, there is a real need then, I will ask Li Xiaoman to contact you. No problem. Xiaobin responded with a smile on his face. This is a thigh, and it is a thick, long and big golden leg, you must hug it. Recently, Xiaobin, who wants to transform and upgrade his company, has not much cash flow. With his little capital, he wants to invest in a top entertainment company in the industry. Basically, he doesn't even think about it. Just look down on him, and won't take him to play. So if you want to enter, you need to have a person with sufficient capital to fly. And Lin Xian is the one who can take him to fly. In the past few days, Xia Bin is worrying about how to find an opportunity to stammer with Lin Xian again, and finally met today. Mr. Xia, those are my classmates, so... Understand? Lin Xian suddenly turned his head and calmly looked at Xia Bin and said lightly. Upon hearing this, Xia Bin immediately understood what Lin Qian meant, and said with a smile, President Lin, I understand, I understand, if you are here, how can I help you with Mr. Lin? Lin Qian's meaning is very simple. This is to warn Xia Bin not to take their ideas, and don't mess around with those dirty things. When Xia Bin saw Lin Qian's words, the little calculations that had been in his mind just now disappeared without a trace. It's good to understand. Lin Xian nodded with satisfaction, and then said, I heard that you are interested in entering the film and television industry recently, and you can cooperate with you when you have the opportunity. Xiaobin was immediately overjoyed when he heard this, and that was what he was waiting for. Thank you President Lin, thank you President Lin. Everyone was stupid, especially Hong Lei was stupid. The unfolding of this style. Why is it so magical? In his eyes, Brother Xia, who is definitely a successful person, how can he be so humble and flattery to Lin Qian? Lin Qian. Who the hell is it? This question not only surfaced in Hong Lei's head, but the rest of the people were also thinking about it. 
To make a CEO whose company is valued at tens of millions of yuan can whisper and flatter, then how can Lin Chen be better than Xie Bin? Net worth over 100 million? The wealthy prince? Top second generation? One by one speculation appeared in everyone's minds, and several female classmates of Zhao Yue looked at Lin Xian's eyes immediately. Aki, Mandy, come here and call for someone. Xiaobin sternly shouted at the two million fan internet celebrity female anchors at the door. When the two female anchors heard the words, they walked over quickly and looked at Lin Xian's delicate and young face. There was a little fiery in their eyes, and they made a toast to Lin Xian. Looking at the two female internet celebrity anchors in front of him, Lin Qian slightly lifted the wine glass in his hand and did not drink, while the two female internet celebrity anchors on the opposite side drank it straight away. Xiaobin, my friend is about to cut the cake. If you are okay, go out first and talk again when you have a chance in the future. When Lin Qian spoke, he naturally stretched out his hand to stop Jiang Yaoyao's small waist next to him. What is called Ying Ying's unbearable A4 waist, Zhang Yaoyao's small waist made Lin Qian realize, and the elasticity that can be felt even through the sweater, made Lin Qian feel stunned. The two internet celebrity female anchors saw Lin Qian's behavior, and then looked at Zhang Yaoyao's innocent and charming face, they couldn't help but sigh in their hearts, knowing that they were nothing at all. Upon hearing this, Xiaobin immediately understood, Mr. Lin, let's make an appointment another day. Good. Lin Xian slightly nodded at Xie Bin, then Xie Bin got up and took the two female influencers, turned around and left. As for Hong Lei, he didn't even look at it. Ahem. Everyone is gone, shouldn't you let me go? Zhang Yaoya blushed and said in a low voice with his head hanging down. Oh oh. Lin Xian wanted to pretend to be confused for a while, but Zhang Yaoya didn't expect Zhang Yaoya to speak. He had to loosen Zhang Yaoya's waistline, and clicked his mouth with a little regret. Go, let's cut the cake. Lin Xian got up and said with a smile. Hmm. Zhang Yaoyao followed Lin Xian towards the center. When Lin Xian came to the center, facing the shining eyes of everyone, Lin Xian spread his hands, I started a small company, and Xie Bin's company just wanted me in business. The truth is that it's that simple, not a wealthy prince. It's not the top second generation, please don't make it up. Real? Everyone didn't believe it. Real. Lin Xian nodded very sincerely, his eyes clear. He is indeed not a wealthy prince, nor is he a top second generation, just a simple rebirth with the force of the system. Um. That's it. TSK Tusk. Xin Ming smashed his mouth and said, I was thinking just now, is it possible that the bridge in the novel happened in front of my eyes? It was the return of the legendary god of war to the city, and a million soldiers came. Kind. Millions of soldiers are here, and then everyone gives a mouthful, cursing is the kind of thing you do? Lin Qian responded with a smile. Ha ha ha. Everyone laughed. The youngest boy, what kind of company do you have, to tell the brothers all about it? Zhang Ningchuan asked curiously. It's a film and television culture company, and its main business is related to film and television investment. It belongs to the capital side of the entertainment circle. Lin Qian briefly introduced. The legendary Golden Master Dad? Ma Lu finished, then winked at Lin Xian, as the top of the circle, Lin will always have the opportunity to talk to those female stars about the script, or even tonight. Learn English or something? Oh. When Ma Lu said this, it immediately aroused the understanding of the men present, and they all looked at Lin Xian with my knowing eyes. Of course, there was still some envy and a little excitement in his eyes. However, as soon as Ma Lu said this, Lin Xian felt a few more glances on his body. One is naturally from Jiang Yaoyao, and the other two are from Li Xiaoxiao and Zhao Yue, with multiple meanings such as scrutiny, vigilance, and profound meaning in their eyes. Ahem. Ma Lu, don't talk nonsense, how could I, Lin Qian, do that kind of thing? I'll just be a bachelor for a lifetime, even if I can't find a girlfriend for a lifetime, I will never unspoken rules about those girls. Lin Qian said righteously. At the end, Lin Qian smiled brightly at Jiang Yaoyao. But in my heart, he secretly added, but if it's consensual, then I can't rely on someone, Lin. That's right, Ma Lu, can you not use your wretched thoughts to speculate on Lin Xian, Lin Xian is not that kind of person. Zhang Yaoyao inserted her small waist and defended Lin Xian. That's right. Lin Xian immediately agreed, oh, I'm not that kind of person, Lin Xian. Boss Zhang, you see how the two women sang with their husbands. It's better to let them go to the bridal chamber with the witness of your elder brother today, and then send them directly into the bridal chamber later. Xin Ming said with a smile. Hearing this, Zhang Ningchuan immediately looked at Lin Xian with a vigilant face and said, Lin Xian, my sister is still young. I am 18 years old this year, I am not young. 
Zhang Yao Yao yelled immediately in dissatisfaction. Zhang Ningchuan had a headache looking at his sister who looked like she couldn't ask for it. Ha ha ha. Everyone laughed. All right, stop joking, let Yue cut the cake. Zhang Ningchuan changed the subject and talked on this topic again. He was really afraid that his sister would get hot after waiting for her forehead and went back to the dormitory to get her ID card. With his understanding of Lin Qian, this grandson would never have the opportunity. Resist not eating. Okay, cut the cake. Zhao Yue responded with a smile and began to hand out cake pans. Hey, Lin Qian. Tong Yan leaned on his boyfriend Gu Cheng and asked with a smile, didn't you say you also prepared a gift for Yue? Take it out quickly, sister can't wait. When Tong Yan said this, Gu Cheng beside her immediately trembled subconsciously. These words. So familiar. When everyone heard that Lin Qian had also prepared a gift for Zhao Yue, they couldn't help looking over curiously. Lin Qian smiled, did not say anything, walked to the CNC panel next to the box, connected the Bluetooth of the mobile phone to the CNC panel, and cast a video on the TV in the center of the box. When this video started playing, Zhao Yue was surprised and directly covered her mouth, her big eyes were full of excitement and excitement. The eyes of the other girls turned green in an instant, and the eyes of Zhao Yue were full of envy. Hello, classmate Zhao Yue, I am Peng Yuyan. In the video, handsome and handsome Peng Yuyan stands in front of a white wall in a suit and leather shoes, with a gentle smile on his face and a serious tone. I heard that today is your 19th birthday. Here I wish you success in your studies and permanent youth. I also hope that you will be happy and happy in your future study, work and life, and be able to be as good as you. I'm very honored to be favored by fans. If there is a chance in the future, I hope we can cooperate. Finally, I sincerely wish you a happy birthday and come on. The video of just two minutes was over quickly. My goodness, Peng Yuyan's video birthday, Lin Qian, how did you do it? This gift is too awesome, too beautiful. Lin Qian, I want it for my birthday too. The last sound was a silly roar from a certain big brother, and his piercing eyes almost fell on Lin Qian. As the heroine, Zhao Yue was extremely surprised by Lin Qian's gift. Looking at Lin Qian's gaze, her water-cut eyes quietly added uncontrollable tenderness and touch. As for Jiang Ningchuan's few uneducated bosses, at the moment they all have the usual four words, F asterisk asterisk K, awesome. I didn't have anything to do with this afternoon's birthday party. Lin Qian faced everyone's attention and explained, I just went to dinner with Pang Yuyan and director Lin Xianchao, and talked about investment matters. After the dinner was over, I happened to remember what Yu Wei said at the food stall that day. She said Peng Yuyan was her idol for many years, so I let Peng Yuyan help to record a birthday video. Did you eat with Peng Yuyan this afternoon? Li Xiaoxiao's eyes were wide and wide, and her voice was raised several times. Yes. Lin Qian smiled and nodded. Do you have a photo? Yes, I have. Let us have a look. Garolas. Hearing that Lin Qian had dinner with Peng Yuyan in the afternoon, everyone felt quite magical. Who is Peng Yuyan? China is a man who truly stands at the top of the male god circle. What? Are you telling me that certain Cohen is dissatisfied? Professor Wang points to the door emoji package, get out. It was just such a superb existence that only survived on the screen, and now they had a meal with Lin Qian in the afternoon. How could this not shock everyone? Lin Qian opened the photo album and found the few group photos he found in the afternoon, then he clicked all these photos calmly, and finally quit all the photo collections and clicked into the personal collection. Lin Qian could not help being careful at this time, mainly because there are many photos of Lin Qian and Lu Ning in the big album, and there are also some relatively large-scale photos. Exploded. As a thoughtful scum man, how could Lin Qian put himself in such danger? And the personal collection of albums will be fine. They can draw whatever they want. Anyway, there are just a few photos, and the risk is zero, which is very stable. After quickly finishing the operation, Lin Qian generously handed the phone to everyone. The crowd gathered their heads in a circle and looked around. F asterisk asterisk K, youngest, you are awesome, you are actually sitting while Peng Yuyin is standing? And even if you are sitting, you are still sitting in the C position. Lin Qian, are you sure that your company has only a little scale, not a little bit? Big brother, don't you still lack pendants? Everyone quickly noticed the problem of seating. Peng Yuyin can be allowed to stand and Lin Qian can sit by himself. This alone can explain the problem. This shows that Lin Qian's status is definitely higher than Peng Yuyan's, and it's not a little bit higher, but much higher. In terms of seating, Lin Qian was in the main seat, and the celebrity director Lin Xianchao was obviously sitting in the companion seat, 
indicating that Lin Xianchao's status was far less than Lin Xian. So this meal is obvious. Lin Xian is the most respected person in the meal. The big star and director in their eyes is actually just a younger brother in front of Lin Xian? Hong Lei, who was outside the circle, quietly glanced at his toes. Immediately his complexion became extremely wonderful, and he seemed to understand something. In his mind, Brother Xia, who is definitely a successful person, let alone let Ping Yuyan and Lin Xianchao sit with him, even if he wants to sit with others, he may not be qualified. The difference between the two was obvious, and he understood at this time, why Xie Gu was so flattering in front of Lin Xian, and why he turned a blind eye to him when he finally left. Thinking of his appearance in front of everyone just now, he only felt embarrassed to the extreme at this moment. Damn it! How to do? When Han Lei was embarrassed, he caught sight of Yuan Guanqi who was asleep, his eyes lit up, and he walked to Yuan Guanqi's side in three steps and fell directly beside Yuan Guanqi, so he had to be drunk and respectful. N.S. The crowd circulated it for a while, and then returned the phone to Lin Qian. After reading the present, shall we continue to cut the cake? Lin Qian didn't want everyone to discuss this matter too much, and immediately switched back to the topic. Lin Qian, I like this gift very much. It is the best gift I have received in my life. Thank you. Zhao Yue looked at Lin Qian with a pair of watery watercut eyes, and thanked him earnestly. Lin Qian waved his hand, just like it, I just happened to do it, don't take it too seriously. Upon hearing this, Zhao Yue smiled at Lin Qian, and did not be polite with Lin Qian anymore. Next, everyone started to cut the cake lively and sang a birthday song to make Zhao Yue make a wish. After a set of procedures, after the crowd had another half an hour at the end, with Zhao Yue's announcement, everyone ended today's birthday party. Zhao Yue's high school classmates left first, carrying a really drunk Yuan Guanxi, and another Han Lei who was pretending to be drunk, and left KTV after a simple goodbye. Then there are Zhao Yue's college classmates, and finally Lin Qian's group. Tong Yan, won't you go back to bed at night? Li Xiaoxiao winked at Tong Yan, and smiled, don't you go for a moment with your elder Gu Chunxiao? Speaking of shame, Tong Yanxi was not ashamed, and put Gu Cheng's neck around his neck and said, I am really greedy for the body of our old Gu, but unfortunately I will have class tomorrow morning and I will be too rushed to open the house, so I decided to go back to the dormitory, then get under your bed, and then, he, you know what? You female hooligan. Li Xiaoxiao heard Tong Yan's last words, subconsciously protecting her with her hands and muttering, I have enough of mine. Go and get out of the bed, she has yet to develop. Sucking. Listening to the obvious words of the two, Lin Qian couldn't help but swallowed. Xiao Xiao, I just said in KTV to protect me. Hey, Yao Yao, don't blame me, you can only blame Tong Yan for being too rascal. Everyone stood outside the KTV and blew the air. After waking up for a while, everyone began to return. Li Xiaoxiao drove Lin Qian's car, carrying Lin Qian and Zhang Yao Yao. Zhang Ningchuan's Mercedes-Benz Big G called for a rider, carrying Zhang Ningchuan, by Shirtio, Zha Yue, and Tong Yan. As for Ma Lu, Xin Ming, and Gu Chang, they had to take a taxi back by themselves. After allocating the number of trains, everyone quickly returned to the school. Li Xiaoxiao is obviously a new driver, and there may be reasons why Lin Qian's car is too good. He drove cautiously from the KTV to the school. When the three returned to the school, Zhang Ningxuan's car had already been parked in the parking lot. Walking on the asphalt road of the campus, the evening breeze in early autumn was a bit cool, and the rustle of leaves was soft and graceful. As it approached midnight, the campus seemed very quiet. Only in some corners, there were some young couples who were feeding each other, chatting quietly. The three chatted, as a boy, Lin Qian naturally wanted to send the two girls back to the dormitory first. However, when he was approaching the dormitory, Zhang Yao Yao, who had been lowering his head as if he was worried, suddenly stopped. Xiao Xiao, you go up first, I have something to tell Lin Qian. Zhang Yao Yao blushed and said to Li Xiao Xiao, and at the same time grabbed Lin Qian's arm with his right hand. Oh oh. Li Xiao Xiao looked at Zhang Yao Yao and then at Lin Qian, as if he understood something, then I will go up first. Even Li Xiao Xiao didn't notice the slightest loss in the voice. Watching Li Xiaoxiao's back disappear into the dormitory, Zhang Yao Yao raised that pure and charming face and looked at Lin Qian, let's change the place and say. Go, I know a small forest, secret and remote. Lin Qian said jokingly. Don't go to the grove, go to the little pavilion over there. Zhang Yao Yao snorted, then took Lin Qian's arm and took the initiative to walk towards that side. Soon, the two came to a small pavilion not far away. What is it, mysterious? Lin Qian looked down at Zhang Yao Yao and said with a smile. Lin Qian. Zhang Yao Yao spoke suddenly, her red face becoming more pink and tender. I. I like you. U.S. Can we do it? 
Jiang Yaoyao's heartbeat was beating a drum, and the whole person seemed very nervous, and even the words were a little uncomfortable. What? Lin Xian was dumbfounded when he heard Jiang Yaoyao's last words. The girl now. Are all so straightforward? Looking at Lin Xian with a stunned and weird face, Jiang Yaoyao was stunned for a while, only to realize later that he seemed to be in a nervous situation just now and had missed two words. No, no, I want to say. Jiang Yaoyao blushed like a big apple, I meant to say, we can be lovers. When Lin Xian heard the words, he silently swallowed the word name that had already reached his lips. Facing Jiang Yaoyao's confession, Lin Qian was slightly silent. Seeing Lin Qian's silence and Jiang Yaoyao's beautiful big eyes, the nervous and joyful expression gradually faded. Actually Jiang Yaoyao didn't want to confess so early, but she suddenly found out today. Lin Qian is so good, so good that even the sisters of his roommates are a little hard to control. The throbbing of Zhao Yue and Li Xia Xiao, as a girl, as Jiang Yaoyao who had tied her heart to Lin Qian, was naturally very keenly aware of it. She didn't want to procrastinate any longer, she wanted to have a result today. You? You don't like me? There was a slight tremor in Jiang Yaoyao's voice. Like? Lin Qian answered softly with certainty. Hearing Lin Qian's answer, Jiang Yaoyao's mood couldn't help but turn around. That? Then do you love me? Jiang Yaoyao asked again. Faced with Jiang Yaoyao's question this time, Lin Qian was silent for two seconds before asking, then do you love me? I love. Jiang Yaoyao nodded affirmatively, her white tender face was slightly bulging, and Grape's big eyes were full of seriousness and determination. Yaoyao, do you know what love is and what love is? At this moment, Lin Xian's eyes were slightly deep, and he asked in a soft voice. This. Jiang Yaoyao was questioned by Lin Xian, she stared at Lin Xian blankly, unable to give a reply for a long time. Yaoyao, let me tell you. Lin Xian stretched out his hand and gently helped Jiang Yaoyao to gather the broken hair around Jiang Yaoyao's ears, with gentle movements. Like means I am happy, love means I want you to be happy, love means heartbeat, love means determination, like means wanting, love means protecting, like means blushing, love means blushing. Like is said by the mouth, love is done by action, like is the first sight, love is forever, like is wanted, love is afraid of losing, like is when I take out the candy and we eat together, love is what I do I took out the candy and I watched you eat it. This is the difference between like and love. Think about it now, do you like me or love me? Listening to Lin Xian's words made Zhang Yaoyao's mind a little confused. I? I have no idea. Zhang Yaoyao wanted to say love resolutely again, but after hearing what Lin Xian said, she could no longer speak this word. She was very disappointed and even wanted to cry. Because she was in front of Lin Xian at this moment, and she didn't even have the courage to admit love. Because I like it, I love it. We can do it slowly. Just as the tears in Jiang Yaoyao's eyes were about to fall, Lin Qian's gentle voice sounded beside her. Whoosh! Lin Qian's words struck Jiang Yaoyao's heart in an instant. She raised her head in surprise and saw Lin Qian's smiling face. The eyes are facing each other, and the tenderness and sweetness are all in the eyes. Jiang Yaoyao slowly closed her eyes, her long eyelashes trembling like a small brush because of tension. Raise your head slightly, stand on tiptoe. I'm on tiptoe. I'll stand on tiptoe again. Zhang Yaoyao was almost on top of a ballet bow, but he still didn't touch him. She opened her eyes. Well, there is still a long way. Zhang Yaoyao was a little discouraged. He had always thought that he and Lin Xian were the cutest height difference. He thought it would be romantic, but it turned out that. Not romantic at all. Standing on tiptoe was a little tired, and seeing Lin Xian didn't mean to take the initiative, Zhang Yaoyao's small face bulged slightly. Straight man. Don't take the initiative to send them off. Lin Qian, who looked down at Jiang Yaoyao, watched Jiang Yaoyao's expression change, couldn't help being amused by her, and couldn't help but sigh with emotion, how can there be such a cute girl in this world? Just when Jiang Yaoyao was about to give up, just as her toes were about to fall, she suddenly felt that her small waist was held by a powerful hand, and she seemed to be lifted up. Then, a pair of soft lips kissed her cherry lips. Her big grape eyes, which were already very big, went round in an instant. How romantic. With Lin Xian's slightly domineering kiss, Jiang Yaoyao fell immediately. Facing Lin Xian who was proficient in kissing, Jiang Yaoyao responded awkwardly. Savoring Jiang Yaoyao's cherry lips, Lin Xian couldn't help feeling a little satisfied. He thought that Jiang Yaoyao's pinkish little mouth wasn't a day or two, and today was finally satisfied with his obsession for this period of time. In the small pavilion, two figures stand for a long time. After a long time, they separated slowly. Looking at Jiang Yaoyao, who was blushing, Lin Qian smiled lightly, it smells like oranges. 
Jiang Yaoyao naturally knew what Lin Xian was talking about, because her lipstick smelled of orange. Hmm, I hate. Jiang Yaoyao was a little embarrassed and threw himself into Lin Xian's arms, smelling the unique smell of Lin Xian's body, the whole person felt super satisfied. Hey, sweet love, I finally got it. Jiang Yaoyao was excited. While Lin Xian was holding Jiang Yaoyao in his arms, he was secretly thinking, it seems that it is time to buy another mobile phone. It's dangerous to fight alone. Good night. Bye bye. I say good night to you, and you also want to say good night to me, not goodbye. Why? Because the homonym of good night is I love you. Lin Xian smiled and put his hands in his pockets, giving Jiang Yaoyao popular knowledge about love. When Jiang Yaoyao heard Lin Xian's explanation, he was immediately bent into two crescents by his big sweet eyes, and his face was full of smiles like flowers. Good night. Jiang Yaoyao replied a little shyly. Good night. Lin Xian said good night again, and then said softly, go back, it's already late, go to bed early, see you in class tomorrow. Okay. Jiang Yaoyao nodded obediently, and then walked back into the dormitory building one step at a time. Then, in Lin Xian's vague sight, the girl jumped straight upstairs, and the little balls on her head followed her. The jumper also trembled, looking like a happy little sparrow. Hey, my Yaoyao is probably the cutest girl in the world. Lin Xian couldn't help smiling because of Jiang Yaoyao's innocent cuteness. He murmured with a smile, and directly attributed Jiang Yaoyao to himself in a shameless manner. Who said that cuteness is useless in the face of sexiness? The group of low players on the internet knows that they are mischievous. Don't you know that cuteness and sexiness can have both? Thinking of his dignified and gentle Lu Xiaomi, and thinking of his cute and handsome Xia Yaoyao, Lin Xian immediately felt that he was super happy. Um? Of course it is scumbag. Walking back with his hands in his pockets, Lin Xian looked at the bright moonlight and the evening breeze blowing in the early autumn, his thoughts were extremely clear. Just now Jiang Yaoyao asked him if he liked her, Lin Xian simply answered that he liked her, but when Jiang Yaoyao asked him to love her, Lin Xian chose to avoid talking. Although he has chosen to be a scum man in this life, he wants to be a scum man who has a clear bottom line. Like is normal, but love is promise. In Lin Xian's heart, the three words I love you are not only an expression of love, but also a man's promise. Young people don't talk about love, because love is too heavy. Young people can't make promises, nor can they give each other a future. Love is not cheap here in Lin Xian. At this stage, for Lu Ning and Jiang Yaoyao, he just likes, appreciates, and possesses, but he is far from the word love. But love is not something that appears out of thin air, love is something built on the basis of liking. At first sight, it is like. Never tire of a long time is love. Boom. Jiang Yaoyao trot all the way back to the bedroom, the excitement and joy in his heart finally vented almost. Gently closed the door, and then just turned around, I saw the three sisters in my dormitory staring at him, which looked a bit like a trial in three courts. You? Why are you looking at me like that? Jiang Yaoyao muttered weakly. Frankly be lenient. Strictly resist. If there is resistance. Fong Tong Yen. The three of you said something to me, and the last sentence was what Li Hanin yelled. Immediately there was a majestic place where Tong Yen went up and grabbed a hand, and then glared at Li Hanin as a warning. Frankly what? Zhang Yaoyao pretended to be stupid. Hey, it seems that Xia Yaoyao's mouth is very hard. Tong Yen sneered and then snarled at Li Xiaoxiao, some hints. Why did you go to Lin Qian just now? Li Xiaoxiao asked with a tall chest, the scale that made the three girls feel inferior, this one made the three girls even more sad. I confess to Lin Qian. Seeing that if he didn't explain something today, Zhang Yaoyao was very embarrassed to pass the battle. Is it done? Did Lin Qian agree? Tong Yen was immediately excited, and leaned forward to inquire one after another. As for Zhao Yuwei and Li Xiaoxiao, an imperceptible loneliness and sadness flashed through their eyes. Forehead. Hearing Tong Yan's inquiry, Zhang Yaoyao was stunned, and then a little tangled expression appeared on her small face. Ha! Huh? What is the relationship between Lin Qian and I now? Let's say it is a couple, but the relationship between the two has not been confirmed just now. But let's say it's not a couple, but just now, I kissed, hugged and hugged, and even handed over my first kiss to each other. This is what a couple should do. Zhang Yaoyao was confused on this side, but he didn't know that this was exactly where someone was thinking. Fuzzy relationship, specious, in order to remain invincible, advance can attack, retreat can be defended, it is really a scumbag secret skill. Should. It should be done. Zhang Yaoyao responded with a little bewilderment. Then you too. Hey, have you kissed yet? 
Tong Yen circled Jiang Yao Yao and continued to interrogate with a smirk on his face. No. Jiang Yao Yao's face turned pink and he immediately shook his head to deny it. As a result, he was interrupted by Tong Yen before he finished speaking. Don't say you didn't kiss, the lipstick on your mouth is all spent, you still say no? What? When Jiang Yao Yao heard the words, she subconsciously turned her head to look in the mirror, but she suddenly remembered that she had wiped off her lipstick at night and only put on lipstick on her mouth. There is fraud. But it was too late. Tong Yen looked at Jiang Yao Yao with a smile, Yao Yao, come and talk to my sister, how does it feel to kiss? Did Lin Xian stick his tongue out? Isn't his hand honest? I touched it everywhere? Tong Yen is like a female hooligan, with more explicit questions. Zhang Yao Yao asked, his cheeks blushing and cute, and Zhao Yuwei and Li Xia Xia were also a little bit ashamed. I? I change clothes. Zhang Yao Yao lowered his head, and walked back to his bed quickly, letting her answer such a question. It was simply impossible. Tong Yen didn't stop him this time. After all, training can't be done in a day. Soon, Zhang Yao Yao changed into her pink pajamas with many cartoon watermelons printed on them. Thinking of the sweetness of tonight, Zhang Yao Yao's lips picked up unconsciously. But girls, the ability to diverge is always very strong, and the little head thinks about it, and then starts to think of other things. Tong Yen. Zhang Yao Yao suddenly called Tong Yen, who was lying on the bed and playing with his mobile phone. What's up? Tong Yen responded with a big grin. Do you think I'm a little too active? Do boys like active girls? Zhang Yao Yao asked a little nervously. Hearing this, Tong Yen muttered for three seconds, and then said silently, I don't know whether boys like active girls, but I can be sure that boys prefer girls who move by themselves. Puff. Dang Song. After Tong Yen said these words, Li Hanin, who had been drinking tons of milk, couldn't hold back a sip of milk. And Zhao Yue, who was holding the P-picture of the mobile phone, also shook her small hand, and the mobile phone slammed on the table. As for Zhang Yao Yao who asked questions, he made a big red face in an instant. Student Tong Yen, what you said is superb. Tong Yen, you. Tong Yen, I, I don't understand. The first sound is from Li Han In, the second is from Zhao Yue, and the third is from Zhang Yao Yao. Tong Yen sat on the bed and smiled and said, Sisters, there are no outsiders in the dormitory, so let's not pretend to be pure. Seeing your reaction, does it seem like you don't understand? It's clear that you can understand it in seconds. Come on, it's all adults, let's talk about something charming. With a big wave of his hand, Tong Yen opened the first free talk meeting in this room. This night, three ignorant little white rabbits. Gain a lot. The next day. In the lecture hall of the teaching building, Lin Qian walked into the classroom slowly carrying a white LV backpack with his hands in his pockets. As soon as he entered the classroom, Lin Qian saw Zhang Yao Yao beckoning to him. Go, go to Yao Yao. Lin Qian gestured to Ma Lu behind him, and the two walked in the direction of Zhang Yao Yao and Li Xiao Xiao. Yao Yao, Zhou Tian Wang is going to have a concert in the bird's nest recently. I bought two tickets for the front row area from the scalper. Let's go see it together. Before Lin Qian arrived, he saw Zhang Yao Yao's faithful licking dog Zheng Bingyu talking endlessly, and his cute little Yao Yao was waiting for him with her pink little school bag in her arms, the pair of grapes and the big eyes, there is no existence of Zheng Bingyu at all. Sparkling. When he walked to Zhang Bingyu's side, Lin Qian grabbed Zhang Bingyu casually, letting him get away from his position. Lin Qian, see what this is? Zhang Bingyu slightly arrogantly shook the two scalper tickets in his hand, and said a little bit arrogantly, the front row ticket for the bird's nest of King Zhou, Yao Yao likes King Zhou the most, Yao Yao. I will definitely not refuse me this time. After watching the concert, I will confess to Yao Yao. Oh, then you might have bought these two tickets for nothing. Lin Qian answered casually, and then sat down beside Zhang Yao Yao, naturally approaching, shining on Zhang Yao Yao's red lips. Just take a sip, Yao Yao, good morning. When I was kissed by Lin Qian in the classroom, Zhang Yao Yao's white face was instantly pink, and his heart was as sweet as if he had been in a honey jar, and said in a shy and shy whisper, Lin Qian, good morning. Crack. Crackling. Boom. Lin Qian clearly heard that Zhang Bingyu's heart was performing a magnificent symphony at this moment. Do not. Hailing tide slowly spread the picture again. Snow fluttering. The north wind is Xiao Xiao. Do not. Zhang Bingyu's heart is crazy at this moment. Boss, accept this reality. Look at this, Lin Qian should have confessed to Zhang Yao Yao, and the two should have confirmed their relationship. Dong Habin sat next to Zhang Bingyu and whispered, and you see Lin Qian kissed Zhang Yao Yao just now. 
It's natural to have a close relationship, and obviously the two of them should not have had a close relationship. Puff. The heart that was originally riddled with holes was once again severely stabbed by his good brother. He bin, you may be wrong about this. Yao Yao confessed to me. Lin Xian, while enjoying Jiang Yao Yao's tender and considerate dumplings, corrected Dong Habin's misunderstanding casually. Puff. Lin Xian's words were another stab, and Zhang Bingyu's heart was almost pierced into a sieve. Actually. Is it Yao Yao's confession to Lin Xian? Lin Xian, even if you two get better, I won't give up, because you don't know how to be nice to Yao Yao. Sooner or later, Yao Yao will tire of you, so I can see my affection and my goodness, I won't give up. Zhang Bingyu yelled in dissatisfaction. Hearing this, Lin Qian didn't respond to Zhang Bingyu, but turned to Zhang Yao Yao and asked, Yao Yao, would you like to watch Zhou Tianwang's concert at the Bird's Nest? Zhou Tianwang's tickets are super hard to grab, and the tickets in good positions have been copied by the scalpers too high, too uneconomical, so don't go and watch it. Zhang Yao Yao said very sensibly. Buy tickets? My Yao Yao wants to see the concert, why should I buy tickets? Lin Qian asked a little surprised, how low is it to be crowded with a group of people? I will be an annual member of the Bird's Nest VIP box in two days. At that time, we sat in the VIP box and watched, eating, drinking, and sofa. It was so cool to watch. When any celebrities hold concerts in the Bird's Nest in the future, we can all directly use the VIP box annual membership privileges to buy VIP tickets. In the future, I will watch whose concerts my Yao Yao wants to see. Lin Qian held Zhang Yao Yao's slender A4 waist and said in a pampering tone. What is a VIP box? Don Habin next to Zhang Bingyu asked Zhang Bingyu a little whitely, and Zhang Bingyu was also a little daunted. VIP box annual fee VIP, you pay more than 1 million annual fee to a stadium like the Bird's Nest, and then you will get an exclusive box, all concerts in the next year, you do not need to go to grab tickets, and the box it's very large, and it won't be crowded if more than a dozen people watch the concert at the same time. Lin Qian casually explained to Don Habin. The annual fee is more than 1 million. Don Habin secretly smacked his tongue, and the whole person was directly stunned. Zhang Bingyu was a little unbelievable, so he secretly poked and took out his mobile phone and checked it in private, and found that it was exactly what Lin Qian had said. Hey! Lin Qian, who is in such a bad day, knows to use money to press me. Ability to beat me with face value. Looking at his handsome self on the screen of the phone, Zhang Bingyu was very sad. Yao Yao, when Heavenly King Zhou starts the concert, let's go together and have a fun. Lin Qian stretched out his hand and touched the cute little ball on Zhang Yao Yao's head, and said indulgingly. Okay. Zhang Yao Yao feels super happy now. Lin Qian, do you want to have dinner together tonight? Zhang Yao Yao raised her head and asked. Lin Qian shook his head, no today. I will interview a group of project managers in the afternoon. The interview may be late. You and Xiao Xiao will go and eat. Oh, okay. Zhang Yao Yao nodded obediently, then you remember to eat tonight, I will remind you when the time comes. Looking at Zhang Yao Yao's cute appearance, Lin Xian couldn't help but move forward, Yao Yao, my mouth is a bit dry, I want to taste what the lipstick you put on today is like. Don't make trouble, there are so many people in the classroom. Seeing that Lin Xian was about to kiss again, Zhang Yao Yao stretched out his hand against Lin Xian's chest, yelling a little shyly. Taste it. Don't make trouble. Just taste it. Wait, wait for the end of get out of class, okay? Looking at the two people who were not there to show their affection, Zhang Bingyu felt that he wanted to go to the hospital to see his heart, while Li Xiaoxiao and Ma Lu had disgusting expressions, and they couldn't bear the crookedness of the two. As for the many girls in piano class one sitting in the back row, they all sighed faintly when they looked at the close friends Lin Qian and Zhang Yao Yao. Damn it! Our handsome and gold monitor, after all let Zhang Yao Yao lick it. After class in the afternoon, Lin Qian left his school bag to Ma Lu and asked him to take his school bag back to the dormitory, and then he went straight to the parking lot. After driving on the Bentley Continental GT, Lin Qian drove to the interview place today according to the address given by Li Xiaoman. Since the renovation of the World Financial Center has just begun, the interview location today was set in the conference room of a Shangri-La hotel in the CY area, not far from the China Conservatory of Music. 10 minutes drive, fleeting.